ball game. Lancers win in nine off a double play. This one drilled right over the head of the second baseman and that's gonna fall. One run scores, two runs score, two men touch home plate. The Lancers take a 5-2 lead. You are listening to Lancer Athletics on KYNT, Yankton's home team, and the flagship station for Mount Marty University Athletics. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Coors Light and Miller Light, Sherco, Slumberland Furniture, Dakota Mac, Pizza Ranch of Yankton, Mount Marty Tobacco Prevention Program, Boss's Pizza and Chicken, Core Trust Bank, Aztec, Gerstner Oil, Conkling Distributing, Avera, Mason Schramm and the Move Group. Now we go live to the action. We are live for the first time in 2024 from Bob Tereshinsky Stadium at Riverside Field. My name is Tell Tanner. Let's go ahead and go to Mount Marty Lancer University Baseball here on a, oh, it's a Friday afternoon in Yankton. Beautiful day for baseball. Not the first home games of the year. The Lancers were able to play a couple of games earlier this season versus Mayville State right here at home. Four games on February 24th and 25th. Doubleheader split over those two days. The Lancers at this stadium so far this year, well, they won all four games. They're undefeated here in this 2024 season. Northwestern coming into today. This will be their first time at Bob Tereshinsky Stadium. They're 9 and 10 overall as we are ready to begin conference play. The Lancers come into today 14 and 7 overall, receiving votes in the top 25. As we go to this ball game, take a look at last year between these two teams, the Lancers versus the Red Raiders, the Lancers ended up having an amazing season, 35 and or 38 and 15 overall, 19 and 9 in conference. They ended up setting a program record for regular season wins. Did this Mount Marty Lancer team ended up taking an uh, about third or fourth in the conference in the end of the standings. Versus Northwestern, however, they really did struggle. The Lancers did lose both games in Orange City. That was on the road versus the, this Red Raider team. 5-4, to four, Northwestern beat them on April 14th, and 6-2, to two, they beat them on uh, April 14th as well. A doubleheader on a Friday in Orange City. Lancers dropped both games. Those were the only two times these teams played all last year. Northwestern got that season sweep over the Lancers. Mount Marty looking to get a little bit of revenge for that today. This is the first of four games that are going to be played between the or excuse me, two games between the Lancers and the Red Raiders. The Lancers have four games scheduled for this weekend. We've got two today and then two scheduled for Sunday. I say scheduled because weather is what weather does. Weather does not allow for baseball half the time, and the forecast for Sunday looks iffy at best. So we'll see what's going to happen there, whether those games get played Sunday or not. They might also be played Monday or Tuesday. We'll see what happens, but we're going to have coverage right here on KYNT and KYNTV either way. So once again, this is the matchup between the Mount Marty Lancers and the Northwestern Red Raiders. Lancers 14 and 7, Red Raiders coming into today. They have that 9 and 10 overall record. This is your pregame show from Coors Light and Miller Light. I'm Tell Tanner keeping you company. Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll come back in a couple of minutes with our GPAC report and the commissioner of the Great Plains Athletic Conference, Corey Westra. Back in a couple of minutes on KYNT. <laughs> It's the Browning Second Amendment sales tax event at Dakota Archery. Save up to $500 on Browning saves now through April 30th, including the new Primal Series of saves, which start at $7.99 after rebate. And to put in your new Browning save, purchase a new Browning shotgun, handgun, or rifle and save 8% until April 15th. Open every night till 8. Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, East Highway 50, Yankton, South Dakota. 
before the Lancers play, after the game, or maybe even while watching it here. Enjoy authentic flavor at RB Grillhouse and Sports Bar. We're American themed and feature handcrafted dishes and daily specials with an amazing selection of beer and spirits. Enjoy burgers, steaks, wings, and ribs, sandwiches, salads, seafood, and plenty of HD TVs. Authentic flavor, family driven, and a memorable atmosphere. Join us at RB Grillhouse and Sports Bar next to River Rocks Event Center on Broadway and Yankton. Go Lancers! We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Kenny Wicks at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow, so consider a career with us. We have openings in a variety of departments, sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursement, and more. Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at AztecJobs.com. Olson Pest Technicians is a family-owned business since 1966, and with over 50 years of pest management, they understand your issues, and their well-trained team will help you solve your pest problems. Issues with cockroaches, ants, bed bugs, bats, termites, spiders, rats, mice, or other creepy crawling pests? Give your home a fresh start and use the proven method of fumigation to take care of your pest problem. Olson's Pest Technicians will thoroughly get rid of pests so you can rest easy again. Call Olson Pest today, 800-KILL-BUG. That's 1-800-K-I-L-B-U-G-S. New starting wages at Parker of Yankton. Parker of Yankton is excited to announce a new generous wage increase. This wage increase includes all production positions, assemblers, machine ops, setups, and material handlers, plus a second shift differential. Parker provides some of the best benefits in the area. And in case you missed it, new increased wages. Apply today at Parker.com. Parker, engineering your success. Buying a home in this market can be frustrating. Having an experienced real estate agent is more important than ever. This is Deb Speck with Vision Real Estate, and I've been helping first-time home buyers, those needing a little more space, folks wanting to downsize, and investors for almost 20 years. For personalized service you can trust, call 605-664-5555, and we'll find your next home. This is the GPAC Report for Friday, March 15. Brought to you by the Great Plains Athletic Conference and IMA. The NAIA first and second rounds for postseason basketball get underway today around the country. There are 16 different sites with the 16 site winners for the women moving on to Sioux City next Thursday and the Tyson Event Center and the 16 site winners for the men moving on to next Thursday when play will start at Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City, Missouri. Let's start on the women's side for the GPAC on this Friday, where six GPAC teams will be in action. We'll start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Kansas. Briar Cliff will take on Mid-America Christian. In Indiana, Northwestern will battle Rio Grande. At Seward, Nebraska, on Concordia's home court, the Bulldogs will take on Benedictine of Kansas at 6. 7 o'clock game tonight in Sioux Center, where Dort will host Oakland City. 7.30 game in Dubuque has Dakota Wesleyan taking on Rust. And the final women's game for the first round today is a late one out west in Lewiston at 9.30 Central, Jamestown and the Masters. That's your six games today. The winners will play tomorrow in second round action. Now to the men's matchups for this Friday. We'll start at 5.30 in Orange City, where Northwestern will take on St. Mary of the Woods. In Michigan, at 5, Madonna and Dort University. 6 o'clock in Sioux City, Morningside will take on Lords. The other matchups for this Friday for the men are both in Kansas. Concordia will take on IU Northwest at 6, and at 8 o'clock, Mid-America Christian will battle Hastings and the Broncos. Men's first round winners also play tomorrow in the second round. This has been your Friday GPAC Report. I'm Corey Westra. Sports injuries can be the result of competitive activities, but can also happen by just participating in leisure activities too. If you're experiencing pain as the result of your chosen activity, consider 
Chiropractic Care. I'm Dr. Mackenzie Erlinson with First Chiropractic Centers. We have experienced chiropractors that work with sports injuries every day. Our treatment options are aimed to minimize pain, reduce recovery time, and reduce risk of future injuries. Visit First Chiropractic Centers, making life better, one adjustment at a time. Are you tired of squinting at fine print in order to understand your insurance coverage? Say hello to Clarity with Vision Insurance Group. They'll help you see life in the best possible way without hurting your budget. From life, homeowners, auto, and business coverage too, they've got it all. Plus, long-term care plans for residents in South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska. Don't squint. Visit visioninsurancegrp.com and get your quote today. Vision Insurance Group. Live in the vision beef, pork, seafood, poultry, and more. All at the Meat Lodge in Yankton. Get top quality meats at great prices. They have specialty items like lamb, brisket, mahi-mahi, crab legs, and lobster. They even have non-meat options like dimmick cheese, pickled items, seasonings, and sauces. For your convenience, you can call and order curbside pickup or order online at meatlodge.com. The Meat Lodge in Yankton, on the way to the lake, on Highway 52. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. Core Trust helps your business thrive with checking, online bill pay, small business loans, credit card processing, local approval and support for government grants and loans, investments to grow your hard-earned assets, and insurance to protect them. All from Core Trust, the community bank that's right down the street and everywhere you want us to be. Visit coretrustbank.com today. Member FDIC. Have a craving for wings or delicious burgers or Pivo fries? Come sink your teeth into mouth-watering burgers and wings at Checkers Sports Bar and Grill. With a menu that's a flavor frenzy, there's something for every fan. A place to catch all of the sports action and enjoy $6 cheeseburgers and fries every Monday night. Grab your friends, bring your family, and head down to Checkers. Open every day of the week to satisfy you. Checkers Sports Bar and Grill on Walnut just north of 4th Street in Yankton. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. All right, back here on the pregame show from Coors Light Miller Light. Always remember to drink responsibly. As we go over this ball game, talk about the history of this matchup between the Lancers and the Red Raiders. Last time they met once again, Northwestern did get the season sweep over the Lancers. They ended up taking both games last year, the last one. Uh, well, they won 5-4 to four in Game 1, 6-2 to two in Game 2, both on the 14th of April this last spring. This year, coming into today, the Lancers do control the all-time series, however, in a very close one. 25 wins to 22 losses. The Lancers lead the Red Raiders in that series. Going back to 2007, the first matchup I have recorded here was a 10-0 win for the Lancers. The Lancers have been playing very well at home against this Red Raiders team. Red Raiders have been playing very well at their home stadium. Really, it's been edged to the home team uh, in this matchup for the last couple of times. We'll see if that stays true in this one. The last time either of these teams won an away game against the other was back in 2021, actually, when the Lancers won in Orange City against the Red Raiders. They won in a really, really big blowout game, actually, 20-5 was the final score on April 30th of 2021. Outside of that, the last couple years, it's been all to the home team. We'll see if the Lancers can keep that trend going or if the Red Raiders can get a road victory of their own. My name's Tell Tanner. This is KYNT, our pregame show. Go ahead and take another couple of minutes. We'll, take, we'll come back, start looking at the stats of this ball game and how they compare on the team side of things. This is KYNT, what a 2-1 FM, AM 1450. You can watch this game on KYN TV. YouTube channel. You can check it out on the Mount Marty Sports Network as well. Mount Marty Lancer basketball, on, or baseball, excuse me, on a Tuesday, or a Friday afternoon. First baseball game that we get to cover. First game I've called since July. First game we get to do in a long time, and I'm very excited for it. It's a beautiful day for it. Back in a couple of minutes for more baseball. 
There is a new option for families in the Yankton area to memorialize their loved ones. This is Paul Wince with the Winston Ray Funeral Home and Garden Memory Cemetery. We just completed the construction of a new columbarium. It is an impressive structure built out of granite that is comprised of both indoor and outdoor niches, which will serve as a permanent resting place for your loved one's urn. The indoor niches have glass fronts where you can create a memorial with pictures and other significant items. For more information and to watch a video on how it all came together, please visit WinceRayFuneralHome.com. Weather changes can cause a small chip in your windshield to become a crack or a small crack to become even larger. So if you've got a chipped or cracked windshield, trust Abra Auto Body and Glass of Yankton and the all-day, everyday $249 windshield replacement. That's right. Most windshields replace with the best replacement technology and top quality materials for only $249. Don't let a chipped or cracked windshield impair your driving. Call Abra Auto Body and Glass today. Locally owned and operated by Northtown Automotive, North Highway 81, Yankton. Traveling to Yankton for business or pleasure? Then book your stay at Yankton's two best hotels, the Fairfield Inn and Suites and Holland AM Express. Both are conveniently located to everything in Yankton. Both offer complimentary hot breakfast and meeting rooms for business travelers. And if you want a great rate and still be able to change your reservation without a hassle, call either hotel direct. The Fairfield and Holiday Inn Express, two great hotel choices when visiting or arranging rooms for guests to Yankton. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. Are you ready for a hydration revolution? Introducing Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. And its variety of mouth-watering flavors will make your taste buds dance with joy. Hitting the gym, going on an adventure, or just need a pick-me-up, Ghost Hydration has your back. Experience the hydration revolution for yourself. Stay refreshed. Stay revitalized. Stay ghostly hydrated with Ghost Hydration. Wherever you are in life, you've got plans. You need health insurance for today and for the future. You need Avera Health Plans, coverage that connects you to community resources, fitness center incentives, and health coaching. You need a health plan that provides solutions for your business and for your family. Learn more at AveraHealthPlans.com. Avera Health Plans, moving health forward. All right, back here at Riverside Field. My name is Tell Tanner, along with Grady Harrington, who is running our camera today. He's going to have some fun here. We've, we're debuting some fun stuff here with our camera as well. We've got a fun outfield camera that we're going to be kind of debuting for Mount Marty Athletics today. They're going to be uh, able to have an over-the-shoulder pitcher view, which is going to be just a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to that. We're going to be looking at that here in a couple minutes but first we got to talk about the stats between these two teams and kind of what's going on here for the Lancers they have played 21 games up to this point in the year they scored 124 runs team batting average of 285 OBP of 384 and a 434 slugging percentage the Lancers have hit 14 home runs as a program at this point in the year. For Northwestern, we'll see how those stats compare. They've played 19 games. They've scored 115 runs on the season. 291 batting average, 367 OBP, and a 419 slugging percentage with 10 home runs hit on the season. My name's Tell Tanner. This is the pregame show from Coors Light and Miller Light. With that said, let's go ahead and take a break, come back with our coach interview from Sherco. I spoke with the head coach of the Lancers, Josh Tykro, earlier today, actually yesterday, about this ball game. Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll come back with Coach Tykro in a couple of minutes in this, this uh, game's edition of our pregame coach interview. Back in a couple minutes now on KYNT. The other day, a gal came into the UPS store to drop off a package. On her way out, she noticed the print sample wall and asked if we could print invitations. The answer was, yes, we can. 
Hi, this is Doug at the UPS store in Yankton and Vermilion. For over seven years now, the UPS store has been helping hundreds of customers with their printing needs. From basic copies to business cards and invitations to posters, we can print them. Stop out and ask about our current print specials and see how we can help with your printing needs. Looking for the perfect meal that hits the spot every time? Look no further than Boss's Pizza and Chicken. At Boss's Pizza and Chicken, they're serving up piping hot, mouth-watering pizzas with all of your favorite toppings. And that's not all. The crispy roasted chicken is a taste sensation that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. No profession requires a broader range of skills and sense than farming. Being self-sufficient is critical, and so is knowing when to lean on experts. If adding acres to your operation or refinancing debt is part of your plan, Dakota Mac can help you get there. We provide long-term fixed rate loans for ag real estate. You owe it to yourself to learn how Dakota Mac can benefit your operation. Hi, it's Jeff Wolfgram from Dakota Mac. Call us at 800-682-4578 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. Powerful changes occur when people unite. At United Way of Greater Yankton, we unite people to activate positive change and to make lives better. Help us build a brighter future for all through access to health care, basic needs, a good education, and financial stability. Learn more about United Way of Greater Yankton, our mission, our programs, and how you can help online at yanktonunitedway.org. Together, united, we are building a brighter future for all. Quality tarps ship today. Get back to work faster with Sherco's Express Tarps program. Convenient same-day shipping on replacement tarps designed to fit the most common trailer makes and models. Manufactured with superior quality materials, workmanship, and customer service, Sherco Express Tarps will have you back in the field and on the road in no time. For additional details and to learn more, give us a call at 1-800-474-8756 or find us at Sherco.com. Demand the best. Demand Sherco. Fitness has changed. There's no longer a need for a gym membership to access quality instructors and equipment. This is Canada Ace Bike and Fitness, and we have the equipment you need for the best workout. Ellipticals, treadmills, rolling machines, and bikes, including the Schwinn Indoor Cycling Bike. It's a fraction of the price of the other brands. With Ace Bike and Fitness, we service what we sell, so you'll get our support even after you leave the store. Visit Ace Bike and Fitness today. All right, back here on the pregame show from Coors Light Miller Light. Always remember to drink responsibly. Let's go ahead and go to our coach interview now from Sherco. When you need to be sure, make it Sherco. I've been waiting to talk with Coach Josh Tykro. We've got home baseball on KYNT. you got Northwestern starting conference play. Coach, can you tell me how you're excited for this game and what the plan is starting conference play? Yeah, fun time of year. It'd be great to open up our conference season at home as well. Uh, we've been blessed with nice weather. And it's looking like this, you know, this day against Northwestern, we're going to have more good weather, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, we coming off of a, a trip in Florida where, of course, you got the sunshine and the, and the beautiful weather there, and thankfully we came back to some pretty good weather in Yankton. So we've had a few good practices, uh, have another one here before we lead up into our, our games on Friday, and we're ready to go. You were able to host Mayville in February, have some home baseball in February again. You got to go to Florida, and now you're back again. I think April 6th was the first home game last year, which was rough, but you were also set kind of kind of able to set a program road record and an all-time win record in the regular season, which was super cool. What are some of the overall goals for this team this year as we come home now? Yeah, I think we just want to keep improving right like that's the big thing you want to get better every day I, I always been telling our guys especially this year it's like if we worry about being our absolute best and not worry about other teams or you know outside circumstances things you, you have zero control over uh, we're going to come out and probably get where we want to be uh, so that's a big part of of our our focus right now it's not necessarily on um, you know getting to to the you know, tournament and hosting of course everyone wants to do that and we want to do it and we're going to fight for that we're going to fight to go to the national tournament and we're going to do our best just to play baseball as long as we can uh, but it's going to happen if we just worry about being our best every day and I think that's that's our best option coach you talk about putting your best foot forward who's on the mound who's starting today 
Yeah, so Zane Poland will be on, this, on the, the mound here game one, and then game two we'll have Jared Miller. Okay, so those are your pitchers. Tell me about some of the hitters. Who are we looking for behind home plate today? Who's this Lancer crowd got to get used to putting them over the fence? Yeah, so a couple of good catchers that you'll see, uh, Aiden Chang and Shugo Kondo. They'll each start a game behind the plate. That's kind of how we've been doing it here early on in the season, and, and they've both done a really good job defensively and offensively. And then, you know, just going through our lineup, you know, guys in the infield who have been strong for us, you know, Kiko Nunez, Ryan Bachman, Joe Goki, Ethan Washan, and then we've had some guys fill in. You know, Bodie Waller, he he plays first and DH too, so he's one of our big pieces uh, who alternates at that first base position with Kiko. And then Garrett D'Amico has been another depth piece there. And then looking into our outfield, um, Von Deming, uh, Will Gardner, Christian Berry, Lake Trevere, Evan Bach, and then also. Um, Garrett D'Amico, is, he's going to be getting some, some time out there, too, along with uh, Shugo and Aiden when they're not catching. Uh, we're going to look to get them some outfield reps. And finally, Coach, as this is our first game at KYN TV, for our audience, tell me about your coaching staff and who we're going to see down there this year. Yep, so in the dugout, we have Bo Lofink. Uh, he's our pitching coach. And then we have Sean O'Hagan. He is a graduate assistant who is also uh, helps with our pitchers. And then on the hitting and defensive side, we've got Derek Nelson. He's our hitting coach and does a lot with our infielders. And then Wyatt McKnight, he works with our catchers and a lot with our hitters as well. And then some guys who, who help out more on a, a volunteer basis would be Tyler Lynch. Uh, he was a former infielder for us. He helps out with our outfielders. Actually, he does a little bit of everything. He does some infield and hitting stuff too. And then Austin Wise, uh, he's an alum of here. Uh, he, he helps out quite a bit, and Devin Golkson will help out as well. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Conference play begins, home baseball in Yankton. It's going to be exciting. Yes, yeah, looking forward to it. Hope to see a lot of people down there. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. This is the pregame show from Coors Light Miller Light. That brought to you by Sherco. When you need to be sure, make it Sherco. Back in a couple minutes on KYNT. We got the first pitch coming up next. <laughs> Everyone loves something different about our buffet, which is good because buffet has something for everyone. This is Annie from Yankton Pete's Ranch. Come in and fill your plate with good food that makes you feel good inside. Don't see your favorite pizza on the buffet? Request it using Buffet Your Way. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the very first slice. Grab the country's best chicken paired with tasty sides and finish off with sweet cactus bread at Yankton Pizza Ranch. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Lancer Baseball here on Friday afternoon. My name is Tel Tanner. Let's go ahead and get to it. We've got our first pitch coming up. We'll go over our starting lineups here and our lineup. So for the Lancers, first off, we'll go over the outfield as that's where they're going to be starting. This brought to you today by Slumberland. With free interior design service plus great brands like Tempur-Pedic, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel, Slumberland is on Broadway in Yankton. First off on the mound today, Zane Poland going to be starting things off pitching for the Lancers. Behind home plate is Aiden Chang. He's the catcher. First base, Kiko Nunez. Second base, Ryan Bachman. At third is Ethan Wishon. The shortstop is Joe Goki. Left field, Von Deming. Center field, Will Gardner. And out in right field is Shugo Kondo. Stepping up to the plate and batting first here is Dykstra. Drew Dykstra, Jr. out of Urbandale, Iowa. First pitch of the ball game, going to be ball one here for Zane Poland. We are underway here. We are ready to roll. Lancers Northwestern Baseball G-Pack play has begun. Drew Dykstra once again up batting first here. He's their leadoff man today. Just got a piece of that one. That's going to be strike one. 1-1 one, one count here off the second pitch from Poland. Dykstra come in, comes in to today with 53 at-bats, has 18 hits and 12 RBIs on the season. He's batting 340. Go over Poland's pitching stats here in a moment. 1-1 one, one count for the left-handed pitcher. He'll fire. It's high near the head of Dykstra. He had to duck that one. It's brought in by Chang. Both Lancer catchers transferring in this year, both splitting time at the plate playing very, very well after the Lancers obviously graduated. Billy Hancock, best catcher in program history, ended up 
Graduating last year is the all-time leader in Mount Marty history in home runs hit. So they had a big hole to fill, and they're filling it well with two guys. Chugo Kondo, that other guy, he's out in right field. Going to be a catcher for game two. Next pitch outside. We got a full count. 3-2 count here in the first batter faced of the day. Once again, this is Drew Dykstra at the plate. And the full count pitch from Zane Poland. Inside, walked him. So Poland's going to walk his first batter face today. Let's go over his stats on the season. This is going to be Poland's second start of the year and his sixth appearance. He has two wins, one loss, and one save on the resume. He has now 12.2 innings pitched, 12 hits allowed, eight runs, all of them earned, and a 568 ERA. So now with a man on first, second man up to bat. This is Robleski. Robluski. Luke Robluski, junior, criminal justice major, by the way. Is that a Sussex, Wisconsin? Went to Bryant and Stranton Community College. For Northwestern. Poland. Left-handed pitcher. Throws this one down the middle. Strike two. So an 0-2 count already in a hole here is Robluski. Stanton on deck, batting third today. The batting order once again for Northwestern. We'll go over it after this pitch from Poland. And an 0-2 count, battling his second batter of the day. He's got Dykstra on first. This one's going to be knocked down right over the head of Poland into the hands of the second baseman for the Lancers. Not going to throw anything. That's going to be a base hit. First one of the day. Ryan Bachman fielded that one, but couldn't get the couldn't get the throw over to first in time. Went off the glove of Poland. Kind of interfered with that a little bit. Now two men on base with nobody out here for Northwestern. This is Stanford now. Batting. It's going to be hit by pitch. Uh, hit by pitch while he was swinging, so that's not going to be walking. It's going to be strike one. Watson's going to be batting fourth today. Click fifth. Pour up six. Castillo seven. Short. Eight and Ayers in the nine hole. Kirkaby will be pitching today for Northwestern. 0 1 count, two men on base on first and second. Foul ball. Right back into the net. It's going to be an 0 2 count again. Last 0 2 pitch we saw was just a moment ago. Rabluski was in an 0 2 hole, ended up getting a base hit in the infield, got to first in time. Lancers with no outs in the top of the first inning facing Northwestern. No score so far. Ball. 1-2 count. Stanford batting. The 1-2. Pitch from Poland. This is going to go right off of Poland into the hands of the second baseman. Lancers trying to turn two. They're going to get it done. Throw over to Nunez at first. And the Lancers are able to turn two. There is a man on first. On third, excuse me. Two down now in the top of the first. Northwestern does have a man in scoring position, however. Dykstra, 90 feet away. Watson now steps up to the plate. With two down. Mo Watson, 48th at bat on the season for him. He's got 13 hits, 8 RBIs. He's been struck out 15 times, 277 batting average. 
batting in that four spot today. Poland throws. This is going to go right to short, and it is brought in. Lancers will bring it in. Joe Goki makes the catch, and that will do it for the top of the first. This is KYNT 1021 FM, AM 1450. My name is Tell Tanner. Let's go ahead and take 60 seconds, come back for the Lancer bats right after this. No score as we go to the bottom of the first. FM 1021 and AM 1450, KYNT, Yankton. Move with Mason Schramm with the Move Group. Home ownership was one of the most straightforward paths to building wealth. So making a smart home buying decision is important and so is understanding how much your home is worth. Don't use online calculators or guesstimates. Use a professional team that understands the local market and can guide you on a smart purchase and maximize your home's equity. Contact me, Mason Schramm, and make the move with Mason and the Move Group. Move with Mason. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. All right, let's go over starting lineups once again, brought to you by Slumberland. With free interior design service plus great brands like Tempur-Pedic, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel, Slumberland is on Broadway in Yankton. Let's go ahead and talk about the outfield here for Northwestern as we go to the bottom of the first in a nothing, nothing ball game. Northwestern had a man in scoring position. They will leave him on base. That was Dykstra who got there. He was walked as the leadoff batter. Got all the way to third, but could not get home before the Lancers were able to get the third and final out. Lancers had a double play in that one as well, which was very fun to see. In terms of the outfield for Northwestern, this is what it'll look like. Kirkaby is going to be on the mound here for game one. Dylan Kirkaby out of Brandon, South Dakota. Some of the, and then we'll go through. At catcher, it's gonna be short. First base is covered by Watson. Second base, Castillo. Castillo. Uh, third base is going to be Stanford. The shortstop today is Ayers. Out in left field is Dykstra. Center field is Rabluski, and right field is Porip. Lancers going to walk up to the plate. Their first batter of the day, this is Aiden Chang. Aiden Chang going to be the leadoff hitter for the Lancers today. Ball one on the first pitch. One O count. Two O count. Both first two pitches miss. Two O. Kirkaby throws. This one's going to be hit high. Fly ball from Chang. Catcher's trying to get underneath it and will not get there. Two one count after the foul ball. Aiden Chang, leadoff hitter for the Lancers today. For Aiden, this is his thirty fourth at bat of the season, and this one's going to be hit right to the pitcher. Pitcher's just going to bring that one in himself. Good instincts there from Kirkaby. Always a dangerous thing when the ball is hit straight to the catcher, but he got it right in the glove. That'll bring up Will Gardner now, batting second for the Lancers. This is the center fielder. Pitch from Kirkaby. High and outside. Ball one. 1-0 count here for Gardner. Gardner's got 15 RBIs, 23 hits on the season. He'll swing and miss at that one. 
One, one count, one out. Bottom of the first. Foul ball down the left field line this time. Not going to stay fair. One, two count here for Gardner. This is Lancer's second bat of the day. Gardner's next shot going to be a high fly ball out to center field and will be brought in for out number two. Out there in center was Rablewski. That'll bring up Kiko Nunez, batting third at four of the Lancers today. Kiko, the first baseman, former all G Pack player. He's a junior for this Lancer team. Originally was recruited to Air Force playing football. Was an all-conference offensive lineman for the Lancers originally. Ended up committing to play baseball this year only. Really wanted to focus on it. After the breakout season he had in his sophomore year last year, who can argue with him? He's in an 0-1 count right at the moment, facing Kirkaby. 0-1, make it 0-2, swing and miss for the big first baseman. Nunez, one of the stronger bats in the G-Pack. He can have a 30 mile an hour headwind and, you can, and he can still put it over the fence. And that was not an exaggeration. I watched him do it. 0-2 pitch. This one in the dirt in front of him. It'll be a 1-2 now. Kirkaby, by the way. Dylan Kirkaby, this is his fifth start on the year and his sixth appearance. He has one win, two losses, 19 innings pitched, 20 hits, 17 runs allowed, and a 6.16 ERA. The 1 2. High. High and outside, make it a 2 2 count for Nunez, the junior, with two down in the inning. Nobody on base for the Lancers. First conference game of the year. G Pack play opens today. The 2-2, two -two, foul ball. Nunez stays in the at-bat with that swing. Nunez, batting lefty. Two two with two down for Kirkaby. Hits him. Nunez took that one off the right leg and he'll advance to first. That's going to bring up Ryan Bachman now, the second baseman for the Lancers. Bach Bachman's going to step into the box. Right handed batter. Facing Kirk could be a right handed pitcher. Our field conditions today. About 50 degrees in this first inning of play. Sunny skies overhead. It's a beautiful day in Yankton. Strike one pitch thrown. First pitch strike from Kirkaby here to start off this at bat. Facing Bachman. There's a little bit of wind, about a nine mile an hour wind coming out of the west right at the moment. So not gonna be much of a factor today. It's beautiful conditions. Foul ball down the right field line. Everybody returns. Just as I say the wind wasn't a factor, my papers got blown around in the booth, so maybe maybe Mother Nature didn't like that. I'm sorry if I jinxed it. We're going to have a really windy day now. That's on me. 0-2 count here for Bachman. High and inside. 1-2. Two. two down in the inning. Nunez on first for the Lancers. We're in the bottom of the first on at KYNT. Once again, my name is Tel Tanner. This is our... First baseball game since July we've been able to cover here on KYNT, so I'm pretty happy to be here. Back at Riverside Field, one of the best stadiums in the G-Pack for sure. This next one high, 2-2 two -two count here for Bachman. Good eye on that one. Two-two -two pitch. Fires. In the dirt, gets by the catcher. Nunez is going to advance to second. Catcher doesn't even throw. Nunez 
going to take second base. We've got a full count pitch incoming for Ryan Bachman. Now a man in scoring position for the Lancers. Nunez leading off second. Swing and miss. That will do it for the bottom of the first. Kirkaby gets the punch out, and we go to the second here on KYNT. My name is Tell Tanner. This is Lancer Baseball on a Friday afternoon. Let's go ahead and take 60 seconds for the Northwestern Red Raider Bats in a 0-0 ball game. Mary is trying the new Philly-style Runza sandwich. You know, Rocky was set in Philadelphia. Wonder if he ever had a Philly-style Runza sandwich. Yo, Adrian, I love these green peppers, onions, steak, and Swiss. We should go do boxing later. You haven't seen Rocky, have you? Not at all. Been too busy eating the new Philly-style Runza sandwich. Because Runza makes it all better. Runza on Broadway by Menards and Yankton. You buy, you shoot, and you score. This is Brandon Tykro from Lewis and Clark Ford. It's back. March Motor Madness. During March, make a sweet deal on a newer pre-owned vehicle from Lewis and Clark Ford, and we'll take you to the free throw line for three shots at our showroom hoop for a chance to make your deal even sweeter. Every shot made is an additional $100 off the deal. March Motor Madness going on now at Lewis and Clark Ford, 4th and Capital in Yankton. We go to the top of the second here on KYNT and a hit right off the bat to short throw to first. Nunez brings it in. Lancers are able to get the out. Kiko Nunez, the first baseman, able to make that catch. Give the credit to shortstop for the Lancers. We had a ground out to start the inning. Shortstop Joe Goki able to bring that in. Yanked a native. Once again, this is the first of two games today between the Red Raiders and the Lancers. We have another pitch here for Porup. That was Click, by the way, who just had a out to short, ground out to short there. Click grounds out in his first at bat. He was the designated hitter. Porup, this is the right fielder, now in batting. 0-1 count. No, 0-2 count, excuse me. There it is. 0-2. The 0-2. This one hit off the bat over to right center field, and that's going to drop for a base hit. Two hop into the hand of the right fielder, throw it into second. Not going to be able to get there in time. That's a double for Porat. Right fielder gets a hit. He stands on second now. It's going to bring up Castillo. with one down in the inning and one on base. This is Zane Poland on the mound for the Lancers again starting this game, his second start of the year. First pitch ball, it's outside. Poland's thrown 17 pitches so far today. Two hits, one walk, and six batters faced. No runs allowed. We're in a 0-0 ball game, top, top of the second here on KYNT. Poland throws. Down the middle that time, got the strike, 1-1 one, one count. Once again, this is the inaugural debut of our outfield camera for Lancer Baseball. We did have this up and running for the state tournament in Legion Baseball for high school this last year, which is a lot of fun. We had to host that in Yankton. But this will be our first Lancer game with it. We're thoroughly enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are enjoying it at home, too. 
It's just a, this, this is just the way to watch baseball. You got to have the over the shoulder look of the pitcher to really get the battle. It's just how you got to have it. One, two count here in the top of the second. Once again, a man on second. That's Porip. Castillo knocks this one down the third baseline. Going to throw over to first. Lancer's going to get their second out as Nunez had to come off the bag to bring that one in. But Nunez made the adjustment, then made the tag. Nunez, a larger dude to play first base, but he can move with the best of them. Once again, he was in all his freshman season. He was an all-conference offensive lineman in the fall and an all-conference first baseman in the spring for Mount Marty football and baseball. This last year, he decided to so focus solely on baseball, and he's really been able to become a special player for this Lancer team. Poland throws this next one. First pitch, ball again. Now facing short. Isaac Short on the year. This is 32nd at bat. Six hits, two RBIs. He has a 194 batting average coming into today. His next pitch way outside. Chang's able to handle it. Runner stays at second. 2-0 count now for Paulin. Short is the eight batter. The nine batter and Ayers coming up next. 2-0 count with two down. Low again, 3-0 count. Short's got a good eye. Poland gets his signal. He's got a man behind him on second. Leading off here is Porup. Short. Let's this one go for strike one. Poland trying to battle his way back into this at bat. Still down in the count, 3-1 with two down. Man in scoring position on second base. Poland. Fires the 3-1. Off the bat, out to right field. It will drop for a base hit, and we're going to have our first run of this ball game. No, they're throwing it home. It's close. Not in time. First run of the ball game scores. Porup touches home plate. Short gets the RBI. What a throw from right field for Shugo Kondo, though. There was I didn't think there was any way they were going to be able to make that close, but they did. But that is our first run of this ball game. Northwestern leads Mount Marty 1-0 in the top of the second with two outs in the inning. And now the nine batters, batter Ayers, will step up to the plate. Brody Ayers, 30, 38th at bat on the year for him. He has 13 hits, 10 RBIs. He has a 351 batting average. Once again, two outs in the inning with a man on first now in short. First pitch hit. Going to be out too short, and it'll be brought in. Joe Goki will bring it in for the out for the second half inning in a row. Joe Goki makes the final out of the inning. That will do it for the second here on KYNT, or excuse me, the top of the second. We go to the bottom of the second now in a 1-0 ball game. Northwestern has taken the lead. We'll come back out for Kirkaby and the Red Raiders defense in a couple of minutes. On KYNT, back in 60 seconds. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Don't gamble. Insure with MTNRC Smith Insurance in Yankton, your independent agent for home, business, auto, life, and bonds. MTRCSmithInsurance.com. Have your eyes been dry and irritated from all the smoke in the air? Look no further. The doctors at Vision Care Associates are experts in dry eye care and resolution. Say goodbye to constantly trying out the new eye drop you see at the drugstore, hoping for some relief. Our team will work with you to identify the underlying causes of your dry eye and create a personalized treatment plan for you. Vision Care Associates, where the health of your eyes comes first. All right.
Ready, we are back on a KYNT 102.1 FM, AM 1450. We go now to the bottom of the second inning. Lancers now trailing in this ball game as Kirkaby's throwing some warm up pitches. Kirkaby had a pretty good uh, first inning, did not allow a hit, had one strikeout and four batters faced. Did throw 21 pitches, however, threw a lot of pitches in that one, in that first inning. First batter face, gonna be Bodie Waller, designated hitter for the Lancers. Bodie, swing and miss on his first pitch. Waller's 61st at bat of the year. He has 21 hits, 16 RBIs to seven strikeouts. He has a 350 batting average, a 369 on base percentage. Ball on the next pitch from Kirkaby, a 1-1 count here in the bottom of the second. It's 2.25 p.m., 50 degrees and sunny in Yankton. Very little wind, about 10 miles an hour from the west. It's not really much of a factor here. Strike two for Bodie Waller. Tried to check the swing. He did not check it in time. One, two count. Game today brought to you by Court Trust Bank, by the way, helping you achieve your personal and business goals. Court Trust Bank, raise your expectations. Member FDIC. The one, two. Foul ball. Stays alive in the at-bat, does Waller. This is the first batter of the bottom of the second. Our officials today, Alan Steckel and Jake Roche. Another ball comes in, 2-2 two -two count. Lancer team that's receiving votes in the top 25. Very impressive, especially considering the 13 seniors they lost last year. Another ball. We got a full count. 13 seniors once again graduated for this Lancer team last year with big names like Chris Rofe, Billy Hancock, Noah Moon, Tyler Lynch, Kate Koletsky, Cooper Davis. There were a lot of really, get, really impactful guys. Zane Sally, Josh Mares, Tommy Alitz. Another foul ball, keep, or excuse me. Another foul ball will keep Waller alive, but this is a Lancer team that this year, nobody was really sure how good they were gonna be, and they really answered that as they took the number one team in the nation to extra innings last week before falling by one. They beat number 15, Ave Maria, as Waller will swing and miss and strike out. Punch out for Kirkaby here. Second strikeout of the game for him. Once again, this Lancer team has kind of surprised people with just how good they are this year. Coming into today with that 14 and seven overall record. And their losses on the year are to number seven Bellevue, number one Southeastern. A couple of really good ranked teams and a couple of teams receiving votes as well. They've also have wins over number 15 and other teams receiving votes. The Lancer team is gonna be fun to watch. Here's the first at bat of the day for Shugo Kondo. The right fielder here will be spending time behind home plate at the catcher position in game two today. 1-0 count. Make it a 1-1 after a foul ball off Kondo's bat. Another one of these catchers that transferred in this year in an attempt to replace Billy Hancock. The 1-1 pitch. Low and outside, make it a 2-1. Kondo's first. At bat of the day, he has 12 hits and five RBIs in the season, a 279 batting average, 380 on base percentage. He's got a good eye as he got got away from that one there. It was in, on the inside. Now up in the count, 3-1, with one down in the inning. Kirkaby throws the 3-1. Walked him. So with one down in the inning, Kondo will now get on first base. It's gonna bring up Ethan Wishon. Wishon, the third baseman for the Lancers. Yankton native, he's been around for a long time here in this Lancer baseball program. Yankton native, once again, came from Yankton High School. 
He's got a good arm over at third base and a better bat in the box. First pitch strike here from Kirkaby. With Sean, 21 hits to 15 RBIs on the year, a 328 batting average, 444 on base percentage. This is his 65th at bat of the year. Trying to throw over to first, not in time. Kondo gets back on base. Game today brought to you by Dakota Beverage. Whether it's Coors Light or Miller Light, always drink responsibly. Trying first again. Once again, not in time. Kondo. We'll lead off first. Kirkaby letting him know he's there. He, 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 I know where you're at. Strike two, just got the inside corner on that one. Now with Sean in a bit of trouble here in an 0-2 hole. Third batter of the inning. This is the bottom of the second in a 1-0 ball game in favor of Northwestern. Next ball, outside, make it a 1-2 count. Kirkaby working on Ethan with Sean here, senior for this Lancer program. One, two, runner goes, throw to second. Throw was off target. Kondo is gonna get there. Stolen base for Shugo Kondo and he will get into scoring position for the Lancers. Well, hold on. Batter interference, I think that's on Ethan with Sean. So with Sean interfered, with the catcher throwing, so that's gonna mean, that's gonna turn into a double hitter. So the Lancers are gonna be retired. There was only one out on the board, so they're gonna say both Shugo Kano and Ethan Wishon are out there, which means we go to the third now in a 1-0 ball game. My name is Tal Tanner, this is KYNT. Batter interference ends the inning. Let's go ahead and take that 60 second break. Come back for Zane Poland, the Lancer defense in the third inning. Northwestern leads 1-0. This is Mount Marty Lancer baseball on KYNT. This is Lisa from Slumberland Furniture in Yankton. Our store is inspirational, modern, bright, and our warehouse is filled with the latest in furniture and home decor trends. You'll find the best brand name furniture and quality mattresses with the best customer service possible. Slumberland always guarantees the lowest prices. See us at 2401 Broadway in Yankton. Sign Tech has moved. Yes, SignTech has moved to a bigger location to serve you even better than before. SignTech is now located at 705 Whiting Drive, just a little west of the 4-H building. While Dave has a new location, he's still known for signs of all kinds, from magnets, vinyl banners, to illuminated and digital signage, plus truck and vinyl lettering. SignTech does it all, sales service and installation. SignTech, now located at 705 Whiting Drive, Yankton. All right, we are back and underway in the third inning of play. Zane Poland on the mound for the Lancers. Once again, we had battery interference on Ethan with Sean. Going to call him and Shugo Kondo out, ending that bottom of the second. So here in the top of the third, Northwestern leads this ball game 1-0 over Mount Marty. We are back at the top of the batting order. This was the leadoff batter of this ball game, Drew Dykstra. Dykstra was walked in his first appearance today. Now takes a strike. 1-1 one, one count. The 1-2. Foul ball. Over into the bullpen for the Red Raiders. One two count here on a KYNT. Zane Poland on the mound for the Lancers in his second start of the season. One two pitch. Another foul ball. Dykstra will stay alive in the at bat. Dykstra once again, 18 hits, 12 RBIs. He has a 340 batting average on the year. 
is a junior out of Iowa, Urbandale. Ball. 2-2. Two, two. Poland once again a 5.68 ERA coming into today. Now in a 2-2 count, facing the top of the batting order here for the Red Raiders. This one hit right past the pitcher, over to short, throw to first, on the run, got him. Kiko Nunez makes the makes the catch. Joe Goki fields that one at short. Lancers get their first one of the inning. In the top of the third, they trail 1-0 to this Red Raider team. This is game one of two. Robluski now batting. First pitch strike for Poland. Poland. This is his 26th pitch of the day in his now third inning pitching. He's got three hits, one run, one walk, and nine batters faced. Now 10. This will be his 11th. Another strike call. 0-2 count here. Robluski down in the count. This one next, outside. Got past Chang, the catcher. One-two count for Poland. This one hit. Way deep out into left field. This one's going to drop. Two hop, three hop into the fence. Brought in at left field. Throw over to short. That's a double. Robluski hits a double here in Riverside Field. He's in scoring position with one out in the inning. It's going to bring back Stanford to the batter's box. Stanford grounded out into a double play the last time he was up at the in the batter's box. This one going to be hit out to center field, and it will be brought in by the Lancers for out number two. Will Gardner brought that one in in center. Will Gardner, Jr. for this Lancer program. Brought that one in. And we go back to Watson. Mo Watson back up in the box. Mo Watson, 13 hits, eight RBIs, a 277 batting average on the year coming into today. Poland, left-handed pitcher, has a man on second in scoring position, but two down in the inning. He'll throw this one, gets by the catcher. Chang's got to track it down, but not in time. Stolen base here for the Red Raiders. count. Red Raiders in scoring position now. Runner leading off a third. Strike call on the next pitch for Poland. 1-1 one, one count. Watson. The 1-1. One, one. Watson hits this one out into left field. It will drop, and that's going to be another run score here for the Red Raiders. Robluski going to get that one. Mo Watson with two down in the inning. To get the RBI. That'll bring back Click.
Click flew out in his last at bat. Runner on first with two down in the inning. Lancers now trail 2-0. This one is fair. It's right off the... Hold on. Are they going to call him? Yeah, I think they're going to call him out. So it looks like Click is going to be out here. He hit that one. He's arguing it. He doesn't want to be out. The officials are telling him, yep, it was fair ball. He's saying it hit right at his feet, and it was not fair. They're still talking about it. The official's going to go over and speak with the head coach, but that is going to do it for the top of the third. Lancers trail 2-0. We go to the bottom of the third here in 60 seconds on KYNT. This is Mount Marty Lancer Baseball Friday afternoon. Want the speediest speeds and endless entertainment? Midco has it. Flexible, exceptional, reliable internet, TV, and phone solutions to support your busy, connected life. Whether you're working from home or streaming your series, you're covered. Easy installation options, steadfast service, all from the friendliest folks in the business. Ready to get started? Fantastic. Head over to midco.com. The family is getting in the vehicle, going to the Yankton game. Everyone is decked out in Yankton red, but wait, little Josh has on green. Oh no, are we playing pier? They'd better stop at JJ Benji's to write that wrong. JJ Benji's is stocked with Yankton and Mount Marty fan gear in a variety of sizes and styles. For Bucks, Gazelles, and Lancer fan gear, you can count on JJ Benji's 201 Pine Street, Yankton. They make you look good. Let's go to the bottom of the third here on a KYNT. My name is Tell Tanner, keeping you company on a Friday afternoon for Lancer baseball. Lancer stepping back up to the plate. Foul ball for Vaughn Deming. Left fielder leading off this half inning for the Lancers. We're in the bottom of the third. Mount Marty trails this ball game 2-0. This is a seven inning game, by the way. We're playing a seven and nine, unless the first game goes into extra innings. That's how we do it for conference play in the G-Pack. The 0-1, knocked to third. Gonna be throwing over to first base. Not gonna go into the glove of the first baseman. Vaughn Deming, gonna get that base hit. He'll stand off first. The throw was f way too far inside. The first baseman had to kind of dive for it, just wasn't able to make the catch. Mo Watson tried to get there, couldn't get it in the glove, and then make the tag. Lancers are going to have Von Deming on first as Joe Goki, the shortstop, will now step up to the plate. This is the nine batter. Joe Goki, good man to have in the nine ball, nine hole. Goki on the season, this is his 62nd at bat as we have a ball throw on the first pitch. 21 hits, 10 RBIs. He's batting 344 average with a 359 on base percentage. 410 slugging percentage, by the way. Joe Goki, another Yankton native, shortstop. Swing and miss on this next one. 1-1 one, one count. This is still Kirkaby on the mound for Northwestern. Go over his stats again here in just a moment. Delivers another ball, 2-1 count. Dylan Kirkaby, 20 hits, 17 runs scored on him on the season. He has a 6-1-6 ERA, 6-16. Another ball, make it a 3-1 count. Three one count in the fifth start for Kirkaby here. One win, two losses on the season. That's strike two. Delay call there, but got him in. This is the full count now. Full count for Joe Goki. He's got Vaughn Deming leading off a of first. No outs so far, bottom of the third, 2-0, Northwestern leads. The full count pitch, outside, walked him. 
So the Lancers, with no outs in the inning, all of a sudden have two on base. Joe Goki will represent the tying run at this point in the game. Down two are the Lancers as we go back to the top of the batting order. This is the leadoff batter for the Lancers, Aiden Chang, the catcher. Aiden Chang, right-handed batter. Showing bunt, he'll pull it back, strike one. Chang, 14 hits and four RBIs in the season. He has a 424 batting average. You can see why he's the leadoff today, 424 batting average. 0-1, tried to show bunt again. This one a ball on the outside, pulled it back in time. 1-1 one, one count. Bunt up in the air, brought in by the catcher. Good play from the catcher there. Short. One down in the inning now. Lancers have two on base still. Chang will be out from the catcher bringing that one in. This is Will Gardner now up at the plate. Gardner, the junior center fielder. Oh, one one count with one out. Swing and miss. 0-2 oh, here for Gardner. hole here is Will Gardner. Two men on base, one out in the inning. Next pitch outside. One, two count. Tough position here for the junior. This game today brought to you by Aztec. Build your career with the group that's built to connect from rock to road. Kirkaby throws the one, two. Inside, make it a two, two. Two, two count with one out in the inning. Runners on first and second. That's Deming and Goki. Chang was out. Just a quick little fly brought in by the catcher. Swing and miss, strike three. That's two down in the inning for Kirkaby. Got another strikeout as Kiko Nunez will step back up to the plate. Now there's two down in the inning, but this is still a good man to have in the box for the Lancers. Kiko Nunez steps back in. Runners on first and second. First pitch, high. Ball one. Nunez on the season has missed a couple of games due to some illnesses, but he's one of their biggest bats. Has 11 RBIs and 21 hits in five less games than most of his teammates. He had some unfortunate illnesses this year. 1-0 count, but he's good now. 1-1 one, one. after that foul ball. Two zero. Northwestern leads this ball game. With two down, 2-1 two, count now. Another ball. The 2 1. Strike two. That one just got the inside. Nunez batting in a crucial moment for the Lancers. Down two with runners on first and second. Foul ball. He'll stay alive. Two down in the inning. Kirkaby 
trying to get the punch out. Kirkaby has three strikeouts. Now four, I believe. Here's the pitch for Nunez. Swing and miss, punch out. Kirkaby got another one to end the third. 2-0, Northwestern leads this ball game as we go to the fourth. This is KYNT, I'm Tell Tanner. Mount Marty Lancer Baseball on a Friday afternoon, back in 60 seconds. It's time to tax like a champ with help from your local pros at h and Block of Yankton. Block guarantees 100% accuracy and your max refund. Plus, you'll always know the price of your tax prep before you begin. Walk in or make an appointment at your year-round, locally owned h and Block of Yankton on 21st and Broadway or 605-665-3366 to see for yourself why it's better with Block. All tax situations are different. Not everyone gets a refund. Limitations apply. See hr-block.com slash guarantees. Are fine lines and wrinkles making you feel less confident? Imagine a smoother, more radiant you in just one visit. The solution? Botox. Dr. Elwood at Elwood Family Dental Care is trained and experienced in providing cosmetic Botox to reduce fine lines in the facial region. Say goodbye to frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead wrinkles and rediscover your natural beauty with safe and effective Botox treatment. Contact Elwood Family Dental Care today to schedule a consultation and see if you're a good candidate. All right, back in the fourth inning. I'm being told we had a scoreboard issue that was now resolved. Sorry about that. Apparently, we had the wrong team winning there for a moment. We had the wrong home team slot. So we've got that fixed. Everything is working once again. We are underway in the fourth as we have a first pitch strike from Poland. So an 0-1 count here. Leadoff batter of this inning for the Red Raiders. Zane Poland on the mound once again. We're going to have a high ball. Porip hits this one into center field. Gardner will bring it into the glove. So out is Porip. We'll bring back Castillo. Castillo back in the box. Rainer Castillo, freshman. First pitch ball from Poland. Ten hits, seven RBIs coming into today. With six walks and only two strikeouts on the year for Castillo. 294 batting average and a 415 on base percentage. Poland throws the 1 0. Strike. 1 1 count. Strike two here from Poland. Thank a moment, thank our sponsor, Dakota Mac. Transparency and integrity is what you're looking for in an ag lender. Dakota Mac has both. We'll work hard to find lending solutions to fit your needs. Learn more at dakotamac.com. One, two count here. One down in the inning. Poland fires. High fly ball. That one's going back into the crowd. Looks like everyone's okay. Foul ball. One, two count. Will remain. One out in the inning. This is Castillo at the plate. Short on deck. Ayers in the hole. One bounce into the hands of second baseman. Throw to first. Two down in the inning for the Lancers. in the fourth here on KYNT. Isaac Short steps back into the box. He has one of the two RBIs for this Red Raider team today. Hit Porip home. 
the last time he was at at the plate. 1-0 count here with two down in the inning. Nobody on base. The 1-0. Outside, make it 2-0. Two zero count, and looks like the officials are going to come out and speak with the pitcher for the Lancers, Zane Polin. Head coach Josh Tykro comes out to talk with him as well. Looks like he's looking at his throwing arm, shaking it out a little bit. They're checking him out. Must have been throwing awkwardly here. Anyways, it's a 2-0 count with two down here for short. If we return in a moment. There is somebody warming up in the bullpen for the Lancers out there. I can't quite see who it is. But it, they haven't taken the, the ball out of the hand of Poland yet. And now he's throwing some warm-up pitches. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to Stay in this ball game. He threw that one in it. You could hear, you maybe could see the emotion as he threw that one. Coach Tykro is now signaling to the bullpen. And it looks like we will have a pitching change here. I believe Poland has not walked away yet, but now everybody's giving him hugs, and we will have a pitching change. So this pitching change going to be. Brought to you today by Pizza Ranch. For legendary chicken and the best pizza, it's Yankton Pizza Ranch on Broadway. Call 665-1222. New pitcher is going to warm up. We're going to be back here in 60 seconds on a KYNT. This is Lancer Baseball on a Friday afternoon. It's the Browning Second Amendment sales tax event at Dakota Archery. Save up to $500 on Browning saves now through April 30th, including the new Primal series of saves, which start at $7.99 after rebate. And to put in your new Browning save, purchase a new Browning shotgun, handgun, or rifle and save 8% until April 15th. Open every night till 8. Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, East Highway 50, Yankton, South Dakota. We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Tiffany Tucson at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow. We have openings in a variety of departments. Sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursements, and more. Build your career with the group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at AztecJobs.com. New pitcher on the mound warming up for the Lancers. This pitching change brought to you today by Pizza Ranch for legendary chicken and the best pizza. It's Yankton Pizza Ranch on Broadway, or you can call 665 1222. Zach Haggy is the new pitcher on the mound for the Lancers. Haggy, this will be his first appearance in relief this season. In all five of his previous appearances, it was as a starter, but he has had some struggles this year, so he's going to come out of the bullpen today. Haggy, a guy who over the last couple years has really shown what he's got as one of the better arms for the Lancers, but a tough start to the year. Today, oh, we'll see if he can turn that around. The Lancers are down two here, really in need of some life on the mound as obviously um, Zane Poland was not 100% out there. Not sure what was going on with his throwing arm, but he was clearly not 100%. So hopefully he's going to get healthy for his next appearance. But for the moment, Haggy has a 791 ERA. He has 27 hits and 19 runs allowed. He has one win and two losses in his five starts. 19 innings pitched. Haggy is now on the mound for the Lancers. Pitching in relief of Poland today. The 2-0 pitch, low and away, ball one on the first pitch for Hackey. That'll make it a 3-0 count. Once again, we're in the uh, we're in the at bat for short. He had a 2-0 count when that whole thing started in the pitching change. So we return to this at bat and a 3-0 count now. Next pitch, low. So two pitches, two balls for Hackey, and that'll be a walk. 
Short will advance to first with two outs in the inning. Haggy doesn't have to do a lot this inning to end it. He just needs to get one batter out. The Lancers can retire the Red Raiders, go to the bottom of the fourth, and try and get back into this ball game. They're down 2-0 here. Red Raiders have a man on first now. Ayers batting again. This is the nine batter. First pitch, low, and that'll be another ball. Game today brought to you by Boss's Pizza and Chicken. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying the night in your own home, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken at Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. Haggy, 1 0. Strike one. First strike of the afternoon here for Haggy on a 1 1 count. Two outs in the inning. Runner on first for the Red Raiders. Runner goes here. Throw to second. They're trying to end the inning. Safe. Stolen base. Short. Isaac Short got the stolen base. He stands at second now. Now in scoring position for the Red Raiders. 1-1 one, one count at 3 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Lancer baseball in Yankton, Riverside Field. The 2-1 pitch. Got the outside corner, strike two. 2-2 two, two count with two down. Haggy throws the 2-2. Two, two. This is going to be off the bat of the man at home plate. Throw over to first. Nunez brings it in. Easy. Got it in for out number three. Red Raiders will leave one on base, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. Lancers trying to get something rolling here. This is KYNT. My name is Tel Tanner. Let's go ahead and take 60 seconds. New starting wages at Parker of Yankton. Parker of Yankton is excited to announce a new generous wage increase. This wage increase includes all production positions, assemblers, machine ops, setups, and material handlers, plus a second shift differential. Parker provides some of the best benefits in the area. And in case you missed it, new increased wages. Apply today at parker.com. Parker, engineering your success. FM 1021 and AM 1450, KYNT, Yankton. Beef, pork, seafood, poultry, and more. All at the Meat Lodge in Yankton. Get top quality meats at great prices. They have specialty items like lamb, brisket, mahi-mahi, crab legs, and lobster. They even have non-meat options like dimmick cheese, pickled items, seasonings, and sauces. For your convenience, you can call and order curbside pickup or order online at meatlodge.com. The Meat Lodge in Yankton, on the way to the lake, on Highway 52. So an eventful half inning there as the Lancers saw a pitching change as Zane Poland was obviously not out there at 100%. His day will end with 51 total pitches, five hits, two runs scored, one walk, 16 batters faced in that start. We now return to the, as a proud to Kirkaby. Bank, court. Kirkaby will be throwing his first strike one. All right, excuse me, ball one. Nah, I was right the first time, strike two. I second guess myself, my bad. 0-2 count here for the Lancers. The 0-2. Down the left field line, going to be brought in at third. Throw over to first base is in time. For the Lancers, Ryan Bachman that was. Ground out to third. Bodie Waller. Now we'll step in. The box making plays. 2-0 is the score of this ball game. Northwestern 
on top of Mount Marty. We're in the bottom of the fourth here on KYNT. One down in the inning. Kirkaby, first pitch ball, working on Waller now. Bodie Waller is the designated hitter for the Lancers today. 1-0 pitch, outside, make it a 2-0 count. Two zero count with one down, bottom of the fourth, and a two zero ball game in favor of Northwestern. Fly ball out to left field. Left fielder goes into foul territory, trying to bring it in right near the fence at the bullpen, and will bring it into the glove. Out number two. Great catch out there in left field. Dykstra. Dexter brought that one in way out there. Went into foul territory. You could tell he was starting to stutter step. He was, he was getting close to the fence of the bullpen. Didn't want to run into it. Thankfully, it was about two feet away from it, but able to make that catch. Very good one. Two outs now in the inning. First pitch strike from Kirkaby. The next at bat is Shugo Kondo of the plate. Part-time catcher, part-time right fielder. He was walked in his first plate appearance. Foul ball. Foul ball. Game today brought to you by Lewis and Clark Ford, a proud sponsor of Mount Marty Athletics. Visit them at 4th and Capital in Yankton or at lewisandclarkford.com. Northwestern leads this ball game 2-0 in the bottom of the fourth on KYNT. Lancers struggling offensively so far. No hits in this ball game. They've got a few on base from walks, but there's going to be the first hit of the game. Shugo Kondo going to get it for the Lancers. First hit for the Lancers comes in the bottom of the fourth. Shugo Kondo gets on first base. Lancers have had a couple of walks today. Kondo was walked. Goki was walked, but they were both left on base eventually. Lancers now with two outs. I'm going to bring Ethan Wishon up to bat. Wishon going to drill this one out to right field. It will not stay fair. That one goes into the bullpen for the Lancers. Foul ball. Strike one. Lancer baseball today is brought to you by Ghost Hydration, it's a hydration revolution. The ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. Another one thrown up high, and it is brought in by the shortstop. Out number three, that'll do it for the fourth. We go to the fifth on a KYNT. The Lancers trail this ball game 2-0. My name is Tell Tanner. This is Mount Marty Lancer Baseball on KYNT. As a proud community bank, Core Trust delivers more than just checking and savings accounts. We invest in the cities and towns where we live and work by volunteering to coach youth sports teams, supporting local charities and the arts with our time and resources. Whether we live in a rural town in South Dakota or a suburban city in Minnesota, it's a place we call home. Core Trust Bank, raise your expectations. Member FDIC. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. Let's go to the fifth here on a KYNT, a game today brought to you by Runza. Pick that perfect burger at Runza. Bacon cheeseburger, Swiss mushroom, or spice jack made fresh and top the way you like. Runza's now in Yankton. 2-0. -oh 
is the score of this ball game. Northwestern on top of Mount Marty, and the Northwestern bats are back up. Lancers finally got their first hit of the ball game in the bottom of the fourth. Shugo Kondo, but he was eventually left on base. 0-1 count. Zach Haggy is out here pitching in relief and throws a first pitch strike. Next pitch goes straight to second. Will be fielded cleanly. Throw to first. Out number one. Second baseman Ryan Bachman got that one pretty clean out there at second. That was Dykstra, by the way, leadoff batter. We were back up at the one spot, Dykstra. Grounds out to second. We go to Robluski. Ball. Lancer baseball today, a product of Avera. Moving health forward. 1-0 count. Ball hit to third, throw over to first. Lancer's trying to get their second, and they will. Throw was a good one for Ethan Wishon. Wishon, the third baseman, makes that play. It's again a Yankton native. So we go back to Stanford now. Stanford, the third baseman himself, now up to bat. He does have one hit and one run scored today. Two outs in the inning. Ball one on the first pitch from Haggy. One-oh count. They get a one-one after a foul ball for Stanford. Two outs in the inning in the top of the fifth. 1-1. One, one. This one hit out to center field. Will Gardner trying to track it in for out number three. Dives for it. Did he make the catch? No, he did not. He says he did. Now he's going to throw into second. They're going to throw back to first. Lancers were already running off the field, so nobody was in position. And the official's going to say that he didn't catch it. Will Gardner comes up saying, I got that one. The officials are now talking about this one. Lancers were already starting to run off the field, so nobody was in position. Coach Josh Tykro is now coming out to get an explanation from the officials here. He's obviously upset about that one. Will Gardner dove for that one, rolled over, got up, saying, I got it. It's in the glove. I got it. Lancers were running off the field, and then the official comes in saying, he did not catch it. Lancers were already well out of position because they were running off. So they were not able to kind of recover. But the runner did return to first base, so the runner is still on first. So I guess he didn't, didn't round the bases in the confusion, so I guess that's a good thing. All right, we return to play. Two outs in the inning. Lancers still trying to get that third out. Check swing, Watson. Ball one. This is Mo Watson now batting. Stanford. Guess that. Yes, yeah. That will be a that will be a base hit for Stanford. So he's going to be on first. This one off the off the plate of the catcher, and that's going to be a base now for Stanford. And he's going to move into scoring position here. Red Raiders could come away with a run after that confusion now as Stanford is on second. Now I think we're going to have a pinch runner come in. Yeah, we do. Craig coming in. Number 10. Red Raiders trying to take advantage of this opportunity. Craig comes in to run. Jack Craig has 12 appearances on the season. Five runs scored. One stolen base. 2-0 count here for Watson. Make it a 3-0. Facing Zach Haggy on the mound. Northwestern after what we'll say a questionable call. Out 
the outfield. They have a chance to put another run on the board. There are two outs in the inning. Lancers can still get out of this one, but see what happens. 3-0 count. Aggie unable to recover after the confusion. Four pitches, four balls. More Mo Watson will go to first base. Now two on for the Red Raiders. A pinch runner in Craig, leading off a second. Click, batting, strike one, first pitch strike here for Haggy. Lancer baseball today, product of Gerstner Oil, no matter what you drive, make sure you fuel up at Triple Time Rudy's on Broadway. The 0-1. Strike two. Haggy has a chance to get the punch out and end this inning despite everything that's kind of happened here. Lancer's just trying to escape this inning without allowing a run after what happened earlier. The 0-2. Outside, Haggy misses, ball. 1-2 count. Lancer Baseball today, courtesy of Mason Schramm. Are you buying or selling? Move with Mason and the Move Group. We're in the top of the fifth on KYNT. 2-0, Lancer's trail. Northwestern trying to add to that. Pinch runner in at second. Two down in the inning. Ball two from Haggy. Haggy can throw one more strike and end this inning with two outs. Aggie face and click, the designated hitter. Checks the man on second, now throws. Foul ball. Click will stay alive in the at-bat, designated hitter. Was left on base once today. Lancer baseball from Pizza Ranch for legendary chicken and the best pizza. It's Yankton Pizza Ranch on Broadway. Call 665-1222. The 2-2 from Haggy. Couple Lancers started running off the field again. That'll make it a full count though after a ball. Full count. Here we go, full count pitch from Haggy with two out in the inning. Pinch runner at second base in scoring position. Here's the pitch, runners go, swing and miss. Punch out, Zach Haggy saves the day for the Lancers there after a wild inning. No runs are allowed. Lancers get out of a tough situation. They bring their bats up now for the bottom of the fifth in a 2-0 ball game. My name's Del Tanner. You're listening to Mount Marty Lancer Baseball on KYNT back in 60 seconds. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. Are you ready for a hydration revolution? Introducing Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. And its variety of mouth-watering flavors will make your taste buds dance with joy. Hitting the gym, going on an adventure, or just need a pick-me-up, Ghost Hydration has your back. Experience the hydration revolution for yourself. Stay refreshed. Stay revitalized. Stay ghostly hydrated with Ghost Hydration. Hydration. All right, bottom of the fifth, we go on a KYNT. It's Vaughn Deming up to bat. This is your seven batter for the Lancers. Now, excuse me, eight batter. Goki will be up next. Then we go to the top of the lineup for the Lancers. 
Still Kirkaby out there on the mound. He's pitched the whole way through as we are in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch, foul ball, strike one. Kirkaby comes into this inning with 67 pitches, only one hit, no runs scored. He has two walks and four strikeouts in the 16 batters he's faced. Check swing ball here from Deming, 1-1 one, one count. One pitch here from Deming. Foul ball. Back into the net. Make it a 1-2 here. Lancers trail by two as we start this bottom of the fifth. 2-0 is the score of this ball game. Northwestern is on top of Mount Marty. The scores came in. One run in the second, one run in the third. This pitch gets by the catcher. A few feet in front of home plate, it bounced. 2-2 two, two count after the ball. Lancer baseball today, product of Sherco. When you need to be sure, make it Sherco. The 2-2. Two, two. Another one low, hit right in front of home plate. Make it a full count. Pitch from Kirkaby. Swing and miss, strikeout. Von Deming will strike out. That'll bring back Joe Goki now for the Lancers. Joe Goki. Lancers shortstop. Coming into today with 21 hits, 10 RBIs, a 344 batting average, and a 359 on base percentage. Goki takes his first pitch inside, ball one. Kirkaby has pitched the entire way through here for Northwestern. The 1 0. Breaking ball, got him. 1 1 count. No look. Or caught him looking. Strike one. This one hit off the bat, straight to short. Throw over to first base. Goki got there first, he's safe. Goki showing the wheels there. Goki safe at first. Second hit of the day for the Lancers. With only one out, as we return to the top of the batting order now. Aiden Chang steps up to the bat. Chang. On the season, 14 hits, four RBIs, has a 424 batting average. First pitch goes by the catcher. Runner will advance to second. Goki now in scoring position. Lancers yet to get on the board. The score is still two to zero. count. Foul ball. Off the bat of Chang. Lancer Baseball today, a product of Slumberland with free interior design service plus great brands like Tempur-Pedic, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel. Slumberland is on Broadway in Yankton. One one pitch here. Goki leading off a second. Strike throw, got Chang looking. Chang now in a hole here, one, two count with one out in the inning. Kirkaby has had a very good day so far. He's trying to keep that rolling with one out. But there is a man in scoring position, and Goki. Ball blocked by the catcher there, saving Goki advancing to third. Got two second after a wild pitch that got by the catcher. Keep him from going to third after the block. 2-2 two, two count. Oh, 
2 2 pitch. This one off the bat. That's going to drop for a base hit. Way down the left field line. A run is going to score for the Lancers. What a hit from Aiden Chang, the first RBI of this ball game. He stands on second. Joe Goki is hit home. We've got a one-run ball game. Two to one is the score of this one. Lancers get on the board for the first time in the bottom of the fifth inning. Two to one is your score. Chang will now check out for the Lancers. Chang is the catcher, so courtesy runner coming in. Check and see who that is here for the Lancers. Courtesy running here in just a moment. First up, we got Will Gardner. At the plate, left-handed batter takes a 1-0 count. That is Will Johnson, looks like. With Johnson in scoring position, trying to tie up this ball game in a 1-1 count. Let's this one go inside. Ball two. 2-1 two count. Out there is William Johnson, junior out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Represents the tying run off second base. Gardner off the bat, foul ball. That one's going back toward my truck. I'm sure it's fine. Two two count after the foul ball. One out on the board, the tying run at second. Foul ball again. Will Johnson. At second. Will Gardner trying to hit him home. 2-2 two -two count. Pitch from Kirkaby. High. Make it a full count here. 3-2. Two. 2-1 two to one is the score. Northwestern leads this game by one. The Lancers just got their first run of the ball game. Aiden Chang got it. And now courtesy running for the catcher is Johnson. The full count pitch. Foul ball. Will Gardner will stay alive. Gardner was struck out once earlier in his two at-bats. Gardner now with a big moment here. Can tie up this ball game for the Lancers with a base hit. Full count pitch. This one hit, drilled out into center field. Center fielder's trying to get underneath it, but will not get there in time. Will Gardner with a heavy hit. He'll be on second, and a run will score. Tie ball game in Yankton. Will Johnson hit home. Gardner on second. That'll bring back Kiko Nunez now. So the Lancers with back-to-back -back doubles. Chang and Gardner hit back-to-back -back doubles. Both RBIs. Kiko Nunez steps back into the box now. Kiko Nunez. Once again, one of the bigger bats on this Lancer Baseball team, Nunez batting 382 on the year, 452 on base percentage. Left-handed batter, the first baseman, has a man in scoring position on second, can take the lead with a base hit now, can the Lancers, in the bottom of this fifth inning. This game today is brought to you by the Meat Lodge. If you want top quality meat at great prices, head to the Meat Lodge in Yankton on the way to the lake on Highway 52. First pitch strike here for Kirkaby. Second pitch incoming for Kiko. Swing and miss. Went golfing for that one. That was low. 0-2 count now. One down. Man on second. The 
the leading run on second now as we got a tie ball game at two. Northwestern has controlled this all the way through and now Nunez is gonna be hit by a pitch. He was in an 0-2 hole and now advances to first. Tough throw from Kirkaby. There is action in the bullpen for Northwestern, by the way. There is somebody warming up out there. I wonder if they're gonna make a change and here comes the head coach. Yes, here comes the head coach coming out to talk. I don't know if we're gonna see a pitching change. Kirkaby's had a great game right up until these last three batters. Kirkaby at this point has thrown 91 pitches, however, 91 pitches, four hits, two runs, both of those two runs and two of those pitches came in in the last three batters faced, however, and that was only his second walk of the game was Nunez. He's had a great game right up until the last three batters he's faced. But these last three, once again, have been double, double, walk. RBI double, RBI double, walk. Kirkaby's trying to get things figured out with one out on the board. He really has had an amazing game right up until this inning. Can still turn things around, but there are runners on first and second for the Lancers. Sudbeck. Looks like we had Sudbeck come into pinch run for Gardner, I believe, out there. Okay, so Sudbeck's out there at second. As Ryan Bachman is now batting, he'll take a first pitch strike from Kirkaby. That mound visit, by the way, was brought to you by Pizza Ranch for legendary chicken and the best pizza. It's Yankton Pizza Ranch on Broadway. Call 665-1222. The 0-1 count with one out. Check swing. The catcher himself called for the called for the check. And he checked it in time. Ball. 1-1 one, one count. One out. Kirkaby throws the 1-1. One, one. Foul ball just got a piece of that one. Did Bachman, the second baseman. Bachman did get on base once. He was left on base eventually. Struck out once today as well. Ryan Bachman has the most at-bats of any player on this Lancer team at the season. 66 coming into today. 22 hits, 14 RBIs, a 333 batting average. Ball two is called. Only one out in the inning. The leading run stands off second for the Lancers. 2-2 two -two is the score of this ball game. The Lancers in the bottom of the fifth have some momentum. Another ball comes in from Kirkaby. Full count. Maybe the biggest moment of this ball game so far. Two on base, one out in the inning. Full count pitch. Outside, a walk will load the bases. Ryan Bachman is walked, and that will bring up the designated hitter for the Lancers in Bodie Waller. Waller, now with the bases loaded, only one out on the board. Lancers in prime scoring position here. Sudbeck. Representing the leading runs, leads off third. First pitch ball. Kirkaby has had a tough inning. As the pitch counts about to go over 100. I believe that was number 98. Bodie nails this one out into left field. Bodie Waller's gonna get the RBI. Lancers have a lead at three to two in the bottom of the fifth. Sudbeck is hit home off a single from Bodie Waller. Designated hitter hits a good one. He stands on first base now. We're gonna have another mound visit as the head coach comes out to talk with Kirkaby and his infield. Lancers all of a sudden have taken control of this ball game.
Lancer Baseball today. Brought to you by Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, the area's premier outfitter for the shooting sports. Open every night till 8, East Highway 50, Yankton. We will have a pitching change, Kirkaby. His day is done. Kirkaby will end with, I believe, 99 pitches. So I lied, he didn't go over 100. 99 with five hits, three runs, three walks, five strikeouts, and 23 batters faced. With one out in the inning and the base is loaded, Lancers lead it three to two. We've got a pitching change. Let's go ahead and take a break while the pitcher warms up. We'll be back here in 60 seconds on a KYNT. For 65 years, Menards has been the one-stop shop for post-frame buildings. Whether it's protecting equipment or you just need a place to keep your toys, Menards has a post-frame building for you. Design your post-frame building and save big. Plus, get free estimates fast, in-store or online with our design programs. Check out more of our great deals going on now at Menards and Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. A radio commercial for hearing loss is tricky. You see, there are two scenarios. Either it's you, or it could be the loved one you're with. Here's how to find out. If the radio is deafeningly loud right now, it's probably not you. If it's not deafeningly loud, look over at your loved one wearing earplugs. Maybe it's time to visit the hearing experts. Avera Medical Group Audiology, Yankton. Doctors Matt Rumsey and Kendra Bailey can get you back to never missing a beat during a conversation. They offer the latest technology and free two-week test drives. Call 605-655-1220. All right, we return to Riverside Field. Lancers having a great fifth inning. They lead this ball game now three to two over the Red Raiders at home. Mount Marty, all three of their runs have come in this bottom of the fifth inning. Lancers base is loaded as Shugo Kondo steps up to the plate. The new pitcher out there for the Red Raiders is Micah Larson. This will be his sixth appearance, all as a reliever this season. He has one win on the resume, eight innings pitched, five hits, seven runs, and a 5.63 ERA. First pitch here for Kondo. Inside, ball one on the first pitch he throws. Lancers once again have the bases loaded here. Nunez leading off a third. Bachman on second. Bodie Waller on first. Shugo Kondo, the right fielder, has a hit in this ball game, was walked as well. Has five RBIs on the season, trying to add to that here with the bases loaded. Strike throw now, a 1-1 count. Bases loaded. 1-1 pitch from Larson. Off the bat into the hands of shortstop. Couldn't make a decision and a run will score. Lancers make it a four to two ball game. Four runs in the bottom of the fifth for this Lancer program, all with one out on the board. This Lancer team having a very good fifth inning. Next batter up for the Lancers. Still bases loaded here after a 4-2. to two. Did we have a balk? We just had a balk that leads to a run. Oh, the wheels are just falling off here for Northwestern. Five runs have now scored for the Lancers in the bottom of this fifth. 5-2 to two now is the score. Ethan Wishon is batting. Base is no longer loaded. Runners on second and third. Foul ball. That was a loud one from Wishon, but will not stay fair. Ethan Wishon's had a great career here for the Lancers. Had to wait his turn. Came up and really had an opportunity last year and this year, obviously, and he's been very, very good for this Lancer team. 0-1 pitch. 
He's gonna drill this one right past short, and with Sean gets another RBI, maybe two. It'll be two. With Sean adds to this lead for the Lancers. Waller and Kondo are hit home. That'll just about clear the bases as Wishon stands alone on first, nobody else on base. Lancers lead seven to two, all seven of these runs coming in the bottom of the fifth. Ethan Wishon, a Yankton native. Two RBIs there. Two batters get home. Oh, one count with Sean leads off first. Ball gets by the catcher, throw over to second. It's gonna be close here. Not caught cleanly at second. With Sean safe. With Sean is safe. Lancers lead the ball game seven to two here. And a hit by pitch. Another man goes on base for the Lancers. That one hurt for Von Deming. You can see him kind of limping down that right field line, going to first. Now two runners are on for the Lancers. Still one out in the inning. As Joe Goki will now step up. Joe Goki, if you remember, it was the first run that scored of these seven runs here. This inning started off with Von Deming striking out, and now he stands on first. Joe Goki then hit a single, ended up rounding the bases after a couple more hits, and was the first run scored for the Lancers. First pitch. Looked like that one was high. One out on the board, runners in scoring position again for the Lancers. This one a strike. Game today brought to you by Parker Hannafin. Parker of Hannafin is excited to announce a generous wage increase for all production positions. Choose your specialty, choose your shift, enjoy amazing benefits from day one and new increased wages. Learn more at parker.com. Another ball comes in, 2-1 count with one down in the inning. Lancers, that one down, that first out came in the first batter of the inning. The Lancers have done a full nine since then. Swing and miss on the 2-1 for Joe Goki. This is the nine batter, by the way. 2-2 two -two count facing Larson. Larson came in in relief this inning after Kirkaby struggled to start this inning, had a great game before this inning, but struggled in this inning. And Larson will get the strikeout. So now two outs in the inning, both of them strikeouts here for the Red Raiders, but seven runs scored between those two outs. to Aiden Chang. Runners on first and second with two down. Red Raiders can end this inning off one more out, but man, was this an inning for the Lancers. They have seven runs scored so far, with Sean is in scoring position, leading off a second right at the moment. High infield fly. The catcher's trying to get underneath it. Will not stay anywhere in play it will go over that net so we return to return to the at bat and a 1-1 one, one count here for Aiden Chang oh 
By the way, for the Lancers, I didn't see this, but I believe that is number 33, Christian Barry, over on first. I think he came in to run there. Pitch inside. Ball two. 2-1 two, count here for Aiden Chang. Two outs in the inning. Runners on first and second. That is Christian Barry on first. And Ethan Wishon on second. Christian Barry, Jr. out of Papillion, Nebraska. Aiden Chang just transferred in this year, playing catcher today. Has an RBI and a hit. Trying to get another one here. He's got a 3-1 count with two down. Runners on first and second. Up 7-2 are the Lancers. Strike two thrown. Full count here. Larson has a chance to end this inning. Michael Larson, only a sophomore. Larson throws the full count pitch. Walk. The walk will load the bases again. And the Lancers can still add to this lead. Will Gardner now comes into bat. We got a courtesy runner in for the catcher. Will Johnson will check back in. Johnson already scored once this inning as a courtesy runner for, for Chang. Now he stands on first. So we have another mound visit. Mound visits once again from Pizza Ranch. Legendary chicken and the best pizza. It's Yankton Pizza Ranch on Broadway. Call 665-1222. Looks like we're going to have another pitching change here. Michael Larson's day is done. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll come back in 60 seconds with a new pitcher. This is Mount Marty Lancer Baseball on KYNT 7-2. They lead. Looking for the perfect meal that hits the spot every time? Look no further than Boss's Pizza and Chicken. At Boss's Pizza and Chicken, they're serving up piping hot, mouth-watering pizzas with all of your favorite toppings. And that's not all. The crispy roasted chicken is a taste sensation that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. No profession requires a broader range of skills and sense than farming. Being self-sufficient is critical, and so is knowing when to lean on experts. If adding acres to your operation or refinancing debt is part of your plan, Dakota Mac can help you get there. We provide long-term fixed rate loans for ag real estate. You owe it to yourself to learn how Dakota Mac can benefit your operation. Hi, it's Jeff Wolfgram from Dakota Mac. Call us at 800-682-4578 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. We return to the at-bat for Will Gardner. First pitch will be a strike here. Out there is Kinney now. Go over Kinney's pitching statistics here in a moment. Bases are loaded in this at-bat once again. Now an 0-2 count. Kinney, Zach Kinney, he's a junior. This will be his fifth appearance, all as a reliever. He has 2.2 innings pitched. Not a lot of action. Five hits, seven runs, a 20.25. ERA for the Red Raiders. Ball now on this pitch. 1-2 count for Will Gardner. Once again, bases loaded for the Lancers. They lead this ball game. 7-2. All seven runs in the bottom of the fifth. Another pitch high here for Kinney. 2-2 two -two count. The 2-2. Two -two. Outside, make it a full count. Northwestern just trying to get out of this inning. One of the tougher single innings of the season for this Red Raider program. Full count pitch is low and another walk. Two batters walked in a row. This one leads to a run scored. Ethan Wishon comes home. Eight to two, now is your score. 
Lancer Baseball today brought to you by Core Trust Bank, helping you achieve your personal and business goals. Core Trust Bank, raise your expectations. Member FDIC. Kiko Nunez batting again. This is third batter in the lineup. Lancers have gone through the full rotation and half of it again. This game started, or this inning started with the eight batter. We went through the eight, a full rotation, and now we're on the three on the second time through. Nunez throws this one down the right field line, brought in by first baseman, and he'll tag the bag. That will do it. Finally, for this fifth inning of play, Northwestern will end the inning. Eight to two is the score here on KYNT. What an inning for this Lancer team. They didn't just get back into this ball game. They took a commanding lead. Let's take 60 seconds. We'll come back with Zach Haggy and the Lancer outfield after this. See if they can hold on to this, this lead. Red Raiders have two more innings to get back into this one. This is KYNT Mount Marty Lancer baseball back in 60. Powerful changes occur when people unite. At United Way of Greater Yankton, we unite people to activate positive change and to make lives better. Help us build a brighter future for all through access to health care, basic needs, a good education, and financial stability. Learn more about United Way of Greater Yankton, our mission, our programs, and how you can help online at yanktonunitedway.org. Together, united, we are building a brighter future for all. Did you know Sherco offers more than egg tarts? As an industry leader in construction, waste, and flatbed tarping systems, Sherco offers manual and electric tarp systems for not only grain trailers and grain carts, but also side dumps and dumps, belly dumps, roll-offs, flatbeds, and more. To learn more, give us a call at 1-800-474-8756 or find us at Sherco.com. Demand the best, demand Sherco. First pitch, catcher brings it in. First pitch of the inning will be an out there. The catcher brings it in, Aiden Chang got the infield fly. Looks like that was Porup who went out there. One out as we start off this sixth inning. Zach Haggy on the mound for the Lancers once again. Red Raiders. Down eight to two, now trying to get back into this one. They, had a they were really just controlling this game. Lancers did not have a hit until I think the fourth, and then they left that hit on base. We go to the fifth with one hit and no runs, and they get eight. This Lancer team can really just explode at any time. 0-1 pitch turns into 1-1. Misses low for Haggy. Another one low, ball two. Two one count with one out. One hop over to short, throw to first. Two hop, and that'll do two outs now. Ground out to short, Joe Goki makes the play for the Lancers. Nunez brings it in at first. So two up, two down for Northwestern after that tough fifth inning. Now they're one out away from sending it back to the Lancer bats. Looks like this is number 23. Looks like a pinch hitter in. Find out who this is for you. Looks like that is Devin Dirks. Sophomore out of Spencer, Iowa coming into pinch hit. 1-0 count, two down. Devin Dirks. Ball on this next pitch, so 2-0 here for Haggy. Lancer baseball today from Dakota Beverage. Whether it's Coors Light or Miller Light, always remember to drink responsibly. The 2-0. -oh. 
down the middle this time, got the strike. Nights are baseball today, once again, courtesy of Boss's Pizza and Chicken. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in your own home, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken at Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. 3-1 count after another ball from Haggy. Haggy so far, and this is be his 10th batter face, walked him. That is the third walk for Haggy. He does have one hit, but no runs allowed with one strikeout. 26 pitches he's thrown. And 10 batters faced. So a walk there with two down for the Red Raiders. It was Devin Dirks who came in to pinch hit. Now we have a pinch runner coming in for the Red Runners as well for him. This is number six, another sophomore. This one out of Omaha. It's TJ Silliman. Oh, is it a courtesy runner, another pinch runner? Courtesy runner, all right. That's what, the, that's what they just said. So two outs, runner on first. First pitch strike. Got him on the breaking ball, did Haggy. A one count. Swing and miss. This is Ayers, the nine batter. Also the shortstop. He's got on base twice today, was left on base twice as well. The 0-2. This one hit right past the pitcher. Goes up into the air, gonna be thrown to first. Close, they got him. Out number three, 0-2 was the pitch. Lancers able to get that third out. So 8-2 is the score here as we go to the bottom of the sixth. Lancer baseball on KYNT. Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll come back here in 60 seconds. Lancer bats trying to add to their lead. They're going to be leading going into this seventh. They're three outs away from victory. Back in 60 seconds on KYNT. At Pizza Ranch, we want you to pick and choose. This is Annie from Yankton Pizza Ranch, and right now, our online carryout deal is pick and choose two or more of select items for just $7.99 each. Choose from a medium one-topping pizza, a medium cheesy ranch sticks, a single chicken fries, an eight-piece boneless wings, a chocolate chip cookie, a small cactus bread, or four 20-ounce beverages. Carry these out, and your dinner is done. Pick and choose at PizzaRanch.com. Move with Mason Schramm with the Move Group. The home buying process can be complex and overwhelming, and you may feel intimidated by the amount of information you need to learn. But you don't have to go it alone. Trust our professional real estate team to guide you through the process. From negotiating the best price to navigating the paperwork, you can expect help every step of the way. So call me, Mason Schramm, with the Move Group, and make the move with Mason. Move with Mason. FM 1021 and AM 1450, KYNT, Yankton. H2 is the score of the ball game. The Lancers back in the batter's box. Lancer bats trying to add to their lead. They're three outs away from victory. This will be a seven inning game and we're in the bottom of the six. Lancers lead at eight to two. Mount Marty had it. Incredible fifth inning, eight runs in the fifth to take this commanding lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Hit by pitch and a Lancer will get on base to start off this inning that's Ryan Bachman, the second baseman. So Bachman will take first after being hit by pitch. Bodie Waller will come back out. No lead is ever safe in baseball. The Lancers literally just got eight runs in the last time they were out here. So they want to add Add some more distance between them and Northwestern if they can before they go to the seventh. Have some breathing room. One zero count off the first pitch. Ball, 
Ball over to second. Got one, trying to turn two. Northwestern with a double play here. That'll give them some momentum back. Clear the bases, two down now in the inning. As we bring up Shugo Kondo. Kondo's had a great, pretty great game batting. He has two hits, one RBI, one run scored. He was walked once as well. Now with two outs. Red Raiders can get out of this inning. Bring their bats out for the top of the seventh. We'll see if the Lancers can finish it. Pitch low and inside, ball one. Game today brought to you by Aztec. Build your career with the group that's built to connect from Rock to Road. Foul ball. Call that one a windshield ball. It was going straight for the parking lot. 1-1 one, one count. This one low, make it a 2-1. Lancer baseball today, courtesy of Dakota Mac. Transparency and integrity is what you're looking for in an ag lender. Dakota Mac is both and will work hard to find lending solutions to fit your needs. Learn more at dakotamac.com. 8-2 is the score of the ball game. 2-1 count with two down. Another ball, that one low for Kinney. Kenny out there once again on the mound here for the Red Raiders. He is their third pitcher today. Hold on, did we just have another Bach? We did. Second Bach of the ball game for Northwestern. Northwestern is one out away from getting their bats out here, trying to come back in the seventh. Lancer's trying to add to it, and they now have a man on base. Shugo Kondo stands on first. We now bring up Ethan Wishon again. Sean takes ball one on his first pitch from Kinney. Ethan with Sean had one run, one hit, two RBIs. Earlier this game. Takes another ball, 2-0 count now with two outs. Condo on first, Kinney on the mound. With Sean. Tried to check it, didn't check it in time. 2 1 count now. <laughs> 2 1. Low. So a 3 1 count now. Shugo Kondo advanced to first on a Bach. There are already two outs in this inning with Sean batting. 3-1. Another foul ball. That'll make it a full count. Eight to two is the score. Lancers lead. Two outs in the inning. Full count pitch. This one high fly ball out to left field. Left fielder's getting underneath it, and we go to the seventh here on KYNT. Catch made by Dykstra. The Lancers are three outs away from taking this ball game. My name is Tell Tanner. This is KYNT, 102.1 FM, AM 1450. Back in 60 seconds for the final three outs of Lancer baseball. If they can get them, Northwestern needs six runs to extend this game.
What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single-serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol-free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. Kylie is a runs of burger lover. Especially if it's smothered with sautéed onions and French onion dip and topped with Swiss cheese. Ah, sounds like you just had the French onion burger at Runza. Yes. Yes, I did. Are you crying? <laughs> yeah, it's the onions. Wait, are you crying? Yeah, because I love the French onion burger. <clears throat> Come get yours today, because Runza makes it all better. Runza on Broadway by Menards and Yankton. <laughs> All right, let's go to the seventh inning on KYNT. Once again, conference play in the GPAC. We play seven and nine inning ball games. This game, a seven inning game. Next game will be a nine inning game, which means the Lancers, who are leading this one and at home, are three outs away. Zach Haggy throws the first pitch of the seventh inning. Strike one. He's facing Dykstra, who is the leadoff batter of this game, leadoff hitter for the Red Raiders. Drew Dykstra, 18 hits, 12 RBIs, 340 batting average on the year coming into today. 1-1 one, one count now after a ball from Hagee. Eight to two is the score. Next pitch outside. Red Raiders need six runs here in this half inning in order to extend this ball game. The 2 1. Strike two. Zach Haggy pitching the final inning for the Lancers. The 2 2. Drilled out into left field. That's going to be a base hit. First batter up gets on base. It's going to be a single here for Dykstra. Well, that's one of at least five needed, or at least six needed to get it at least to first base. Six runs, half to score for Northwestern in this half inning. First pitch strike here for Haggy. One count. Strike two. Just caught that outside corner. No outs in the inning. Top of the seventh. Eight to two is your score. The 0 2. Inside. Ball one. One, two. One hop to third, brought in by Wishon. Throw to first base, throws on target, got him. Ground out to third. We'll bring up Stanford. Robleski, the one who just grounded out. Stanford has one run scored, one of the two runs scored, and he has two hits today. Stanford, third baseman. Now up to bat, Haggy has a man on second, however. Runner in scoring position. We've got a shot right to short, brought in by Goki. Goki jumped 10 feet in the air to bring that one in. The shortstop makes the play, and the Lancers are one out away from finishing this ball game. This is game one of two today. This will be a seven inning game. Next game will be a nine. 
Eight to two is your score with two outs. One out away are the Lancers from victory. Once again, in the all-time series between these two teams, the last time one of these two teams won on the road was back in 2021. It was the Lancers who went won over in Orange City. Ball got kind of by the catcher there, just kind of lost it. Runner will advance to third. Very good scoring position here. Last time. Foul ball. Last time Lancers lost to this Red Raider team in Yankton. Last time Red Raiders won here was back in 2019. It's been about five years since Northwestern has won here in Yankton. Two two count after another foul ball. Once again, Lancers are one out away. This is Mo Watson batting. Haggy on the mound. Trying to finish this ball game. Two outs. Here's the pitch. Hop going to short. Brought in by Goki. Throw to first base. Safe. This game will continue. That's an RBI single. A run comes in as well. Dykstra is hit home. Now Click will come up. Watson. Got the RBI there. So that is one of the six runs needed. Still five more have to score here. Haggy, still one out away, he'll throw. Fly ball, Nunez getting underneath it. Nunez will finish this ball game. Lancers will take it. Final score will be eight to three, Mount Marty wins this ball game. This game today brought to you by Lewis and Clark Ford, a proud sponsor of Mount Marty Athletics. Visit them at 4th and Capital in Yankton or lewisandclarkford.com. This is game one of two between the Mount Marty Lancers and the Northwestern Red Raiders. That one finishes eight to three once again. Lancers get the win. Let's go ahead and take a break here on KYNT. We'll come back with our Aztec post game show. Start talking about this ball game, everything we saw. What comes next? My name is Tel Tanner. This is KYNT. Let's go ahead and take a break. Come back in a couple of minutes. Start talking about the stats of this one. Ford Truck Month has been extended at Lewis and Clark Ford with even bigger news. We have a great selection of new 2023 F-150s on the lot. We offer up to $10,000 off your new Ford truck. You can buy with 1.9% interest for 72 months and just added is no payments for 90 days. These are the best deals on new F-150s we've had in a long time. Ford Truck Month now at Lewis and Clark Ford, 4th and Capital in Yankton. This is Lisa from Slumberland Furniture in Yankton. Our store is inspirational, modern, bright, and our warehouse is filled with the latest in furniture and home decor trends. You'll find the best brand name furniture and quality mattresses with the best customer service possible. Slumberland always guarantees the lowest prices. See us at 2401 Broadway in Yankton. We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Kenny Wicks at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow, so consider a career with us. We have openings in a variety of departments, sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursement, and more. Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at AzTechJobs.com. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. 
Core Trust helps your business thrive with checking, online bill pay, small business loans, credit card processing, local approval and support for government grants and loans, investments to grow your hard-earned assets, and insurance to protect them. All from Core Trust, the community bank that's right down the street and everywhere you want us to be. Visit CoreTrustBank.com today. Member FDIC. Looking for the perfect meal that hits the spot every time? Look no further than Boss's Pizza and Chicken. At Boss's Pizza and Chicken, they're serving up piping hot, mouth-watering pizzas with all of your favorite toppings. And that's not all. The crispy roasted chicken is a taste sensation that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. No profession requires a broader range of skills and sense than farming. Being self-sufficient is critical, and so is knowing when to lean on experts. If adding acres to your operation or refinancing debt is part of your plan, Dakota Mac can help you get there. We provide long-term fixed rate loans for ag real estate. You owe it to yourself to learn how Dakota Mac can benefit your operation. Hi, it's Jeff Wolfgram from Dakota Mac. Call us at 800-682-4578 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single-serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol-free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. You buy, you shoot, and you score. This is Brandon Tykro from Lewis and Clark Ford. It's back. March Motor Madness. During March, make a sweet deal on a newer pre-owned vehicle from Lewis and Clark Ford, and we'll take you to the free throw line for three shots at our showroom hoop for a chance to make your deal even sweeter. Every shot made is an additional $100 off the deal. March Motor Madness going on now at Lewis and Clark Ford, 4th and Capital in Yankton. All right, back here. Let's go ahead and begin this Aztec post-game show. Make sure you build your career with the group that's built to connect from Rock to Road. Talking about this ball game, one correction I have to make from a little earlier. There were two called box, is what I called them earlier in this game. The second one was not a box. I spoke with the official. It was an illegal pitch. So there was only one box in this ball game. The first one was a box. The second one was an illegal pitch. If you were wondering about that, there's your clarification. In terms of the game itself, it was a final score, eight to three. Lancers did get the win over the Northwestern Red Raiders. Once again, the home team wins again. This just kind of been the M.O. for these two teams. The Red Raiders got the season sweep over the Lancers last year as, excuse me, all, all games were played in Orange City. Uh, they won 5-4 to four and 6-2. to two. The Lancers now win game one today. And game two... Looks like that one's going to be starting about 4.40 is what it's looking like. 4.40 is about the start time for game two. So we've got some time together to talk about this post-game, talking about these pitchers to first or to start off. We'll talk about them first, then we'll talk about the hitters. We'll talk about the out-of-town scoreboard, see if the other GPAC games, any of them have gone final. We'll give you score scores on that. But first, let's just talk about the Game summary itself, kind of everything that happened. First off, Northwestern started off very strong in this ball game. Starting off uh, pitching in this ball game, it was Kirkaby. Kirkaby came in, did not allow a hit through the first four innings, ended up having a great four innings, no runs allowed. Northwestern had a 2-0 lead. They had one run score in the second, one run score in the third. It was not until the bottom of the fifth that the Lancers finally got some life on the bats, and... <laughs> When I say life, it might be an understatement. They just came out showing in that eighth, that bottom of the fifth. They had eight runs scored. Eight runs scored for the Lancers in the bottom of the fifth inning. From that point on, they pretty much just controlled it. They go a quick one, two, three, four, I believe. Four batters were faced in that sixth inning. In the seventh, one run did score, but only one of the six needed. Final score, 
eight to three. Lancers take the win over the Northwestern Red Raiders. Game two is coming up in a couple of minutes on KYNT. We'll talk about all of the post-game stats coming up. This is your post-game show from Aztec. Back in a couple of minutes now on KYNT. It's the Browning Second Amendment sales tax event at Dakota Archery. Save up to $500 on Browning saves now through April 30th, including the new Primal series of saves, which start at $7.99 after rebate. And to put in your new Browning save, purchase a new Browning shotgun, handgun, or rifle and save 8% until April 15th. Open every night till 8. Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, East Highway 50, Yankton, South Dakota. Before the Lancers play, after the game, or maybe even while watching it here. Enjoy authentic flavor at RB Grillhouse and Sports Bar. We're American themed and feature handcrafted dishes and daily specials with an amazing selection of beer and spirits. Enjoy burgers, steaks, wings, and ribs, sandwiches, salads, seafood, and plenty of HD TVs. Authentic flavor, family driven, and a memorable atmosphere. Join us at RB Grillhouse and Sports Bar next to River Rocks Event Center on Broadway and Yankton. Go! Go Lancers! We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Kenny Wicks at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow, so consider a career with us. We have openings in a variety of departments, sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursement, and more. Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at Aztec Job. Olson Pest Technicians is a family-owned business since 1966. And with over 50 years of pest management, they understand your issues, and their well-trained team will help you solve your pest problems. Issues with cockroaches, ants, bed bugs, bats, termites, spiders, rats, mice, or other creepy crawling pests. Give your home a fresh start and use the proven method of fumigation to take care of your pest problem. Olson's Pest Technicians will thoroughly get rid of pests so you can rest easy again. Call Olson Pest today, 800-KILL-BUG. That's 1-800-K-I-L-B-U-G-S. New starting wages at Parker of Yankton. Parker of Yankton is excited to announce a new generous wage increase. This wage increase includes all production positions, assemblers, machine ops, setups, and material handlers, plus a second shift differential. Parker provides some of the best benefits in the area. And in case you missed it, new increased wages. Apply today at Parker.com. Parker, engineering your success. Buying a home in this market can be frustrating. Having an experienced real estate agent is more important than ever. This is Deb Speck with Vision Real Estate, and I've been helping first-time home buyers, those needing a little more space, folks wanting to downsize, and investors for almost 20 years. For personalized service you can trust, call 605-664-5555, and we'll find your next home. Sports injuries can be the result of competitive activities, but can also happen by just participating in leisure activities too. If you're experiencing pain as the result of your chosen activity, consider chiropractic care. I'm Dr. Mackenzie Erlinson with First Chiropractic Centers. We have experienced chiropractors that work with sports injuries every day. Our treatment options are aimed to minimize pain, reduce recovery time, and reduce risk of future injuries. Visit First Chiropractic Centers, making life better one adjustment at a time. Are you tired of squinting at fine print in order to understand your insurance coverage? Say hello to Clarity with Vision Insurance Group. They'll help you see life in the best possible way without hurting your budget. From life, homeowners, auto, and business coverage too, they've got it all. Plus, long-term care plans for residents in South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska. Don't squint. Visit visioninsurancegrp.com and get your quote today. Vision Insurance Group. Live in the vision. All right, back here on a KYNT. Let's go ahead and talk about this game's post-game stats here. These post-game stats brought to you by the Meat Lodge. If you want top quality meat at great prices, head to the Meat Lodge in Yankton on the way to the lake on Highway 52 here in this ball game. Mount Marty, in terms of the hitting stats, 
It was Shugo Kondo who had the most hits today. He had two. Aiden Chang, Will Gardner, Bodie Waller, Ethan with Sean and Joe Goki all had one as well. In terms of the runs, eight different Lancers scored the eight runs. They were scored by Will Johnson, Sudbeck, Kiko Nunez, Ryan Bachman, Bodie Waller, Shugo Kondo, Ethan with Sean, and Joe Goki. Those were the eight Lancers who got to home. In terms of the RBIs, two different Lancers had two RBIs. Ethan with Sean had two RBIs, and Will Gardner had two. Shugo Kondo was walked twice as well, and those were pretty much the hitting stats for the Lancers. As a team, they ended up with eight runs on 24 at-bats, seven hits, seven RBIs, they had six walks and six strikeouts as a team. For Northwestern, the hits came, two of them from Robleski and two from Stanford. Um, Dykstra ended up with one walk. As well, Dykstra ended up with one hit, one run. Stanford had one run. Porup had the final run. Watson had one hit. Porup had a hit, and Short had a hit. In terms of the RBIs, Watson had two of the three. The third one came in from Short. And Dykstra, Watson, Short, and Dirks, who came in to pinch hit at the end there, all got walks. In terms of team stats, 28 at-bats, three runs scored, eight hits, three RBIs, four walks, with one strikeout only for Northwestern's batting staff. Let's go ahead and take another break here on our post-game show. Those stats, once again, brought by the Meat Lodge. If you want top quality meat at great prices, head to the Meat Lodge in Yankton on the way to the lake on Highway 52. Let's go ahead and take another break, come back with our pitching stats in a couple minutes. This is KYNT. Beef, pork, seafood, poultry, and more. All at the Meat Lodge in Yankton. Get top quality meats at great prices. They have specialty items like lamb, brisket, mahi-mahi, crab legs, and lobster. They even have non-meat options like dimmick cheese, pickled items, seasonings, and sauces. For your convenience, you can call and order curbside pickup or order online at meatlodge.com. The Meat Lodge in Yankton, on the way to the lake on Highway 52. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. CoreTrust helps your business thrive with checking, online bill pay, small business loans, credit card processing, local approval and support for government grants and loans, investments to grow your hard-earned assets, and insurance to protect them. All from CoreTrust, the community bank that's right down the street and everywhere you want us to be. Visit CoreTrustBank.com today. Member FDIC. Have a craving for wings or delicious burgers or Peebo fries? Come sink your teeth into mouth-watering burgers and wings at Checkers Sports Bar and Grill. With the menu that's a flavor frenzy, there's something for every fan. A place to catch all of the sports action and enjoy $6 cheeseburgers and fries every Monday night. Grab your friends, bring your family, and head down to Checkers. Open every day of the week to satisfy you. Checkers Sports Bar and Grill on Walnut just north of 4th Street in Yankton. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. There's a new option for families in the Yankton area to memorialize their love. Traveling to Yankton for business or pleasure? Then book your stay at Yankton's two best hotels, the Fairfield Inn and Suites and Holiday Inn Express. Both are conveniently located to everything in Yankton. Both offer complimentary hot breakfasts and meeting rooms for business travelers. And if you want a great rate and still be able to change your reservation without a hassle, call either hotel direct. The Fairfield and Holiday Inn Express, two great hotel choices when visiting or arranging rooms for guests to Yankton. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. 
It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. Are you ready for a hydration revolution? Introducing Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. And its variety of mouth-watering flavors will make your taste buds dance with joy. Hitting the gym, going on an adventure, or just need a pick-me-up, Ghost Hydration has your back. Experience the hydration revolution for yourself. Stay refreshed. Stay revitalized. Stay ghostly hydrated with Ghost Hydration. There's a new option for families in the Yankton area to memorialize their loved ones. This is Paul Wince with the Wince and Ray Funeral Home and Garden Memory Cemetery. We just completed the construction of a new columbarium. It is an impressive structure built out of granite that is comprised of both indoor and outdoor niches, which will serve as a permanent resting place for your loved one's urn. The indoor niches have glass fronts where you can create a memorial with pictures and other significant items. For more information and to watch a video on how it all came together, please visit WinceRayFuneralHome.com. Oh, back on the Aztec Post Game Show, and I have just fulfilled a dream that I have been waiting to have since July, and that was have a burger at a ballpark. This is KYNT. I'm Tell Tanner. Mount Marty Lancer Baseball here on a Friday afternoon. Lancers at home once again. That was the fifth home game of the season. They had four of them in February. This was the first of March. Let's go through some of the pitching stats from game one today. In terms of for Northwestern, it was Kirkaby who was on the mound to start this one off. Kirkaby pitched 4.1 innings. He had the first out of that fifth inning as well. And then the wheels kind of fell off for Northwestern. He ends up his day with 99 total pitches, five hits, six runs. Had three walks and five strikeouts as well. I believe two of those walks came in that fifth, and all of the runs and four of the five hits came in that fifth as well for Kirkaby. He had a great day right up until that fifth inning and then really just kind of kind of had a tough performance there. Had 23 batters face. And then Michael Larson came in, a sophomore who also had some struggles. Faced bot five batters, walked one, had two hits, Two runs scored off of him in eight pitches, um, and then have and did have one strikeout as well. Those were two of the first three strike through three uh, three outs, and then Kenny came in. Kenny did not allow a run. Uh, there were two walks. A couple people got on base, but he did not allow a run. Ended up getting the uh, the final inning and a half for Northwestern in six batters face. Excuse me. So that is the pitching stats for Northwestern. As we go now to the Lancers. For the Lancers, it was Zane Polin on the mound to start this ball game. He pitched 3.2 innings, ended up with 51 total pitches, had five hits, two runs off of him, uh, one walk as well was in 16 batters face. Zach Haggy also faced 16 batters. He pitched 3.1 innings, 41 total pitches, three hits, one run, with three walks and one strikeout. Those were the pitching stats for each team's individual pitchers. My name is Tal Tanner. This is KYNT, 102.1 FM, AM 1450. Game two scheduled to get rolling here in somewhere around eight minutes, 440. You know, it's baseball. It'll be close-ish. My name is Tal Tanner. This is KYNT. Let's take another break. We'll come back in a couple of minutes, keep rolling through post-game, go to pre-game show from Coors Light and Miller Light, talking game two. My name's Tell Tanner, this is KYNT. Weather changes can cause a small chip in your windshield to become a crack, or a small crack to become even larger. So if you've got a chipped or cracked windshield, trust Abra Auto Body and Glass of Yankton and the all-day, everyday $249 windshield replacement. That's right. Most windshields replace with the best replacement technology and top quality materials for only $249. Don't let a chipped or cracked windshield impair your driving. Call Abra Auto Body and Glass today. Locally owned and operated by Northtown Automotive, North Highway 81, Yankton. Wherever you are in life, you've got plans. You need health insurance for today and for the future. You need Avera Health Plans. Coverage that connects you to community resources fitness center incentives, and health coaching. 
You need a health plan that provides solutions for your business and for your family. Learn more at AveraHealthPlans.com. Avera Health Plans, moving health forward. The other day, a gal came into the UPS store to drop off a package. On her way out, she noticed the print sample wall and asked if we could print invitations. The answer was, yes, we can. Hi, this is Doug at the UPS store in Yankton and Vermilion. For over seven years now, the UPS store has been helping hundreds of customers with their printing needs. From basic copies to business cards and invitations to posters, we can print them. Stop out and ask about our current print specials and see how we can help with your printing needs. Looking for the perfect meal that hits the spot every time? Look no further than Boss's Pizza and Chicken. At Boss's Pizza and Chicken, they're serving up piping hot, mouth-watering pizzas with all of your favorite toppings. And that's not all. The crispy roasted chicken is a taste sensation that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. No profession requires a broader range of skills and sense than farming. Being self-sufficient is critical, and so is knowing when to lean on experts. If adding acres to your operation or refinancing debt is part of your plan, Dakota Mac can help you get there. We provide long-term fixed-rate loans for ag real estate. You owe it to yourself to learn how Dakota Mac can benefit your operation. Hi, it's Jeff Wolfgram from Dakota Mac. Call us at 800-682-4578 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. Powerful changes occur when people unite. At United Way of Greater Yankton, we unite people to activate positive change and to make lives better. Help us build a brighter future for all through access to health care, basic needs, a good education, and financial stability. Learn more about United Way of Greater Yankton, our mission, our programs, and how you can help online at yanktonunitedway.org. Together, united, we are building a brighter future for all. All right, back here for the final time here in our pregame show now from Coors Light and Miller Light. Always remember to drink responsibly. We're talking once again about game one between this Mount Marty Lancer team and this Northwestern team. We've got the starting lineups here between these two teams. We're going to roll through them here. Starting lineups brought to you by by uh, by Slumberland with free interior design service plus great brands like Tempur-Pedic, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel. Slumberland is on Broadway in Yankton. So for the Lancers, who will be in the outfield first as usual at home, obviously, Jared Miller will be pitching. He's going to be pitcher for game two. Jared Mitch Miller on the mound. Uh, Shugo Kondo, once again, will be behind home plate, which means Aiden Chang will go out to right field. Those two are kind of going to take turns there at catcher and right field. Uh, at first base is going to be Bodie Waller here for this ball game. Kiko Nunez is going to be the designated hitter today. So Bodie Waller and Kiko just flipped as well. Waller will be first. Nunez goes to the DH spot. At second for the Lancers will be Ryan Bachman. Third base, Ethan with Sean. Shortstop, Joe Goki. None of that changed. In terms of left field, it's Vaughn Deming. Center field is Will Gardner. That doesn't change. And Aiden Chang out in right field once again. And for Northwestern, Pitcher on the mound is going to be Tornow. Tornow on the mound today. Brad Tornow, he's a senior out of Washington, Iowa. It's an interesting thing, but that's what he says. That's what it says in the online stats. I'm not making that up. He's out of Washington, Iowa. It's a town I've not heard of, but to be fair, I'm not from Iowa. So, you know, it's very, very likely. Anyways, Tornow going to be the pitcher for this game, too. Catcher will be short. Short will be behind home plate. First base is Dirks, who came in pinch hit at the end of that first game, if you remember. Silliman, who also came in as a uh, pitch, I think pinch runner, came in. He'll be second base. Third base will be Stanford. Shortstop will be Ayers. Uh, looks like left field will be Dykstra. Center field, Robluski again. Right field will be Porep. And then your designated hitter today will be Mo Watson for Northwestern. My name is Tal Tanner. This is KYNT, your pregame show from Coors Light and Miller Light. Let's go ahead and take one final break. We'll come back in a couple of minutes for the start of this ball game between the Lancers and the Red Raiders. Game two, up next.
quality tarps shipped today. Get back to work faster with Sherco's Express Tarps program. Convenient same-day shipping on replacement tarps designed to fit the most common trailer makes and models. Manufactured with superior quality materials, workmanship, and customer service, Sherco Express Tarps will have you back in the field and on the road in no time. For additional details and to learn more, give us a call at 1-800-474-8756 or find us at Sherco.com. Demand the best. Demand Sherco. Fitness has changed. There's no longer a need for a gym membership to access the quality instructors and equipment. This is Ken at Ace Bike and Fitness, and we have the equipment you need for the best workout. Ellipticals, treadmills, rolling machines, and bikes, including the Schwinn Indoor Cycling Bike. It's a fraction of the price of the other brands. With Ace Bike and Fitness, we service what we sell, so you'll get our support even after you leave the store. Visit Ace Bike and Fitness today. Everyone loves something different about our buffet, which is good because buffet has something for everyone. This is Annie from Yankton Pete's Ranch. Come in and fill your plate with good food that makes you feel good inside. Don't see your favorite pizza on the buffet? Request it using Buffet Your Way. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the very first slice. Grab the country's best chicken paired with tasty sides and finish off with sweet cactus bread at Yankton Pizza Ranch. Move with Mason Schramm with the Move Group. Home ownership was one of the most straightforward paths to building wealth. So making a smart home buying decision is important and so is understanding how much your home is worth. Don't use online calculators or guesstimates. Use a professional team that understands the local market and can guide you on a smart purchase and maximize your home's equity. Contact me, Mason Schramm, and make the Move with Mason and the Move Group. Move with Mason. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single-serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol-free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. Mary is trying the new Philly-style Runza sandwich. You know, Rocky was set in Philadelphia. Wonder if he ever had a Philly-style Runza sandwich. Yo, Adrian, I love these green peppers, onions, steak, and Swiss. We should go do boxing later. You haven't seen Rocky, have you? Not at all. Been too busy eating the new Philly-style Runza sandwich. Because Runza makes it all better. Runza on Broadway by Menards and Yankton. All righty, we return to Riverside Field, Bob Tereshinsky Stadium. My name is Tal Tanner. Lancers take game one, eight to three over the Northwestern Red Raiders. Shout out our staff here today. Dan Dykstra back in the booth taking care of us. Grady Harrington running our camera today up in the booth. And then, of course, we have our outfield camera as well. There's, you know, there's nobody running it, but I feel like we should name that camera so we can start giving that camera credit because I love the angle of over the shoulder. We'll, put, we'll call him Billy. I'm going to call him Billy from now on. Thank you, Billy, out there running, running that outfield camera. Anyways, this is Mount Marty Lancer baseball on... K-Y-N-P. Lancers take game one, eight to three is the score. Game two, just about ready to get rolling. Once again, out there warming up for the Lancers right now. That is Jared Miller gonna be pitching game one. Lead off hitter, it's gonna be Dykstra once again. Go over the batting order. Once again, these starting lineups brought to you by Slumberland with free interior design service plus great brands like Tempur-Pedic, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel. Slumberland is on Broadway in Yankton. Dykstra steps up to bat. First pitch of the afternoon from Miller. Strike one. First pitch strike for him. Drew Dykstra once again is batting first. Dykstra coming into today at a 340 batting average. Foul ball, this one's going to be. Nobody's going to bring it in. 
Foul ball, 340 batting average, 486 on base percentage for Dykstra. Game one, he had one run, one hit, was walked once as well. Jared Miller will go over his season stats coming into today in just a moment. The 0-2 pitch. Low check swing. Check swing saved him. It's a ball. Jared Miller on the season. This will be his fourth start of the year and his sixth appearance. He has one win, one loss. 16.1 innings pitched today. Has 15 hits, 11 runs, and a 551 ERA. Miller, the one two pitch is going to go foul off the bat of Dykstra. Miller's next pitch outside as well. That's going to make it a 2-2 count here. We're in the top of the first inning. This once again will be a nine-inning ball game. Game two of conference play in the GPAC. Drew Dykstra, left-handed batter in the box. 2-2 pitch. This one going to be grounded straight to third. Wishon's going to bring it in, throw over to first base. It will be brought in by Bodie Waller, out number one of this ball game. Waller makes the catch with Sean feeds him. And the Lancers lead it. Or excuse me. That is the first out of the ball game. No score. We are just underway. Lancers won game one, eight to three. That is the first out of game number two. One up, one down for the Lancers. Here's Roblowski again. First pitch inside. Lewski takes ball one. Game today from Court Trust Bank, helping you achieve your personal and business goals. Court Trust Bank, raise your expectations. Member FDIC. One down. One one count. Swing and miss for Roblowski. Luke Roblowski is. 15 hits, 15 RBIs coming into today. 366 batting average. In game one, had two hits, no runs. Two one count. Good for Jared Miller facing his second batter of the day. Miller throws the two one. Grounder to third again, will not stay fair. It's Lancer baseball team. Once again, a receiving votes in the top 25. A team that had a lot of questions about them coming into this year after their 13 seniors graduated and all of them very impactful to this team. They had a lot of holes to fill, and fill them they did. This team might even be better than last year's team. This is going to be a high fly ball out to center field, back towards the fence. Will Garner, it will be gone. It bounces off the scoreboard. First home run of the day for either team. That's going to be the first run of game number two. Northwestern starts off game two with a lead. A solo home run. Luke Rabluski got the homer. Northwestern leads this game 1 0. One out on the board. That'll bring back Stanford. Ooh, high pitch. Stanford had to duck that one. 1 0 count. Now hit by pitch on the next one. So the home run seems to have rattled Jared Miller here. Right after the home run, the next pitch 
nearly hit the batter, had to duck it, and then the very next pitch after to that did hit the batter. Miller trying to get things back under control as Stanford advances to first. This is going to bring back Mo Watson. Mo Watson is the designated hitter here for game number two. One zero is the score of the ball game now. Northwestern is on top. Swing and miss here for Mo Watson. Stanford is on first base. There's one out in the inning. We're in the top of the first on KYNT. 1-0 Northwestern leads game two. 0-1 pitch from Miller. Strike two. Got him down the middle. 0-2 count with one out. The 0-2. Got him looking. Three pitches, three strikes. Jared Miller. Well, the home run certainly seemed to rattle him in the at-bat for Stanford, but he certainly came back in that one for Watson. So we now bring back Dirks. This is the first baseman, Devin Dirks it is. He's a sophomore. Batting here for the Red Raiders. Now with two outs on the board, one man on base. Red Raiders had a solo home run to start this ball game. It was only the second batter of the day. Of the game, excuse me. Game two. The 1-0. Got him on the inside. 1-1 one, one count. Game today from Dakota Beverage. Whether it's Coors Light or Miller Light, always remember to drink responsibly. One one pitch from Jared Miller on the way. Strike two. One two count one strike throw away from ending this inning is Jared Miller. We're in the top of the first in the half inning. Facing Dirks. Dirks is a man on first base. That's Stanford. Swing and miss. Strikeout. That'll do for the top of the first inning. Miller gets the strikeout, and we go to the bottom of the first for the Lancer bats now. 1-0 is the score of the ball game. Lancer's trail after the top of the first after a solo home run from Luke Robluski. My name is Tel Tanner. This is KYNT. Let's go ahead and take a break. We'll come back in 60 seconds. You buy, you shoot, and you score. This is Brandon Tykro from Lewis and Clark Ford. It's back. March Motor Madness. During March, make a sweet deal on a newer pre-owned vehicle from Lewis and Clark Ford, and we'll take you to the free throw line for three shots at our showroom hoop for a chance to make your deal even sweeter. Every shot made is an additional $100 off the deal. March Motor Madness going on now at Lewis and Clark Ford, 4th and Capitol in Yankton. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things, like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Don't gamble. Insure with MTRC Smith Insurance in Yankton, your independent agent for home, business, auto, life, and bonds. MTRCSmithInsurance.com. one is the score of the ball game here on KYNT. Northwestern leads it over at Mount Marty University. Let's go through the Lancers batting order. Aiden Chang going to be the leadoff. Will Gardner second. Kiko Nunez third. Ryan Bachman four. Bodie Waller five. Shugo Kondo, six. Ethan Wishon, seven. Von Damming, Deming, eight. Joe Goki, nine. Northwestern's outfield. This is Tornow on the mound. Behind home plate is short. First base, Dirks. Second base, Silliman. Third base, Stanford. Short stop is going to be Ayers. Left field, Dykstra. Center field, Rubluski. And right field, Porip. As we go now to the first bat, 
for the Lancers. We return to our outfield camera, Billy. Once again, I have named our static outfield camera, Billy. He is the newest addition to Lancer Athletics. MVP, if you ask me. First pitch strike here of the day for Tornow. As he faces Aiden Chang, leadoff batter for the Lancers today. Chang's going to drill this one straight to short, field it cleanly, throw over to first base. They got him out at one. Shortstop makes the play. That's Ayers. Go over the pitching stats here for Brad Tornow. Tornow, a senior. This will be his sixth appearance on the year and his fifth start. He's got two wins, one loss on the resume. 23.2 innings pitched as Will Gardner hits a foul ball. 19 hits and 11 runs allowed. A 3.42 ERA. Now an 0-1 pitch here. Tornow throws for Gardner. Gardner's going to drill this one out to left field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Lancers get their first hit of the game now in the first inning. Took them a while last game. I think it was either the fourth or fifth inning that they got their first hit in. Got a little quicker this time. Will Gardner will stand on first base. First pitch ball here. Kiko Nunez now batting. Nunez will be the designated hitter today. Runner thought about going, didn't quite. Ball got away from the catcher, but on the ball, but was able to track it down just in time. Two zero count, one out. Will Gardner leading off first. Nunez, foul ball, going back into the net. 2-1 count. One out in the inning. Lancers trail 1-0. This is the third batter of game two for the Lancers. Nunez drills this one out into center field. Center fielder's getting underneath it and will bring it in. Man who hit the home run got that one out there, Rablewski. Ryan, Ryan Bachman now comes into bat. Two outs in the inning. Will Gardner still standing on first base. Tornow, once again, the senior pitcher. Starting game two against this Lancers team who is receiving votes in the top 25 in the NAI. The 1 0 pitch. Missed him. 2 0 count with two down now. Runner on first. The 2 0. Foul ball. Two one, swing and miss. Make it strike two here. So Ryan Bachman now with a two two count with two outs in the inning. Bottom of the first, one zero -oh, Lancers trail here. Will Gardner stands on first base. High ball on the next one. Full count here for Tornow. Lancer baseball today, courtesy of Aztec. Build your career with the group that's built to connect from rock to road. Torn out. Throws the full count pitch. Strike three. 
Bachman thought he was walked, no dice. This is KYNT, my name is Tel Tanner. 1-0 is the score after one, Northwestern leads Mount Marty. Let's go ahead and take 60 seconds, come back for the Northwestern bats. My name is Del Tanner, this is Mount Marty Lancer Baseball on KYNT. Have your eyes been dry and irritated from all the smoke in the air? Look no further. The doctors at Vision Care Associates are experts in dry eye care and resolution. Say goodbye to constantly trying out the new eye drop you see at the drugstore, hoping for some relief. Our team will work with you to identify the underlying causes of your dry eye and create a personalized treatment plan for you. Vision Care Associates, where the health of your eyes comes first. This is Lisa from Slumberland Furniture in Yankton. Our store is inspirational, modern, bright, and our warehouse is filled with the latest in furniture and home decor trends. You'll find the best brand name furniture and quality mattresses with the best customer service possible. Slumberland always guarantees the lowest prices. See us at 2401 Broadway in Yankton. KYNT, Yankton, FM 1021, and AM 1450. All right, going to the second here on KYNT. My name's Tel Tanner here, keeping you company on a Friday afternoon in Yankton as the clock hits 5 o'clock. It is 55 degrees in Yankton, sunny skies overhead, little wind. Wind is coming in from the west at 11 miles an hour. Really hasn't been a factor today. It has just been a beautiful day for baseball. Can't ask for much better conditions here in March baseball. Swing and miss. Strike one to start off this inning. That is Porip, the right fielder batting, facing Jared Miller of the Lancers. Porip will be the leadoff batter of this second inning. The right fielder again. Swing just got a piece of that one, I think. On the next one, 0-2 count. Porup has 15 hits and six RBIs in the season coming into today. 348 on base percentage and a 250 batting average. The 0-2 count here for Miller. Fly ball out to left field. Sean tried to track it down. It went, looks like, into the bullpen. So the 0-2 count will remain here for Porup. Porup in game one. He ended up hitting one run off one, had one run, one run score himself and had one hit as well. One of the three runs scored was him. 0-2 pitch here for Miller. First batter of the second inning. 1-0. Lancers trail. This one's going to be hit right into the hands of Ethan Wishon. Throw to first. Waller brings it in. Out number one of the inning. Wishon's had a good day at third base. Been pretty consistently great over there in the fast corner. Game today brought to you by Dakota Mac. Transparency and integrity is what you're looking for in an ag lender. Dakota Mac is both and will work hard to find lending solutions to fit your needs. Learn more at dakotamac.com. One down in the inning. Strike one on the first pitch to the next at bat. Facing Silliman is Miller. Silliman, the second baseman. TJ Silliman, a sophomore. This is only his 19th at-bat of the year. Foul ball. In those at-bats, he has four hits and four RBIs. He's been walked, tri walked twice, struck out five times. He has a 222 batting average. 300 even OBP. O2 count. Swing and miss. Strike three. Jared Miller got another got another strikeout here in a 1-0 ball game. 
Once again, 55 degrees in Yankton. It's a beautiful day here. March 15th. What's oh, the Ides of March? I didn't even realize. The Ides of March. Everyone be careful. Two outs on the board. First pitch ball on the next at bat. Up here is Short. Isaac Short, 31 at bats coming into today. Six hits, two RBIs, a 194 batting average. 1 0. Swing and miss, strike one. Actually, just got a piece of that one, so foul. Answer baseball today from Boss's Pizza and Chicken. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. Foul ball. Make it a 1 2 count. Another windshield ball, that one was. Two pitch for Miller now. Outside, make it a 2 2 count with two outs. We're in the top of the second here on a KYNT. One out, or one run has scored so far. Northwestern had the solo home run in the top of the first. 1 0 is the score of the ballgame. 2 2 pitch. Another foul ball. Short staying alive in the at bat. He'll return to the box. Jaron Miller on the mound for the Lancers today once again. Starting game two. 2-2 two -two pitch is low, so we got a full count now incoming. Jared Miller has struck out three of his first seven batters he's faced. Now is a full count here on 28 pitches. Foul ball again. Short staying alive. This point appears to be just kind of swinging at everything in the full count here. See what Miller's got up his sleeve. For another couple of foul balls. Two outs on the board. Miller trying to go to the bottom of the first. Pitch. This one hit straight to short. Going to be fielded cleanly by Goki. Throw to first. Waller brings it in. Out number three. We go to the bottom of the second now. 1-0 the score of the ball game. Lancers trail after the solo home run from Northwestern. My name's Del Tanner. You're listening to KYNT 1021 FM AM 1450. This is Mount Marty Lancer Baseball back in a couple of minutes. SignTech has moved. Yes, SignTech has moved to a bigger location to serve you even better than before. SignTech is now located at 705 Whiting Drive, just a little west of the 4-H building. While Dave has a new location, he's still known for signs of all kinds, from magnets, vinyl banners, to illuminated and digital signage, plus truck and vinyl lettering. SignTech does it all, sales, service, and installation. SignTech, now located at 705 Whiting Drive, Yankton. Want the speediest speeds and endless entertainment? Midco has it. Flexible, exceptional, reliable internet, TV, and phone solutions to support your busy, connected life. Whether you're working from home or streaming your series, you're covered. Easy installation options, steadfast service, all from the friendliest folks in the business. Ready to get started? Fantastic. Head over to midco.com. <laughs> All right, we're back here on KYNT. Bottom of the second inning. Bodie Waller going to be leadoff batting here for the Lancers. This is the first baseman. He was designated hitter in game one. Now him and Kiko Nunez have kind of switched spots. Nunez 
will go to the designated hitter roll. Waller will be first baseman. Lancers had four batters step into the box in inning one. This is only the fifth batter of the game for Mount Marty. Bodie Waller. Back up there, torn out. Once again, is pitching today. First pitch of the half inning. Foul ball. Back into the net from Bodie Waller. Strike two. Bodie Waller in a tough spot right at the moment. Waller has 21 hits, 16 RBIs. He has a 350 batting average coming into today. The 0 2. Check swing. Good eye. That's a ball. Waller in game one today had one run scored. He had one hit, one RBI as well. He was also struck out once. Not a bad game one at all. One, two count. Another one low. Waller battling his way back into this at bat. A two, two count here. Bodie. The two, two. Check swing, another ball. Back to a full count. Bodie Waller. Took two strikes on the first two pitches of this at bat. First one, I believe a foul. Second one, got him looking. The next three pitches have all been balls. Here's the full count pitch from Tornow. Down the middle, got him. Punch out. Excuse me, strike out. One out. On the board now. We are just beginning this bottom of the second. Shugo Kondo now comes up to bat. Shugo Kondo. Catcher. 43 at-bats coming into today. 12 hits, 5 RBIs, 279 batting average, and a 380 OBP. In game one, Shugo ended up with two hits, one RBI. He was walked twice and had a run scored. The official goes over to talk with the head coach of Northwestern here for a moment. Once again, Tornow is pitching today. This is Brad Tornow out of Washington, Iowa. Senior accounting major. Tornow has two strikeouts so far in the five batters he's faced. There is one hit allowed. Lancers left him on base. The hit was from Will Gardner. Jugo Kondo. Well, now start is at bat as we are ready for play again. Tornow steps on the mound. Pitch. Misses. 1-0. One out in the inning. 1-0 count. 1-0 ball game. Northwestern on top. Strike one. Game today brought to you by Lewis and Clark Ford, a proud sponsor of Mount Marty Athletics. Visit them at 4th and Capital in Yankton or at lewisandclarkford.com. Foul ball off the bat of Kondo here. It'll make it a 1-2 count for the catcher. One-two count here for Tornow. The pitch. Missed. Two-two count. Tornow once again a 342 ERA. In 23 innings pitched, he's allowed 19 hits. 
and 11 runs. Swing and miss, strike out here for Kondo. I'll bring back Ethan with Sean now, the third baseman. With two outs, nobody on base. Torna having a good start to this inning. Struck out Ryan Bachman to the to have the final out of inning number one. And then his first two outs of inning number two against Bodie Waller and Shugo Kondo have both been strikeouts as well. So the last three batters torn out his face, he struck him out. Let's see if he can get the perfect inning, go three up, three down, as he now faces Ethan with Sean. That was a strike right there. 1-1 one, one count with two down. Torn out, throws the 1-1. One, one. Swing and miss. That's strike two, torn out. Trying to strike out three batters in the first three he faces of the inning. Going for the perfect inning here is Tornow. One, two. Foul ball, but Sean stays alive. Ethan Wishon has a 328 batting average, a 444 on base percentage. Yankton native, hometown kid playing for the Lancers. One, two. Ball. Two, two count. Two, two pitch. Breaking ball misses high. We got a full count. Nobody on base. 1 0 is the score of the ball game. Northwestern leads here, bottom of the second. The full count pitch from Tornow. Foul ball. Well, Sean stays at it. Right handed batter working here. Deming is on deck if we get that far. Full count pitch. Strike three, one, two, three. Go the Lancers. Tornow gets that perfect inning. Three up, three down, all strikeouts. He has struck out his last four batters he's faced. This is KYNT 1-0 Northwestern leads. Let's take 60 seconds. You're listening to Mount Marty Lancer Baseball and your home for Lancer Athletics. The family is getting in the vehicle, going to the Yankton game. Everyone is decked out in Yankton red, but wait, little Josh has on green. Oh no, are we playing pier? They'd better stop at JJ Benji's to write that wrong. JJ Benji's is stocked with Yankton and Mount Marty fan gear in a variety of sizes and styles. For Bucks, Gazelles, and Lancer fan gear, you can count on JJ Benji's 201 Pine Street, Yankton. They make you look good. It's time to tax like a champ with help from your local pros at H&R Block of Yankton. Block guarantees 100% accuracy and your max refund. Plus, you'll always know the price of your tax prep before you begin. Walk in or make an appointment at your year-round, locally owned H&R Block of Yankton on 21st and Broadway or 605-665-3366 to see for yourself why it's better with Block. All tax situations are different. Not everyone gets a refund. Limitations apply. See hr-block.com slash guarantees. All right, back here on a KYNT. 1-0 is the score of the ball game. Lancers trail to Northwestern here in game one. Lancers once again, or game two, excuse me. Lancers took game one, eight to three. As we go to the third inning now. Mount Marty versus Northwestern here today. G-Pack baseball. Lancers. On the season are 16 and 7 overall. Receiving votes in the top 25. 
Northwestern is 9 and 11 overall. Miller on the mound for the Lancers, starting this third inning. Pitch in the dirt, ball. Another one here. Game today brought to you by Runza. Pick that perfect burger at Runza. Bacon cheeseburger, Swiss mushroom, or spicy jack. Made fresh and topped the way you like. Runza is now in Yankton. Foul ball. That'll be the first strike. Got a 2-1 count here. Two one count. This one drilled out into right field. Chang gets underneath it. Aiden Chang brings that one in. That's the leadoff batter for the Lancers out in right field. Played catcher in game one. And that is out number one. Drew Dykstra now back up to bat. That was the nine batter. We went through a full rotation for Northwestern now. Dykstra is the leadoff batter. That was Ayers. Let off the inning with that fly out to right. One out. Strike one called. Oh, one count now. One down in the inning. Jared Miller once again is on the mound. Remind you of his stats so far this year. Breaking ball misses 1-1 one, one count. Jared Miller on the year, senior for this Lancer team, making his fourth start of the year and his sixth appearance. He has one win, one loss, 16 innings pitched coming into today. He had 15 hits and 11 runs. 5.51 ERA. Now in inning number three, the only hit he's allowed was a home run. Hit the scoreboard right next to our outfield camera. Over next to Billy out there. The 2 1 count. Foul ball. That's another one going back towards my truck. 2 2 count. I mention that a lot because we have had a windshield get hit and broke here at Riverside. We had one two years ago, I think. To be fair, we were not parked in a good spot. We were way too close. We were not parked where, in the, in the, in the parking lot, we were parked right next to the stadium with our nice shiny station vehicle as a ball comes in. I am not the one who parked it there. Put that out there. And the foul ball just destroyed the windshields. <laughs> Full count here. We're in the top of the third. 1-0 Northwestern leads this ball game. One out in the inning. Full count pitch here for Jared Miller. Swing and miss. Strike three. Dykstra out swinging. That'll bring back Robluski. Last time he was here, he put it over that center field fence. Hit it about 365, 370. And that center field fence is about 355. And he had it high enough to hit the scoreboard, which is a few yards up after that. He hit that one very, very well. His first pitch will be, hold on, is that off the bat? Wait, he ducked, He that's a strike. That was, that was a high inside ball. He ducked, but the bat was still in the air, technically, and it hit the bat. So that's a strike. That's wild. One of the weirdest strikes you'll see. All right, so it's an 0-1 count here. And this one's gonna be drilled right past third base. Gets by with Sean, out into left field. That's gonna be a base hit, so it didn't matter. The strike call didn't matter. So now a home run and a base hit here for Robluski.
Strike one. Two outs. Runner goes. Throw to second. Safe. Oh, one count here. Two count with two outs. Foul ball, high infield fly. Catcher's trying to get to it. Going to hit the top of the press box. Two with two outs. Punch out. That'll do it for the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third now. Jared Miller gets the strikeout. Lancers trail this one. 1-0. One, Back in 60 seconds here on KYNT for the Lancer Bats. Are fine lines and wrinkles making you feel less confident? Imagine a smoother, more radiant you in just one visit. The solution? Botox. Dr. Elwood at Elwood Family Dental Care is trained and experienced in providing cosmetic Botox to reduce fine lines in the facial region. Say goodbye to frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead wrinkles, and rediscover your natural beauty with safe and effective Botox treatment. Contact Elwood Family Dental Care today to schedule a consultation and see if you're a good candidate. It's the Browning Second Amendment sales tax event at Dakota Archery. Save up to $500 on Browning saves now through April 30th, including the new Primal series of saves, which start at $7.99 after rebate. And to put in your new Browning save, purchase a new Browning shotgun, handgun, or rifle and save 8% until April 15th. Open every night till 8. Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, East Highway 50, Yankton, South Dakota. All right, bottom of the third, we go here on KYNC. 1-0 is the score of this ball game. Northwestern leads Mount Marty. Northwestern out on the mound once again. This is Tornow. Tornow has had an incredible last inning. Last inning, he had three up. Three down, struck out all three of his batters. Not going to happen this time. They're going to throw to first and get one. Ground out to short. Shortstop makes the play. And the first batter up is out for the Lancers. That was Vaughn Deming. Once again, last inning here for Tornow. He ended up having three up, three down, all strikeouts. Fourth in a row because he struck out the final batter of inning number one as well in Bachman. So he struck out Bachman, Waller, Kondo, Wishon all in a row. The streak will come to an end there with a ground out to Demi. Now Joe Goki up. Goki takes strike one. A one count with one out. Lancers trail 1-0. The 0-1 pitch. Outside. 1-1 one, one count. One one pitch. Swing and miss. Strike two. So it's a one two count here with one out in the inning. Swing and miss. Strike three. 
Five of the last six batters faced have been struck out by Tornow. And the sixth was a ground out to short. The last six batters for the Lancers go as follows. Strikeout, 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 strikeout. Ground out, strikeout. Northwestern's playing very well right now. Tornow having a bit of a day. Back at the top of the batting order, however, now it's Aiden Chang. Lead off batter for the Lancers now up batting. Chang had one hit, one RBI in game one today. Pitch low on this one, 2-0 count. Chang has a 424 batting average on the year. Another ball makes it a 3 0 count. The 3 0 pitch. Strike one. Game today brought to you by Ghost Hydration. You ready for a hydration revolution? Try Ghost Hydration. The 3 1. Drilled out into left field. Way out there, back towards the fence, up and over. That's a home run here. Aiden Chang. Lancers tie up the ball game. Both runs today, solo home runs, one for each team. Home run hit for Aiden Chang. I believe that is his second on the year. I'll check that. Aiden Chang got a home run, and we got a tie game here at one apiece. Yeah, that is his second. Second home run of the season for Aiden Chang. Tied for second on the team. Kiko Nunez and Von Deming both have three. Now Aiden Chang, Will Gardner, Bodie Waller, and Ryan Buckman all have two. And then a list of players all with one as well. It's the 15th, 15th home run on the season for the Lancers. First one today with two outs in the inning. So when that one came in. Lancers tie up the ball game at one apiece here in the bottom of the third inning. Will Gardner. Batting. Check swing, ball. Ball two. Two O count, two outs. Another ball, this one hit in front of home plate. Once again, try Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. Three O count here. Torn out throws. Gets back in the strike column here, down in the count, three O, makes it a three one. Will Gardner, who had the first hit of the game for the Lancers, was left on base eventually, but got there. Going to drill this one. Going to go over to first. It was brought in by the third baseman. They get it in time. That's number three. Lancers got the home run from Aiden Chang. They tie up the ball game one apiece in the bottom of the third. My name's Del Tanner. This is KYNT back in 60 seconds for the fourth.
We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Tiffany Tucson at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow. We have openings in a variety of departments. Sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursements, and more. Build your career with the group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at AztecJobs.com. New starting wages at Parker of Yankton. Parker of Yankton is excited to announce a new generous wage increase. This wage increase includes all production positions, assemblers, machine ops, setups, and material handlers, plus a second shift differential. Parker provides some of the best benefits in the area. And in case you missed it, new increased wages. Apply today at Parker.com. Parker, engineering your success. Go to the fourth here on a KYMT. My name is Tel Tanner. Back at Riverside Field, Bob Tarashinsky Stadium. 1-1 is the score of the ball game. Lancers got the home run there from Aiden Chang, their catcher, his second of the season. Actually, out in right field is Chang in this game. Chang and Shugo Kondo kind of switch duties depending on who's pitching of who's catching, but those are the two. Chang. Got the home run. We got a tie game here as we start the fourth. This is once again a nine inning game. GPAC plays seven and nine here in conference play. We go game one, seven, game two, nine. Oh, one count after the first pitch from Jared Miller. Miller, so far today, has thrown 49 pitches, has two hits, one run and five strikeouts in the 12 batters he's faced. <laughs> 0 one count. Make it 1-1 after the ball. Lancer baseball brought to you by Avera. Moving health forward. 1-1 pitch. Off the bat going straight to second. Brought in, throw to first. Clean play for the Lancers. They get their first of the inning. Ryan Bachman, the second baseman, had a good read on that ball. Dirks, back up to bat. One out on the board, ground out to second there. Dirks struck out in his last time batting. One out. Make it two up. And a ball thrown from Jared Miller. We're in the top of the fourth here on KYNT. Once again, 1-1 one, one is the score of the ball game. Both scores were solo home runs. One over the center field fence for Northwestern, one over the left field fence for the Lancers. And we got a chance for another one here. This one back toward the warning track and hits the warning track. We'll stay in play. It's gonna be a double for Northwestern. Dirks stands on second. So Dirks on second base. That one dropped on the warning track out in left field. It was Von Deming out there chasing it down. One out on the board. 1-1 one, one is the score of the game. It was the third hit of the day for Northwestern. Now with a man in scoring position and one out. They're gonna drill another one out to left field. This time it's gonna be brought in by Deming. He'll glove it. Lancers get the out. Two 
Two outs on the board. Runner in scoring position off second base. The man on second now throws. Foul ball. Lancer baseball today, courtesy of Gerstner Oil. No matter what you drive, make sure you're fueling up at Triple Time Rudy's. They're on Broadway. Pitch by the catcher. Kondo is able to track that one back down. 2 1 score here with two outs. Jared Miller with a 2 1 count. Two outs in the inning. Running Runner in score scoring position off second base. That is Dirks. Swing and miss here for Silliman. Now he just got a piece of that one, but still foul ball, 2-2 two -two count. Two-two pitch. Punch out. Another one for Jared Miller. That'll be his sixth of the ball game. Miller and Tornow kind of having a duel right now. This is KYT 1021 FM AM 1450. Six strikeouts for Miller, five for Tornow. We now go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Tornow on the mound. Back in 60 seconds on KYT in a tie ball game. Beef, pork, seafood, poultry, and more. All at the Meat Lodge in Yankton. Get top quality meats at great prices. They have specialty items like lamb, brisket, mahi-mahi, crab legs, and lobster. They even have non-meat options like dimmi cheese, pickled items, seasonings, and sauces. For your convenience, you can call and order curbside pickup or order online at meatlodge.com. The Meat Lodge in Yankton, on the way to the lake, on Highway 52. As a proud community bank, Core Trust delivers more than just checking and savings accounts. We invest in the cities and towns where we live and work by volunteering to coach youth sports teams, supporting local charities and the arts with our time and resources. Whether we live in a rural town in South Dakota or a suburban city in Minnesota, it's a place we call home. Core Trust Bank, raise your expectations. Member FDIC. That's 5.41 p.m. here on a Friday afternoon, evening, afternoon, evening. At what point does it turn to afternoon or evening? We're going to bring in our camera operator, Grady Harrington. You give me, you give me the thing. Is it afternoon or evening yet? Yes or no? Evening? All right. There it is. It's evening. Grady Harrington, once again, is running camera for us today. New hire here for KYNT. Happy to have him on board. Kiko Nunez takes his first strike. And then, of course, we got Billy out in the outfield. Nunez. First ball strike against him, Nunez. Next one, ball. 1-1 one, one count. Nunez flew out in his first at-bat. Next one drilled into the bullpen for Northwestern. Foul ball. We're in the bottom of the fourth here on KYNT. 1-1 one, one score. 
both teams have a solo home run. Those are the only runs that have scored. It was Aiden Chang for the Lancers. Robloski for Northwestern. 1-2. Swing and miss, strikeout. That's number six here for Tornow. Tornow has six strikeouts in the 12 batters he's faced. Literally, literally striking out 50% of his batters. It's a very impressive day so far. First pitch strike in the next at-bat here as well. He's got Ryan Bachman, who struck out in his last at-bat. In fact, the next four batters up in the, in the Lancer batting order all struck out in their last at-bat. Ball, 1-1 one, one count here, one out. Lancer Baseball today is a product of Mason Strom. Are you buying or selling? Move with Mason and the Move Group. The 1-1. One, one. Didn't catch the outside. That's a ball, 2-1 count. Bottom of the fourth here on KYNT. The 2-1. Swing and miss. 2-2 two, two count here for Bachman. Ryan Bachman. Second at bat. He'll nail one out to second and will not be fielded cleanly. It's going to go off the chest of the second baseman as he tried to get the grounder, Silliman. A little bit of a mistake there, and that'll allow for a run, for a hit to go. Bachman will stand on first. Bodie Waller now comes back to the plate. Bodie Waller, designated hit hitter. No, excuse me, designated hitter last game. Now first baseman. I'm so used to him be in the DH. 1-0 count, one out. High ball, 2-0. Lancer baseball today from Pizza Ranch. Legendary chicken and the best pizza. It's Pizza Ranch on Broadway, or call 665-1222. We're gonna have a mound visit here for Tornow. Looks like the coach wants to dis discuss strategy Doubt he's coming out to tell him to get his act together because he's been going well. Man, he's been pitching well. Once again, pitched out six of the first 12 batters he's faced. The last one, once again, reached on reached on an error. Tornow has just been phenomenal. Tornow and Miller both have been playing really, really well today, both pitching really well. Only two hits allowed, one run for Tornow. Three hits allowed, one run for Miller. Both have six strikeouts. There's one out in the inning so far in the bottom of the fourth. This is a pitcher's duel on KYNT. Another ball comes in for Tornow, though. Now he's in a 3-0 count. He's in a hole here. Down in a count is the senior. Walk, four pitches, four balls. That'll put two on base for the Lancers now and one in scoring position. Bachman now leads off second. And we'll bring back Shugo Kondo. Catcher here for game two. Shugo Kondo has a chance to put another run on the board here with Bachman in scoring position. First pitch, check swing, ball. Blocked by the catcher. Runners will stay. Kondo in game one had two hits, an RBI, a run scored, and was walked twice. 
Low pitch, that's another ball. That's now six in a row for Tornell. That is six pitches that are balls in a row. The 2-0 pitch, drilled out to left field. That'll end the end the balls. That one went over the left field fence, by the way, but it was in foul territory, so. No homer. There's a, there's a couple out there walking their corgi right near where it went, though. Luckily, everybody's okay. Corgis are the best. Anyways, baseball, 2-1 count here. We got another two hopper to short throw to first. No, nobody, no throws. Short stop, looking around, didn't fire, and the Lancers will load the bases here. Base hit for Shugo Kondo, he'll get on first. It was one of those where it was kind of a tough decision for the shortstop Ayers. It had a two bounces to get to him, both of them high, which takes a lot of time. So do you want to throw to first to try and get that guy? You Obviously, your first three, you want to go to second or third, try and two, turn two and get out of there. Third base, then you can keep a guy away from being super close to home. But nothing was there and just never let go of the ball. Here's another hit down the left field line, throw over to first base. They're going to get one out. Has that three? We had one on our board. Is that three now? Ooh, okay. So it was wrong on the scoreboard, and I didn't realize. So that is going to be out number three. All right. 1-1 one, one is your score. Lancers do not get that run at the end of the inning, then, as that is out number three. 1-1 one, one is your score as we go to the bottom of the fourth. This is KYNT back in 60. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. Might want to take that seventh inning stretch, two innings early here. We are in the top of the fifth now, but I believe what happened there was he was the guy who fielded that was standing on third, then threw to first, a so double play. It was with Sean who grounded into a double play there. Will Johnson, or Johnson was out and with Sean out, and that did it for the fourth. We go to the fifth now on KYNT. Shugo Kondo was on base there, was left. Will Johnson actually was courtesy running for him, but either way, no run score. 1-1 one, one is the score of this ball game. Lancer Baseball today is brought to you by Sherco. When you need to be sure, make it Sherco. Jared Miller gonna keep things rolling here. He's got six strikeouts on the day. Bring up Short. Isaac Short's first pitch, strike one. 0-1 count. Miller and Tornow kind of continuing their duel. Both have 16 strikeouts in six, or six strikeouts and 16 batters faced. Ball, one, one count now. One, one pitch from Miller. One, one is the score again. Both runs on solo home runs. Foul ball. One 
count. Miller. Throws. Swing and miss, strikeout. Miller's got his seventh of the evening. Seventh strikeout of the evening for the senior pitcher, Jared Miller. Some of the other GPAC baseball games going on, the, on today, by the way. Take a look at those in a moment. First pitch down the left field line, brought in by Wishon. Wishon throws for Waller. It's on target. Out number two for the Lancers. Two up, two down already. Our out-of-town scoreboard today brought to you by Gerstner Oil. No matter what you drive, make sure you're fueling up at Triple Time Rudy's. They're on Broadway. Some other GPAC games being played as today is the start of conference play. Jamestown beat Dort 10-4 in game one. Hastings beat Briar Cliff 4-3. Dakota Wesleyan and Morningside had a 10-inning duel today. Dakota Wesleyan won it 1-0. Pitchers duel in Mitchell. Strike one thrown in the first pitch of this at bat here as we're back at the top of the batting order for Dykstra. Let's see if we can find some more scores out of the G pack here in a moment. Miller with an 0 1 count. Throws. Strike two. 0 2 count with two outs. Miller trying to go 1 2 3 in the inning. Another final score from the G pack. Briarcliff beats Hastings 8-1. And in the top of the seventh, Jamestown leads Dort 6-0. They're on the road. 0-2 count here. Miller. Lifts the leg, fires the 0-2. Foul ball. And then our final score update. Another final score in Mitchell. Dakota Wesleyan beats Morningside. Day sweep. They get um, 6-0 in game two. So game one goes 1-0 after 10 innings. Game 2, 6-0. Go to Wesleyan Sweeps Morningside in the day. That's your out-of-town scoreboard update out of the G-Pack. Brought to you by Gerstner Oil. And whatever you drive, fuel up at Triple Time Rudy's. They're on Broadway. Miller going for number 8. Misses on the breaking ball. The 1-2 count. Seven strikeouts. So far in game two for Jared Miller. We're in the top of the fifth inning. The one, two. Down the left field line, Wishon once again brings it in off a two hop throw to the first baseman. And safe is the call. Waller had to leave the bag to go get that one towards home plate. Tried to make the tag after bringing it in. Not quite there. The throw just a little off target from with Sean. One of his only mistakes of the day, he's been money over at third, but after the two hop was kind of rushed there, two high bounces and had to get rid of it quick. Led Waller off first. A base hit will happen off an error. First error of the ball game for the Lancers. Throw over to first, not in time. Strike one on the next at bat, Jared Miller. All one count. Throw over to first again. Not in time. one count here for Miller. Runner goes, throw to second. Going to be safe again. Bachman was able to bring in the throw but couldn't quite make the tag. Had to go a little forward to get it. Another stolen base here. 
for Northwestern. The at bat continues here for Northwestern. One, one, two outs. Runner on second. Kondo gets the block. Two one count now. Two one with two outs. One one ball game. Both teams only run comes off solo home runs. Foul ball. Oh, it was one of those dangerous ones. That one hit off the bat, then hit the catcher, then hit the ump, then went back towards the backstop. 2-2 two, two count. Two outs in the inning. Lancers trying to get out of here without a run, but there is a man in scoring position. Once again, that's Dykstra. Mabuski facing a 2-2 two, two here. High infield fly, the first baseman, Waller getting underneath it. Waller will bring it in for the out number three. We go to the bottom of the fifth now in a 1-1 ball game. Lancers, Red Raiders tied. This is KYNT. I'm Tell Tanner back in 60 seconds for the Lancer Bats. Are you ready for a hydration revolution? Introducing Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. And its variety of mouth-watering flavors will make your taste buds dance with joy. Hitting the gym, going on an adventure, or just need a pick-me-up, Ghost Hydration has your back. Experience the hydration revolution for yourself. Stay refreshed. Stay revitalized. Stay ghostly hydrated with Ghost Hydration. FM 1021 and AM 1450 KYNT Yankton. A radio commercial for hearing loss is tricky. You see, there are two scenarios. Either it's you or it could be the loved one you're with. Here's how to find out. If the radio is deafeningly loud right now, it's probably not you. If it's not deafeningly loud, look over at your loved one wearing earplugs. Maybe it's time to visit the hearing experts. Avera Medical Group Audiology Yankton. Doctors Matt Rumsey and Kendra Bailey can get you back to never missing a beat during a conversation. They offer the latest technology and free two-week test drives. Call 605-655-1220. Bottom of the fifth for the Lancer bats. It's Vaughn Deming up to bat first. Deming was struck out. No, 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 no excuse me. Vaughn Deming, I believe, had a ground out last time he was up here. First pitch low, ball one. It was a ground out, yes. Ground out to second, if I'm remembering correctly. 1-0 is the count. This one inside, make it 2-0. Tornow has six strikeouts so far today. And 16 batters face. This is number 17, a 2-0. Drilled out to right field. Right fielder trying to get underneath it. This is Porup. Brings it in. Porup back in the shadows of the trees. The long shadows starting to creep onto the field here at Riverside at 6.02 p.m. Still beautiful conditions as we are going close to, going close to evening time, really. I always say you gotta get to six o'clock before you can start saying evening. Maybe it's five. Winter time, I feel like it's five. It's dark at five in the winter, but it ain't dark right now. One out in the ball game. Nail it over to third, throw to first. This should be two, it is two. Goki, ground out to third. So the first two up for the Lancers. Von Deming flies out to right. Goki grounds out to third. Two outs on the board here. Aiden Chang now steps up. Aiden Chang, once again, is the guy who has that solo home run for the Lancers, the lone run that is scored in this ballgame. 
This one's going to be a foul ball, high one. Nobody on base, two up, two down. So far for the Red Raiders. Fly out to right, ground out to third. Now we return to the top of the batting order. This is Chang once again, 0-1 count. Back into the net. Foul ball again. That'll make it an 0-2 count here. Chang down on the count. Northwestern has another chance to go 1-2-3 in the inning. We're in the bottom of the fifth here on a KYNT. The 0-2. Outside. Lancer Baseball today brought to you by Slumberland with free interior design service plus great brands like Tepperpedic, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel. Slumberland is on Broadway in Yankton. The one-two. Miss low. Ball two. In the third at-bat of the game for Chang. Chang did have a ground out in his last at-bat. First at-bat was the home run. Another ball here, so a full count incoming. Full count pitch here. Battle between Tornow and Chang. Tornow's pitched the entire way through. This is the guy who got the home run off him. The full count pitch. Low, walked him. So Chang stands on first base after the walk. With two outs, now Will Gardner steps up. Gardner has a hit today as well. Was eventually left on base. 0-2. The 0-1 with two down. Swing and miss, strike two. Tornow's having a great day. He's looking for strikeout number seven. Now in an 0-2 hole is Will Gardner, junior center fielder. The 0-2. That one high. Ball one. Lancer baseball today, courtesy of the Meat Lodge. If you want top quality meat at great prices, head to the Meat Lodge in Yankton on the way to the lake on Highway 52. Man on first, two outs, the 1-2 pitch for Gardner. Into the airs, right into the glove of the third baseman. That'll do it for the fifth. Lancers get one on base from a walk, but they leave him there. We go to the sixth now. This is a nine-inning ball game and Jeep Pack play. 1-1 one, one score. My name's Del Tanner. This is KYNT back in 60 seconds. Looking for the perfect meal that hits the spot every time? Look no further than Boss's Pizza and Chicken. At Boss's Pizza and Chicken, they're serving up piping hot, mouth-watering pizzas with all of your favorite toppings. And that's not all. The crispy roasted chicken is a taste sensation that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying a night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. No profession requires a broader range of skills and sense than farming. Being self-sufficient is critical, and so is knowing when to lean on experts. If adding acres to your operation or refinancing debt is part of your plan, Dakota Mac can help you get there. We provide long-term fixed-rate loans for ag real estate. You owe it to yourself to learn how Dakota Mac can benefit your operation. Hi, it's Jeff Wolfgram from Dakota Mac. Call us at 800-682-4578 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. All right, back here on a KYNT. We're at Riverside Field. Let's take a look at the pitchers and the duel that they are having because, man, it is kind of scary how similar of a day these two are having. Through five innings pitched, both of them have faced exactly 20 batters. Both of, or Tor now for Northwestern has 70 pitches thrown. Jared Miller for Mount Marty has 73 inches thrown. 
Both have allowed exactly three hits, one run, both off a solo home run. They both have one error as well in their infield. Seven strikeouts for Jared Miller, six for Tornow. The only difference is Tornow has two walks. Jared Miller does not have one yet. First pitch of this at bat is a high infield fly. Bodie Waller's getting underneath it at first base and he'll bring it in out number one off the first pitch of the inning. We're in the top of the sixth here on KYNT. Once again, 1-1 one, one is the score. Both teams, their one run comes off solo home runs. Mo Watson now comes up to bat. That was Stanford, by the way, who just went out. Flew out to, to first. Ball one. On the first pitch here. One out. The 1 0. Mo Watson swing and miss, strike one. Watson is the DH. Struck out once. Is in, a, in his at bats today. Ground out once as well. Swing and miss on the next one. Two swings, two misses, back to back pitches. Here for the DH, Mo Watson. 1 2 is the count he's facing against Jared Miller. In a pitcher's duel, game two. One one score the ball game. Two two count after a ball. One out on the board. Came off the first pitch of the inning. Fly out to first base. Bodie Waller gloved it. The two two. Swing and miss. Strike three. Three swings. All hit nothing there for Mo Watson. That's his second strikeout of game two. He has a ground out as well. Dirks, first baseman, now up to bat. Two down in the inning, nobody on base. One fly out, one strikeout. That was Miller's eighth strikeout of the evening, by the way. Strike. One, one count now. Strike call. Game today brought to you by Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, the area's premier outfitter for the shooting sports. Open every night till eight. East Highway 50, Yankton. The 1-1. One, one. one hop straight to third with Sean brings it in, throws to Waller. Out number three. Lancers go one, two, three in the top of the sixth. We go to the Lancer bats in 60 seconds in a 1-1 one, one ball game. This is Mount Marty Lancer bat, bat baseball on KYNT. Powerful changes occur when people unite. At United Way of Greater Yankton, we unite people to activate positive change and to make lives better. Help us build a brighter future for all through access to health care, basic needs, a good education, and financial stability. Learn more about United Way of Greater Yankton, our mission, our programs, and how you can help online at yanktonunitedway.org. Together, united, we are building a brighter future for all. Did you know Sherco offers more than egg tarts? As an industry leader in construction, waste, and flatbed tarping systems, Sherco offers manual and electric tarp systems for not only grain trailers and grain carts, but also side dumps and dumps, belly dumps, roll-offs, flatbeds, and more. To learn more, give us a call at 1-800-474-8756 or find us at Sherco.com. Demand the best, demand Sherco. One-one score of the ball game. Kiko Nunez stepping up to the plate, leading off the bottom of the sixth for the Mount Marty Lancers. Nunez.
Nunez going to be facing Tornow, who has six strikeouts so far today. Only one run allowed on a home run. Six strikeouts on 20 batters face. Only three hits, 70 pitches here starting this inning for Tornow. And this one instantly gone off the bat. First pitch of the half inning. I didn't even see it land. I think it's in the river. Nunez. What a swing. Kiko Nunez, home run to start off the half inning. All of the runs today have come off solo homers. Lancers now lead it two to one in the bottom of the sixth. Ryan Bachman now steps up. Nunez, another home run. I believe that's number four on the season. Let me check. Yes, four home runs for Kiko now. Another one going to be hit up high. This one's going to be a fly ball out to right field. Right fielder will bring it into the glove. Well, that's an out. We go back now. I believe that's only two pitches thrown in this inning. We've had a home run and a flyout already. Bottom of the sixth. Waller nails this one. Two hops short. Throw over to first. That's two. Is that three pitches, I believe? I think so. Three pitches, home run, fly out, ground out. Let's just make it an even four here. Let's get another home run. That'd be fun. Hugo Kondo coming up to bat now. The last three pitches once again. Home run, fly out, ground out. Lancers take the lead here in the bottom of the six. Kiko Nunez puts it over the fence. 2-1 the score. This one hit right off the bat, straight to second, throw to first. We had a four-pitch inning. What is going on? A four-pitch inning, home run, fly out, ground out, ground out. That is wild. All right, it's KYNT. You see it all here. We go to the seventh now. Lancers leading 2-1. Kiko Nunez gets the home run. Back in 60 seconds in your home for Lancer Athletics. At Pizza Ranch, we want you to pick and choose. This is Annie from Yankton Pizza Ranch, and right now, our online carryout deal is pick and choose two or more of select items for just $7.99 each. Choose from a medium one-topping pizza, a medium cheesy ranch sticks, a single chicken fries, an eight-piece boneless wings, a chocolate chip cookie, a small cactus bread, or four 20-ounce beverages. Carry these out, and your dinner is done. Pick and choose at pizzaranch.com. Move with Mason Schramm with the Move Group. The home buying process can be complex and overwhelming, and you may feel intimidated by the amount of information you need to learn. But you don't have to go it alone. Trust our professional real estate team to guide you through the process. From negotiating the best price to navigating the paperwork, you can expect help every step of the way. So call me, Mason Schramm, with the Move Group, and make the move with Mason. Move with Mason. All right, we're in the seventh inning of play now in this nine-inning game. Lancers lead it two to one here. After a four-pitch half inning there for Northwestern. First pitch, Kiko Nunez, home run. Second pitch, Ryan Bachman flies out to right. Third pitch, Bodie Waller grounds out to, to short. Third pitch, it was Shugo Kondo grounding out to second. Four pitches. First one a home run. Next three all outs. Fly out, ground out, ground out. That's wild. That's a fun inning. Anyways, we return here. Go to the seventh now. Lancers back out in the outfield after only what feels like two or three minutes. Jared Miller returns to the mound. That's one way to keep your pitcher fresh, to be completely honest. Miller. Swing and miss. Strike one. 
on the first pitch here, so I don't think we're going to have as quick of an inning. I, we, could, we still could. We could still have three pitches left. We'll see if it happens. We're not going to have anything quicker, that's for sure. The 0-1. Strike two. Well, that pretty much confirms that we're not going to have a four-pitch inning. That's sad. That was fun. The 0-2. Miller. Up in the count. Fires. Outside. The 1-2. Now incoming. Top of the seventh on a KYNT. One two pitch from Jared Miller. High fly ball again, going to second base. Bachman getting underneath it. Bachman will bring it into the glove. So after a four pitch inning, on the fourth pitch of this one, we have a fly out. One out on the board for Jared Miller and this Almarty Lancer outfield. Pitch inside. I think we had a hit by pitch here. It's Castillo, I believe, just came in to pinch it. On his first pitch, he's hit. And Rainer Castillo just came in. And he'll go to first. Now we're bringing Colby Shelton in. So we're getting the getting the pinch hitters now. Northwestern wants to shake things up a little bit. Colby Shelton coming in. This will be his 22nd at bat, I believe. Shelton, I don't believe he had one in game one. No, he did not. So, yep, this will be his 22nd at-bat of the season. He has five hits, three RBIs, six walks, six strikeouts, has a 238 batting average on the year. One out on the board, one man on base. That's Castillo. Shelton takes his first pitch from Miller. Strike one. Jared Miller once again has had a very good day, has eight strikeouts in 25 batters faced. Only one run scored, and it was the second batter he faced all day. Ever since then, he's just been straight money. Ball gets by the catcher here, left, left it standing right on the ground in front of him. Runner takes advantage, Castillo goes to second. Now in scoring position with one out on the board. One count here. Runner leading off a second here with one out. Castillo represents the tying run. Strike two comes in looking for Shelton. Shelton pinch hitting for short here in the seven in the eighth spot. Castillo pinch hit for Silliman in the sixth spot, by the way. In the seventh spot, excuse me. One, two is the count. One out. Foul ball. We'll stay alive. One out on the board. Miller. Pitch the whole way through for the Lancers. Will fire. Swing and miss. Catcher dropped it. Throw over to first. They've got it. Out number two. Lancer Baseball today brought to you by Parker Hannafin. Parker Hannafin is excited to announce a generous wage increase for all 
production positions. Choose your specialty. Choose your shift. Enjoy amazing benefits from day one and new increased wages. Learn more at Parker.com. Ninth strikeout of the ball game there for Jared Miller. Strike one. Got the inside corner on that one. 0-1 oh, count with two outs. We're in the top of the seventh once again. Lancers lead this game 2-1. to one. All three runs today coming off solo home runs for the Lancers from Chang and Nunez. It was Robluski for Northwestern. This one going to go to short, two hop, throw over to first. This could be three. Bodie Waller makes the play at first. Difficult one to bring in, and he did it. Out number three, two to one the score as we go to the bottom of the seventh. This is KYNT. My name is Del Tanner. Back in 60 seconds for a one-run ball game. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. Kylie is a Runza burger lover. Especially if it's smothered with sauteed onions and French onion dip and topped with Swiss cheese. Ah, sounds like you just had the French onion burger at Runza. Yes, yes I did. Are you crying? <laughs> yeah, it's the onions. Wait, are you crying? Yeah, because I love the French onion burger. <clears throat> Come get yours today, because Runza makes it all better. Runza on Broadway by Menards and Yankton. Tornow back on the mound for Northwestern. They're back out. In the outfield, Lancers, bats in coming. Ethan with Sean, going to be the leadoff batter of this inning. Once again, Brad Tornow, who has a 342 ERA, having a great game today. He has six strikeouts and 24 batters faced. Only four hits, two runs, both of them on solo home runs. Last one came in the last inning. This It was a four-pitch inning the last time Tornow was here. We had home run, fly out, ground out, ground out. All in four pitches. Ball one. As he finds with Sean. Ethan with Sean, third baseman. Foul ball. One, one count. The one, one pitch. Low, make it a two, one. Lancers lead this ball game two to one. Two solo home runs from Chang and Nunez. Trying to add to it in this inning now, in the bottom of the seventh. Strike just got the inside corner there, battling with Sean. 2-2 two, two count. 2-1 two, game. No outs in the inning with Sean. Lead off batter in the bottom of the seventh for the Lancers. Another one high, full count. Full count pitch incoming for Torna. The full count. Drilled out to left field. And it is a diving catch made out in left. Dykstra brings that in. Dude, Drew Dykstra, one of the best players on this Northwestern team, makes another play for him. Guy who can just do it all. Not only does he lead them in innings pitched, but he's fourth on the team in at bats. And a great outfielder as well. Just an all around athlete is Dykstra. Making a great play out and left. One out on the board. As we now go to the at bat of Vaughn Deming. 
1-0 count here after the first pitch. Make it a 2-0 count. We're going to have another mound visit here, and the coach was already motioning to the bullpen. We, it, we might see our first pitching change of game two. We're in the bottom of the seventh, so it's right about that time, and yet we will see a pitching change. So we're going to go ahead and take a break here on KYNT. We're going to come back with a new pitcher, give you Tornow's final stats of how he did today, and we'll give you the new pitcher and their stats. This is KYNT. I'm Tell Tanner, back in at 90 seconds. Ford Truck Month has been extended at Lewis and Clark Ford with even bigger news. We have a great selection of new 2023 F-150s on the lot. We offer up to $10,000 off your new Ford truck. You can buy with 1.9% interest for 72 months and just added is no payments for 90 days. These are the best deals on new F-150s we've had in a long time. Ford Truck Month now at Lewis and Clark Ford, 4th and Capital in Yankton. This is Lisa from Slumberland Furniture in Yankton. Our store is inspirational, modern, bright, and our warehouse is filled with the latest in furniture and home decor trends. You'll find the best brand name furniture and quality mattresses with the best customer service possible. Slumberland always guarantees the lowest prices. See us at 2401 Broadway in Yankton. We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Kenny Wicks at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow, so consider a career with us. We have openings in a variety of departments, sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursement, and more. Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at Aztec Job all right, pitching change here. Tornow's day is done. Brad Tornow. And now we get Micah DeHaan. Han out there. We'll give you his stats in a moment. But first, Tornow's final stats. He will finish the day with 79 total pitches. He pitches pitched 6.1 innings. He had four hits. Two runs scored, both on solo home runs. Two walks, six strikeouts on 25 batters faced. Seem to be getting tired at the end of it. And in a close ball game, Northwestern chose to go with Han. His first pitch will be a ball. Give you Han's stats. See what we can find for him. Micah DeHaan. This will be his 10th appearance on the season. That's his first strike throw. 1-1 one, one count. One out. Uh, two, three, one. He just put up three fingers, I thought so. Three, one count. Another one inside, walk. All right, so the Lancers start off this inning with runner on first, it's Von Deming. All right, stats for Micah DeHaan here. Goki steps up to the plate. So Micah DeHaan, this will be his 10th appearance on the season. He has 8.2 innings pitched in 10 appearances here. Definitely a closing pitcher. He has eight hits and seven runs off him in those 8.2 innings. 4.15 ERA for errors. Strike one thrown and the yeah, bat here. First pitch strike for Goki. Swing and miss, strike two. You remember before the pitching change with Sean. Ground out, I believe. 0 2 count. Swing and miss. Strike three. That's out number two of the inning as we go back to the top of the batting order now for the Lancers. And Chang coming back in. Chang hit one of these 
two home runs today for the Lancers that have them leading two to one. Northwestern had a home run as well. All three runs coming off solo homers. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Strike one, first pitch strike here thrown from DeHaan. Strike two comes in. DeHaan trying to finish off the inning here. 0-2 oh, count. We're in the bottom of the seventh here. Two to one is the score, Lancers lead. The 0-2 is low. One, two count after the ball. Han, pitch for Chang. Foul ball again. Count will remain at one, two. count here. Han. Inside. Goes off the glove of the catcher. 2-2 two -two count. Another ball comes in. This game brought to you today by Core Trust Bank. Helping you achieve your personal and business goals. Core Trust Bank. Raise your expectations. Remember FDIC. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Hit by pitch is Chang, and he's going to go to first. The Lancers now have two on base as Will Gardner will step up to the plate. Gardner coming up with one hit so far today. Gardner has won it. One hit, one ground out, one fly out. First pitch for him is strike one. Tried to check it. it was, got him on the breaking ball either way. Oh, one count here. Two runners on for the Lancers. He got Deming off second. Swing and miss for strike two for Gardner. And Chang on first. Chang was hit by pitch to get there. Deming in scoring position off the HBP. Gardner takes the 0-2. Hits it on a two hop straight to second. Throw to first. That'll do it for the seventh inning. We go to the eighth here on KYNT. Two to one is the score of this ball game. My name is Tell Tanner, back here in 60 seconds for the eighth. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. Core Trust helps your business thrive with checking, online bill pay, small business loans, credit card processing, local approval and support for government grants and loans, investments to grow your hard-earned assets, and insurance to protect them. All from Core Trust, the community bank that's right down the street and everywhere you want us to be. Visit CoreTrustBank.com today. Member FDIC. Looking for the perfect meal that hits the spot every time? Look no further than Boss's Pizza and Chicken. At Boss's Pizza and Chicken, they're serving up piping hot, mouth-watering pizzas with all of your favorite toppings. And that's not all. The crispy roasted chicken is a taste sensation that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're dining in with family and friends or enjoying the night in, order Boss's Pizza and Chicken of Yankton, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. Well, for the late.
Lancers. Looks like we got a pitching change out on the mound. Jared Miller's day is done, and what a good day he had. Jared Miller will end his day with seven innings pitched, 90 total pitches. He had three hits, one run, and there was a solo home run in the second batter he faced in the first inning. Ever since then, just was straight money. Had nine strikeouts on 27 batters faced. Jared Miller had a very, very good outing today. And now we bring up Clayton Chip Chase. Chip Chase for the Lancers. We'll give you his stats in a moment. First things first, Drew Dykstra. Left fielder is up to bat. First pitch for him, strike one. So Chip Chase on the year has a 292 ERA. Ball comes in, 1-1 one, one count. He has one loss. This will be his seventh appearance on the year. One save, 12 innings pitched, has eight hits, five runs off of him. Ten walks to seven, or seven walks to 10 strikeouts. Batting average against him is a 186. The 2 1. Down the left field line goes right past with Sean. That's going to be a base hit. That one just hugged the line, stayed fair. 2 1 count. 2 to 1 is the score of the ball game. Base hit here. Northwestern. So Dykstra, who once again will represent now the tying run, is on first base. Chip Chase. Trying to finish things off for the Lancers. We're going to have a bunt here. A little bit of strategy ball for Northwestern. Lancers do get the out at first. Chip Chase got it himself over there. Finds Waller. But that will advance the tying run to second with one out on the board. Bluski had the sacrifice bunt there. One out on the board. Sam Stanford. Check swing. Strike. Chip Chase. Pitching for the Lancers. Foul ball. 0-2 hole here is Stanford. Stanford has struck out once today. He has a hit by pitch and a fly out as well. O2 count here. Clayton Chip Chase. The 0-2. Outside. Blocked by the catcher. Kondo is able to bring that one in. Save the runner from advancing. 1-2. Is your count here. One out in the inning. Chip Chase throws. Kondo brings it in. 2-2. Two -two. Another ball. This game brought to you today by Coors Light and Miller Light. Always remember, drink responsibly. Two-two pitch for Chip Chase. Down the left field line, will not stay fair. One out on the board. This is Stanford. Mo Watson, the designated hitter, on deck. Third baseman Stanford now takes the 2-2 from Chip Chase. Swing and miss, strikeout. That's two. Mo Watson will step up now. Watson, the designated hitter. 
into the box. Two outs on the board. Dykstra, once again, the tying run, stands off second. Strike one throw from Chip Chase. Watson has struck out twice today. Watson has two strikeouts looking and a ground out. The 0-1. Low. 1-1 one, one count here. Two down in the inning. Top of the eighth. 2-1 Lancers lead. Ball blocked by the catcher here, Kondo. Not that one in. Two outs. Chip Chase with the tying run on second. Battling the designated hitter, Mo Watson. Swing and miss, strike two. Two two count here with two outs. Drew Dykstra leading off second. Watson takes the 2 2. Outside, Kondo going to block it, but not in time. Got a hold of it, but it flipped too far to the right. Wasn't able to get there in time to stop the runner from advancing to third. So Dykstra now, the tying run, stands on third base. We got a full count here with two outs, though. Watson's got to get a piece of this one. Full count pitch. Foul ball. Watson stays alive in the at-bat. Full count pitch again. This may be the biggest pitch of this ball game thus far. Two down, tying run off third. Full count pitch. Low. Walk. Runners on the corners. The tying run on third. The leading run now on first. This is a 2-1 ball game. Mount Marty leads at the moment. Two outs are in the inning. Here in the eighth. Dricks. Dirks. Dirks with runners on the corners. Now batting. Dirks has one hit today, struck out once as well. Two outs. First pitch strike for Chip Chase. Lancer Baseball today, a product of Aztec. Build your career with the group that's built to connect from rock to rope. Chip Chase pitching. This one low, it goes by the catcher. It bounces all the way back, flipped to the home. Safe tie ball game. Dykstra gets home off a wild pitch. Tie ball game at two in the top of the eighth inning. Now the leading run, also in scoring position here. Watson. Leading off first, and we're gonna have a pinch runner coming in now. Northwestern recognizes the opportunity. This is Bryce Click. Bryce Click comes in. Pinch running for Watson, the designated hitter. Dirks will continue his at bat with a 1-1 count. Two outs. This one, high fly ball. This could do it for the inning. With Sean, brings it into the glove at third. Damage done, one run scores. Tie game as we go to the bottom of the eighth. My name is Del Tanner, this is KYNT.
back in 60 seconds. No profession requires a broader range of skills and sense than farming. Being self-sufficient is critical, and so is knowing when to lean on experts. If adding acres to your operation or refinancing debt is part of your plan, Dakota Mac can help you get there. We provide long-term fixed-rate loans for ag real estate. You owe it to yourself to learn how Dakota Mac can benefit your operation. Hi, it's Jeff Wolfgram from Dakota Mac. Call us at 800-682-4578 to learn how Dakota Mac products can work for you. What's the best beverage to enjoy while rooting on your team? 1919 Root Beer, of course. 1919 is brewed in small batches with only the finest ingredients, real sugar and real vanilla. The unique recipe and these choice ingredients make 1919 the creamiest full-bodied draft root beer available. Find it in 12 packs and single serve cans at grocery, convenience stores, and restaurants. 1919 is alcohol free and contains no caffeine, making it a beverage of choice at any time for anyone in the family. Pitching change here for Northwestern. They're going in a different direction. Hahn came in at 15 pitches, had one walk, one strikeout, four batters face, no runs allowed, no hits allowed either. Northwestern decides to go in a different direction here. This is Jacob Swallow. Sophomore out of Missouri. Comes into pitch here. Swallow. See if we can find his stats for you on the season. Jacob Swallow, this will be his sixth appearance on the year. He has one win, one loss, one save. He has five innings pitched exactly. Seven hits, six runs in those five innings. Four of those runs earned, and a 720 ERA. 720 ERA for Jacob Swallow, the sophomore pitcher out there. He's gonna be facing Kiko Nunez, who already has one home run in this ball game. One of the two, two home runs for the Lancers. DH for this game, Nunez. Gonna be leading off the bottom of the eighth. This is a tie game at two apiece. Bottom of the eighth inning here on KYNT. Nunez, foul ball on the first pitch. Oh, one count now for the junior. Another foul, we're gonna have an 0-2 here for Nunez. Some frustration from Nunez after that swing. Now down in the count, he knows it, 0-2. 0-2 pitch from Swallow. Swing, and did he get a piece of that one? Yes, he did. Nunez stays alive in the at-bat. Oh, 2 the count will remain. Left-handed batter. Four home runs on the season. One of them in this game. That one low. Got by the catcher. 1-2. Now the count. Nunez still got some work to do. One, two, pitch incoming from Swallow. Missed, two, two count here. Once again, this is the bottom of the eighth inning. Two, two ball game, two, two count. Lancers took game one today, eight to three. They're going for the sweep. Northwestern trying to split the day. Two, two pitch. Down the right field line, over to second actually. It's brought in clean, throw to first. It's actually close. Out. They did get him. That was a close one though. Nunez kind of showed the wheels on that one. But that will be out number one. Bachman will step in. That was a close one. Ty goes to the runner, but
Official said it was, it was not tie. They had him. Oh, one count after a foul ball here. We have bat for Ryan Bachman. Bachman, the second baseman. Batten here. Swing and miss. 0 oh, 2 count. Bachman's, Bachman's had a tough day. He's had a strikeout, a flyout as well, and then he did reach once on an error. 0 oh, 2 count here for him with one out in the inning. The pitch. Swing and miss. Strikeout. So that's two down for the Lancers now as Bodie Waller will step up to the plate. Bodie Waller playing first base here in this game too. Was walked once, had a strikeout. And a ground out. Those are his three at bats. Two outs in the inning, nobody on base. Foul ball off the bat for Waller. Swallow. Once again, pitching in relief here, the sophomore. O one turns to O two. Another O two hole. This Lancer team, all three batters that have come up have been in an O two hole at one point in their at bat. Swallow's having a good inning. Two outs on the board, Swallow. Trying to send us to the ninth. Ball. One, two, call. So we got two outs. Two, two ball game. One, two is the count. Working on Bodie Waller here. Waller, first baseman for the Lancers today. The one, two. Another one outside. Make it a two, two count. Waller fighting his way back into this at bat. Swing and miss. Catcher dropped it, but picked it up and tagged him. That'll do it. For the eighth, we go to the ninth now here on a KYNT 2-2 ball game. Doesn't get better than this on a Friday night. Our first home game in March. Let's go ahead and take 60 seconds back for the Northwestern Bats in a tie ball game in 60. You buy, you shoot, and you score. This is Brandon Tykro from Lewis and Clark Ford. It's back. March Motor Madness. During March, make a sweet deal on a newer pre-owned vehicle from Lewis and Clark Ford, and we'll take you to the free throw line for three shots at our showroom hoop for a chance to make your deal even sweeter. Every shot made is an additional $100 off the deal. March Motor Madness going on now at Lewis and Clark Ford, 4th and Capitol in Yankton. It's the Browning Second Amendment sales tax event at Dakota Archery. Save up to $500 on Browning saves now through April 30th, including the new Primal series of saves, which start at $7.99 after rebate. And to put in your new Browning save, purchase a new Browning shotgun, handgun, or rifle and save 8% until April 15th. Open every night till 8. Dakota Archery and Outdoor Sports, East Highway 50, Yankton, South Dakota. Lancers march out a new pitcher as well. This is Aspen Dahl out there. As we go to the ninth inning on KYNT. Once again, my name is Del Tanner. Grady Harrington behind the camera. Dan Dykstra back in the booth. That's your crew today. Here at Riverside Field, Bob Tereshinsky Stadium here in Yankton. The long shadows have just about overtaken the field at 6.57 p.m. as we go to the ninth. Out there for the Lancers once again, pitching this ninth inning is sophomore Aspen Dahl. This will be his seventh appearance all as a reliever this season. He's coming in with two wins, two losses, 
six innings pitched. He has eight hits and three runs allowed, a 450 ERA. Aspendahl on the year has six strikeouts as well. First batter up for Northwestern. Pour it. Going to be batting here. Right fielder. First pitch outside for Dahl. Both teams have played three pitchers here. This will be the third for the Lancers in the ninth. Down the left field line, Wishon brings it into the left-handed glove. Throws over to first and it is caught. Bodie Waller brings it in. That's out number one of the ninth inning. Two to two is the score here. Game brought to you today by Dakota Mac. Transparency and integrity. That's what you're looking for in an ag lender. Dakota Mac is both and will work hard to find lending solutions to fit your needs. Learn more at kodamac.com. Ball on the first pitch here for Castillo. One out count with one out now. Another ball, 2-0 here for Dahl. High ball game at two apiece here in the ninth. The 2-0 pitch. Down the middle that time, Dog got the strike. One out on the board. Dahl throws the 2-1 now. Strike two. The 2-2, outside, Dahl misses. We've got a full count. One out on the board. This is the top of the ninth inning here between the Red Raiders and the Lancers. Been an eventful ball game. The full count pitch, foul ball off the bat of Castillo. Pinch hitting. Castillo came in and pinch hit Last inning had, was hit by pitch. Not last inning, two innings ago. This one, two hops straight to short, brought in, throw to first. Out number two for the Lancers. Bodie Waller brings it in. Joe Goki makes the play at short. So ground out to short, puts two outs up on the board with nobody on base. Northwestern trying to take the lead here in the top of the ninth. Two outs on the board, first pitch, foul ball. That was short. This game today brought to you by Lewis and Clark Ford, a proud sponsor of Mount Marty Athletics. Visit them at 4th and Capital in Yankton or at lewisandclarkford.com. Dahl. Breaking ball, strike two. 0 oh, 2 count with two outs here for short. Dahl. Swing and miss. Punch out. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and the Lancers have a chance to take this game. 2 to 2 is the score. I'm Tell Tanner. It's KYNT back in 60 seconds. Before the Lancers play, after the game, or maybe even while watching it here. Enjoy authentic flavor at RB Grill House and Sports Bar. We're American themed and feature handcrafted dishes and daily specials with an amazing selection of beer and spirits. Enjoy burgers, steaks, wings, and ribs, sandwiches, salads, seafood, and plenty of HD TVs. Authentic flavor, family driven, and a memorable atmosphere. Join us at RB Grill House and Sports Bar next to River Rocks Event Center on Broadway and Yankton. Go Lancers!
We were founded on innovation and a passion to help our customers. This is Kenny Wicks at Aztec in Yankton. We want our employees to thrive and succeed. Our core values are more than something we list on a wall. The team continues to grow, so consider a career with us. We have openings in a variety of departments, sign-on bonuses, double overtime, immediate benefits like retirement savings, paid holidays, bonus earnings, tuition reimbursement, and more. Build your career with a group that's built to connect from rock to road. Stop by 700 West 21st Street or apply at AztecJobs.com. Oh, baby, it all comes down to this. Bottom of the ninth here on a KYNT. Two to two is the score of this ball game. Game two, Friday evening in Yankton. Two game between the Red Raiders and the Lancers. Game one ended eight to three. Lancers get the win. Game two, we're in the bottom of the ninth. Out there pitching is Swallow. Swallow had a great bottom of the eighth. Came in through 14 pitches, had no hits, no runs, two strikeouts. Shugo Kondo gonna be leading off the inning. Lancers are one run away from taking this ball game. Kondo steps up to the plate. First pitch from Swallow. Low and inside, ball one. Kondo today does have one hit and one strikeout. The 1-0 pitch for the catcher. Foul ball. One-one count here for Shugo Kondo. Bottom of the ninth in a tie ball game. The 1-1, drilled out into left field, going back towards the warning track and making the catch in left is Dykstra. Dykstra's been good all game long. Shows up in the ninth as well. Ethan Wishon now steps up with one out on the board. First pitch for Wishon. Foul ball. Oh, one count here after the foul ball for Wishon. Foul ball again. He's now in an 0-2 hole. One out on the board. Kondo flew out to left with Sean. Now facing an 0-2 count and Swallow. Swallow on the mound here for the Red Raiders. Ball on the next pitch. So a 1-2 count here. One out. The one-two pitch. Ball. Two-two with one out on the board. Lancers, one run away from walking this one off at Riverside Field. Pitch for Wishon. Off the bat, right to second, had to get it sliding in for it, saved it from going into the outfield, but that will be a base hit. Ethan Wishon will now be on first, and he will represent the winning run. Von Deming now up to the plate. Von Deming in a big moment here for the Lancers. The left fielder was walked once today, had a ground out and a fly out as well. First pitch is a ball. One out on the board. 
Winning run on first. Pitch for Deming. Foul ball. One out on the board. Pitcher checking with Sean, now throws for Deming. Another pitch high, that'll be ball two. Two one count with one down. Joe Goki on deck here for the Lancers, batting in the nine spot. This is Vaughn Deming, the two one pitch. Foul ball again, that'll make it a two two. Jacob Swallow is a sophomore on the mound for the Red Raiders. Pitch for Deming. Another foul ball. He'll stay alive in the at bat. With Sean on first. 2 2 pitch. Cranked out to left field and brought in by Dykstra. Dykstra again making a play in left. That's two this inning that he's brought in. Now two outs. Both fly outs to left. Lancers just need one to drop out there and they can finish this ball game. Northwestern trying to take us to the 10th. Joe Goki steps up. Ethan with Sean. The winning run stands on first. First pitch strike here for Swallow. Game today from Boss's Pizza and Chicken, where every bite is a moment of pure satisfaction. A one count here for Goki. Pitch for Goki. Swing and miss, strike two. Two count. Goki in a hole. Another foul ball here. Shadows have overtaken Riverside Field. The 0 2 for Goki. Swing and miss, strike three. We go to the 10th. Northwestern forced a 10th inning of play. My name is Del Tanner. This is KYNT. Let's go ahead and take 60 seconds. Come back for the 10th after this. Tie ball game at two. Back for the Northwestern bats in 60. Olson Pest Technicians is a family-owned business since 1966. And with over 50 years of pest management, they understand your issues, and their well-trained team will help you solve your pest problems. Issues with cockroaches, ants, bed bugs, bats, termites, spiders, rats, mice, or other creepy crawling pests? Give your home a fresh start and use the proven method of fumigation to take care of your pest problem. Olson's Pest Technicians will thoroughly get rid of pests so you can rest easy again. Call Olson Pest today, 800-KILL-BUG. That's 1-800-K-I-L-B-U. GS. New starting wages at Parker of Yankton. Parker of Yankton is excited to announce a new generous wage increase. This wage increase includes all production positions, assemblers, machine ops, setups, and material handlers, plus a second shift differential. Parker provides some of the best benefits in the area. And in case you missed it, new increased wages. Apply today at Parker.com. Parker, engineering your success. Two to two is the score of the ball game as we go to the 10th inning of play. K-Y-N-T. Two to two is the score of the ball game. We had a pitcher's duel between Tornow and Miller, the two starting pitchers today. Both played very, very well. We have two runs scored by each team as we go to the 10th inning of play. We got a pinch hitter coming in. Number 
19 into bat. Parker Ross, this is. Parker Ross, this is only his fourth at bat of the season. This is a crucial one for the junior. First pitch from Dahl. Aspen Dahl once again on the mound for the Lancers. Outside, Parker Ross has once again three at bats in four games he's played. He has two hits and one RBI in those three at bats. He was walked once as well. He does have a 667 batting average in those three at bats. So very limited time, but very good in that limited time. Strike one comes in from from Mount Marty now. Aspen Dahl once again on the mound. Next pitch ball, 2-1 count. Top of the 10th inning. Two one pitch, swing and miss, strike two. Ross with a two two count receives the pitch from Dahl. Ball, full count. Full count pitch, foul ball. Foul ball on the full count. Ross stays alive. Dahl trying to finish him. First batter of the 10th. Full count pitch. High fly ball to left field. Lancers will bring it in. Von Deming. Brought that one in out there and left. That's out number one of the 10th. We go to the top of the batting order once again. This is Dykstra. Had two of the three outs of that bottom of the ninth. Caught him out in left field. Dykstra has one run, one hit in this ball game. Was struck out once as well. It's a ball on the first pitch from Aspen Dahl. Shot out to left field again. Deming trying to track it down. Will bring it into the glove. That's number two of the inning. So Dykstra flies out to left. Looks like we've got number 24. No, number 24 came into the bottom. He was just going to grab the bat. Robluski. Robluski, this is the guy who hit the first home run of the game. Two outs on the board. Nobody on base. Strike one pitch from Dahl. Robluski, once again, is batting for Northwestern. He hit one of those home runs. He has two hits in this ball game. He had the first score of this game as another strike comes in. He was only the second at bat of the ball game. He put it over the center field fence. Actually hit the scoreboard. 0-2 count, he's in now. Dahl trying to send us to the bottom of the 10th, still in a tie ball game. Lancers couldn't walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. They're going to try to in the bottom of the 10th. 1-2 count here. Off a of two-hop, it's going to go into the glove of the short. Throw it to first. Got him in time. Out. Lancers finish off the top of the 10th. They got a chance to finish it in the bottom. This is KYNT. Let's take 60 seconds back for the bottom of the 10th after this. Buying a home in this market can be frustrating. Having an experienced real estate agent is more important than ever. This is Deb Speck with Vision Real Estate, and I've been helping first-time home buyers, those needing a little more space, folks wanting to downsize, and investors for almost 20 years. For personalized service you can trust, call 605-664-5555 
and we'll find your next home. Sports injuries can be the result of competitive activities, but can also happen by just participating in leisure activities too. If you're experiencing pain as the result of your chosen activity, consider chiropractic care. I'm Dr. Mackenzie Erlinson with First Chiropractic Centers. We have experienced chiropractors that work with sports injuries every day. Our treatment options are aimed to minimize pain, reduce recovery time, and reduce risk of future injuries. Visit First Chiropractic Centers, making life better, one adjustment at a time. Bottom of the 10th inning here on KYNT. My name is Tell Tanner. The camera operator today, Grady Harrington, Dan Dykstra, back in the booth. That's your crew here on KYN TV as we go to the bottom of the 10th inning and Aiden Chang steps into the box. Chang gonna be battling Swallow. Lancers, one run away from finishing this ball game in extra innings. Two to two is your score. Lancers trying to finish it. Swallow throws the first pitch at the bottom of the 10th. Chang lets it go, it's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Shot out to right field, going back towards the warning track and will be making the catch out and right is Porritt. Porritt makes the catch. That's out number one. Northwestern needs two to extend this to 11 innings. Will Gardner now steps up. Gardner with one out on the board, nobody on base. Left-handed batter, the junior. Showing bunt here. Strike one, just missed. Lancer's just trying to get somebody on base. Nunez is coming up on deck. We know how big of a bat he's got. One out, the 0-1. Hit by pitch, that's one way to get your guy on base. Will Gardner will go to first, and he will represent the winning run. Mistake from Swallow. And we've got a pinch runner coming in. Lancers putting one of their fastest guys out on first base. Nunez comes up. It's Cade Sudbeck out there on first. One of their fastest players. Nunez going to try and bring him home, but he'll take strike one on the first pitch. 0-1 count he's facing. Swallow has got it. There's only one out on the board. Ryan Bachman is up next in the batting order. Nunez trying to finish it here. Nunez got a big enough bat to get a man home from first, especially when there is fast as Sudbeck is, ball one, one, one count. One out on the board, Nunez batting. The one, one, swing and miss. One, two hole for Nunez. Kiko has one of the home runs in this ball game, one of the two for the Lancers. This is a 2-2 tied game, bottom of the 10th on KYNT. Lancers trying to finish things here. The 1-2. Nunez gonna get this one in the air and it will be caught by short. By the short stop, I should say. Ayers brings that one in. Two outs, Will Gardner who still represents the winning run, does stand off first. Northwestern trying to send this to 11 innings. Swing and miss, strike one here for Bachman. Bachman, the second baseman up batting now. 
excuse me, that's not Will Gardner at first again. It's Cade Sudbeck. The old one for Bachman. Swing and miss, strike two. Two down in the inning and an 0-2 count for Bachman. Lancers in a hole here. Northwestern trying to extend this ball game. The 0-2 pitch for Swallow. High fly ball, left field, it's gonna, or right field, it's gonna drop, brought in by the second baseman in the glove. And we go to 11 innings. The Lancers gonna march back out to take the mound again. My name is Del Tanner, this is KYNT. Back in 60 seconds for the Northwestern Bats. Are you tired of squinting at fine print in order to understand your insurance coverage? Say hello to Clarity with Vision Insurance Group. They'll help you see life in the best possible way without hurting your budget. From life, homeowners, auto, and business coverage too, they've got it all. Plus, long-term care plans for residents in South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska. Don't squint. Visit visioninsurancegrp.com and get your quote today. Vision Insurance Group. Live in the vision beef, pork, seafood, poultry, and more. All at the Meat Lodge in Yankton. Get top quality meats at great prices. They have specialty items like lamb, brisket, mahi-mahi, crab legs, and lobster. They even have non-meat options like dimmick cheese, pickled items, seasonings, and sauces. For your convenience, you can call and order curbside pickup or order online at meatlodge.com. The Meat Lodge in Yankton, on the way to the lake on Highway 52. Two to two is the score of the ball game here on KYNT. My name's Del Tanner. Lancers and the Red Raiders battling. We go to 11 innings here. Aspendahl on the mound for the Lancers. This is Sam Stanford out there. Stanford batting for the Red Raiders. Foul ball on the first pitch. A one count. We are in the 11th inning. Top of it. Pitch misses low for Dahl this time. it out for an all Marty. This is the seventh batter he's faced. He's thrown 25 pitches so far. Foul ball will make it a 2-2. You can hear the crowd getting antsy here. They want some action. The 2-2. This one's going to be a grounder over to third. Wishon brings it in. Throw to first. It's going to be close. Waller had to jump to bring that one in, which took him off the base. Northwestern's got a man on. So the leading run will stand off first base now for the Red Raiders. We've got a pinch runner coming in. Number 10 coming in, that's Jack Craig. Craig, a freshman out of Urbandale, Iowa. Coming in to pinch run in a crucial moment here for Northwestern. 2-2 two -two count. Or excuse me, 2-2 two -two ball game here. Throw over to first. Not in time. Temperature's starting to drop here in Yankton as the sun is going down. 
Shadows have completely overtaken the field. Try first again. Still not in time. Aspendahl throws over to first twice. This is Craig, once again, who represents the leading run, leading off first. Bunt showed. Foul ball. Goes up top over the net, right up on top of our booth here. The 0-1. High throw on an 0-1. That'll make it a 1-1. Click. Click. Batting here. Craig on first. Click batting. Throw over to first again. Not going to get him still. Pitch for Dahl. But up in the air, the first baseman, Waller, is going to get a hold of it. Runner stayed wisely. Waller makes that play. That'll bring back Dirks. Dirks has a hit today. He also has a strikeout. Two left on base. Top of the 11th inning here on KYNT. 2-2 Two -two ball game. count one out. The 2-0. Got the outside on that time. 2-1 count for Dahl. There is a runner on first. One out on the board here in the top of the 11th inning. 2-2 two two is the score. Foul ball. Make it a 2-2 count. Two-two two count for Dirks. Pour up on deck. Two-two two count here. Leading run on first, top of the 11th inning. Checked his swing, and they're gonna say he did not. That'll save the at bat for him. Clearly a ball, checked in time, full count now. Full count pitch from Dahl. Walked him. So Northwestern has two on here. Top of the 11th. One out on the board. Porup. Back up to bat. Nelson Porup, the right fielder, has runners on first and second. First pitch ball from Aspen Dahl. a sophomore for this Lancer program. Trying to get out of this inning. Only one out on the board. Runners on first and second. We're in the top of the 11th in a tie game at two. Another low pitch. And here comes Coach Tycro now. He's going to come talk with his sophomore pitcher. There is somebody warming up in the bullpen. Are we going to see a pitching change?
doesn't look like. Coach Tykro's out there talking with him. Nobody's moving yet. This mound visit brought to you by Pizza Ranch. For legendary chicken and the best pizza, it's Yankton Pizza Ranch. They're on Broadway here in town. You can call 665-1222. Just need a little pep talk. Dahl will continue for the Lancers. Runners on first and second for Northwestern. One out in the top of the 11th. Lancers trying to go to the bottom of the 11th with as little damage as possible. Two zero count for Port. Swing and miss. Strike one. Strike one Port. Two one count. One out on the board. We're in the top of the 11th. 2-0 ball, or 2-2 ball game. Next pitch, very inside. 3-1 count. Lights are on here at Bob Tereshinsky Stadium. Dahl, swing and miss. That's strike two. Full count here for Porup and Dahl. Runners on first and second. The 3 2. Walk. The walk will load the bases here with one out. No movement from the bullpen. Northwestern's going to call in their runners here. Make a plan here, see if they can figure out what they want to do. When they break this huddle, we'll see if we've got pinch runners or what we've got here. Once again, we're in the top of the 11th here on KYNT. We've got runners on all three bases. Craig the, represents the top, the leading run, stands on third. We've got Porip on first and number one. We do have a pinch runner that just came in. Number one, that is Ethan Buckner, a senior. Base is loaded. Castillo. Take strike one. Castillo, pinch hitting a couple times today. Has an 0-1 count facing Dahl. Low pitch, that's ball one. One one count with one out. One out on the board. Two runs apiece, top of the 11th. Another low pitch. Two one count here. Two one from Dahl. Make it a three one. Lancers in a lot of trouble here. Only one out on the board. Base is loaded. <laughs> Foul ball. Into the net near the Lancer dugout. Full count will remain. Full count pitch for Castillo. Foul ball. Isaac Short, the catcher, is on deck, by the way.
Panthers could sorely use a strikeout here from Aspendall. See what he's got. The full count pitch. Walk. And Northwestern leads this game. And here comes to Coach Tykro. And we will have a pitching change. Coach Tykro comes in to talk, motioning to the bullpen. Aspendall's day is done. Let's go ahead and take a break. We're going to take 60 seconds here as a new pitcher warms up. We'll come back in 60 with one out on the board and a 3-2 ball game. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. Core Trust helps your business thrive with checking, online bill pay, small business loans, credit card processing, local approval and support for government grants and loans, investments to grow your hard-earned assets, and insurance to protect them. All from Core Trust, the community bank that's right down the street and everywhere you want us to be. Visit CoreTrustBank.com today. Member FDIC. Have a craving for wings or delicious burgers or Peebo fries? Come sink your teeth into mouth-watering burgers and wings at Checkers Sports Bar and Grill. With a menu that's a flavor frenzy, there's something for every fan. A place to catch all of the sports action and enjoy $6 cheeseburgers and fries every Monday night. Grab your friends, bring your family, and head down to Checkers. Open every day of the week to satisfy you. Checkers Sports Bar and Grill on Walnut just north of 4th Street in Yankton. Back at Riverside Field here in Yankton. My name is Del Tanner. One out on the board. Lancers march out Heston Williams. Heston Williams, a senior pitcher. This will be his fifth appearance on the season. He does have one save on the resume. In 4.2 innings pitched, he has allowed eight hits, six runs, and an 11.57 ERA. Heston Williams will be the guy on the mound. Trying to get the Lancers out of this tight spot. Base is loaded. Down by one in the top of the 11th. Lancers already know they're going to have some work to do. Going into the bottom of the 11th. Not only to come back if they're going to win, but they've got to save as much as they can. Northwestern's just trying to extend their lead at this point. Runner's going to go. They try bunting. Lancers are going to get the tag. They got the out. Bunt just didn't quite go the way they wanted it to. I don't think he connected at all. Strike one, so the Lancers just got it to the catcher, and he was able to make the tag. 0-1 count here. Runners on second and third now. Nobody on first. Short, batting. Check swing ball. 1-1 one, one count. Two outs. Northwestern trying to grind out this 11th inning. Foul ball. Heston Williams in there pitching for the Lancers now. Fourth pitcher out there for the Lancers in this 11 inning ball game. The one two. Blocked by the catcher. Two two with two outs. Three to two is your score. Northwestern leads Mount Marty here in the top of the 11th inning. This one drilled out to left field. That's going to find a crease between left and center. Multiple runs are going to score. Northwestern has the advantage. Five to two in the 11th. Isaac Short with the hit of the game.
What a play for the catcher. Makes it a 3-1 ball game, or a three-run ball game in the 11th. Lancers have their work cut out for them in the bottom of this inning as a courtesy runner comes in for the catcher. Courtesy runner out there is Braden Bielner. Swing and miss. Strike one. And the start of the at bat for Ayers. This is the shortstop. Two outs. 0 1 count. After a foul ball here. Short stop at the plate. Still has a man in scoring position. Short after the double. Stands off second after bringing two home. The 0 1. Check swing, drop by the catcher, throw over to first. They will make the play, but the damage has been done. Lancers trail by three as we go to the bottom of the 11th. They've got work to do. Back in 60 seconds on KYNT, we'll see what happens. Is it the competition that keeps bringing you back? The long-standing rivalries? Or is it seeing friends again and cheering on your favorite team? At First Dakota, we're here for it all. We appreciate the fans, the players, the coaches and officials, the concessions crew. The shared community experience is part of what makes life here great, and we're here for it. See you at the game. First Dakota National Bank, member FDIC. There's a new option for families in the Yankton area to memorialize their loved ones. This is Paul Wince with the Winston Ray Funeral Home and Garden Memory Cemetery. We just completed the construction of a new columbarium. It is an impressive structure built out of granite that is comprised of both indoor and outdoor niches, which will serve as a permanent resting place for your loved one's urn. The indoor niches have glass fronts where you can create a memorial with pictures and other significant items. For more information and to watch a video on how it all came together, please visit WinceRayFuneralHome.com. Five to two is the score of this ball game on KYNT. My name is Tell Tanner. We go to the bottom of the 11th, and the Lancers have some work cut out for them. Bodie Waller is going to step up to the plate, down three runs in the bottom of this 11th inning. Lancers allow more runs in the 11th than the previous 10 innings combined. Now they've got to make up three runs to either extend this game or four runs to take it. Northwestern just needs three outs. Whatever happens first. Lancers trying for the day sweep. They already won game one, eight to three. Northwestern trying to get this series split in their first win in Yankton since 2019. First pitch of the inning, Waller drills this one, cranks it back to the center field fence and gone. Well, that's a start. Bodie Waller gives him some life to start off the bottom of the 11th. Home run. For Bodie Waller, still some work to do, but that's a good way to start the inning. Five three now is your score. No outs. Shugo Kondo steps up to the plate. Bodie Waller, first baseman, nails that one over the fence. First pitch for Kondo now. We'll see how the pitcher responds to that. Ball on the outside. Shugo Kondo on the season. A 311 batting average. 444 slugging percentage. 
Rondo's had a good day today. Does have one hit in this game. In game one today, Kondo had one run, two hits, an RBI, and was walked twice. Two zero count for Kondo as the catcher comes up to talk with his pitcher. It's Isaac Short is the catcher. Once again, pitching out there is Swallow. Jacob Swallow out there. On the mound for the Red Raiders. Trying to finish this ball game. 2-0 pitch. Check swing, strike. The 2-1 pitch. Inside, make it a 3-1 here for Kondo. Lancers still have two runs to make up here. Down 5-3 in the bottom of the 11th. But a 3-1 count for the catcher, Shugo Kondo. He'll be able to have a courtesy runner if he gets on base. Lancers can get one of their fastest guys out there. The 3-1. Swing. I think he got a piece of that one. That'll be full count now. Full count with no outs, down two, bottom of the 11th. Swallow. Delivers the pitch. Kondo, foul ball. Full count pitch, part two. Drilled out the right field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. By a foot and a half. That'd have been a triple for Kondo if it was a foot and a half left. The at-bat will continue with a full count. Kondo's got to catch his breath now. He was almost to second base by the time the call came in. It was a high moon ball. Full count pitch for Swallow. Drilled. That's going out to left field, and it will be a base hit. Kondo going to round first. Now go back. He'll stay at first base. Lancers have one of the two runs they still need on base. Shugo Kondo. Got on base, and we'll get Will Johnson back out to courtesy run for the catcher. Which brings up Ethan Wishon, the third baseman for this Lancer program. Yankton native, this is a hometown kid. 5-3, score the ball game. No outs on the board so far. Northwestern rolling with Jacob Swallow here in the 11th. There is action in the bullpen. Somebody just walked up and is going to start warming up, by the way, for Northwestern. Drilled out to left field again. That one's going to drop for another base hit. Lancers are going to have two on. Ethan Wishon gets the hit. He stands on first. Johnson stands on second. Lancers need both to get home to extend this game. Now Vaughn Deming will step up. Deming will represent the winning run. We're going to have a break here. Mound visit. Another one brought to you by Pizza Ranch. 
in the bottom of the 11th inning. <clears throat> Head coach <clears throat> for the Red Raiders going out to talk with his pitcher. This is Brian Weedy. This guy actually went to MMU. Not Mount Marty, but Mount Mercy University, which I think is kind of funny. He's out there talking with his pitcher, and we break up the mound visit. Lancers brought in their runners as well. Still no outs on the board, but they have two runs to make up, three to take the game. Von Deming going to be batting. Nope, hold on. Where'd Deming go? We have a pinch runner coming in. I believe we do. Or a pinch hitter, I should say. This is Garrett D'Amico. Garrett D'Amico, a sophomore out of Reno, Nevada. He represents the winning run. Tying run is at first. Run number four is at second. D'Amico showing bunt. Takes it back. Runners will return to their base. Looks like Lancers are showing bunt here. They're trying to sacrifice, get some runners in scoring position. There's no outs on the board. So they can sacrifice one. Pitch for D'Amico. He bunts down the left field line. Will not stay fair. D'Amico kind of showing his hand here. We'll see how the Northwestern infield responds. D'Amico, once again, a sophomore. Out of Reno. 2-1 count, showing bunt again is D'Amico. Foul ball off the bat. The 2-2. Two -two. Now incoming from Swallow. Little break. They're checking the count. It's going to be a 1-2. One, 1-2, two. One, two, so we got to reset that. So 1-2, is it? 5-3 score. D'Amico bunts. This one stays fair, but then it hit him. So he'll have to do that again. D'Amico, or excuse me, is out. Two strikes and a bunt. That hit him, he's out. So that is one out here. So the Lancers were trying to get a sacrifice bunt to, ex to get their runners in better scoring position. They didn't quite get it, so we'll see what the strategy is now is they have another pinch hitter here in Caleb Ramirez. Senior, transferred in out of Allen Hancock Community College. It's out of Lompoc, California. One out on the board now. We'll see if they show Bunn again. Oh, looks like Ramirez is going to be swinging at this one. Ramirez, senior, pinch hitting. Here in the bottom of the 11th. Lancers have two runs to make up. Northwestern has two, two outs to get to finish this game. Swing and miss, strike one here for Northwestern. Lancers are batting in the nine hole, by the way. Aiden Shang, leadoff batter, is on deck. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball. One, two, count. 
One out on the board. We're in the bottom of the 11th here on KYNT. Another pitch from Swallow. Foul ball down the left field line. Jacob Swallow and Caleb Ramirez continue their duel. A 1-2 count here in the bottom of the 11th. Northwestern had three runs in the top of the 11th. Lancers started off this inning with a home run from Bodie Waller, now two on base. Ramirez hits a high infield fly. Third baseman getting underneath it and will make the catch. That's two outs. Northwestern is one away. Third baseman Stanford brought that one in. Northwestern is one out away from finishing this ball game. Aiden Shang trying to fix that for the Lancers. This is the last hope here. Chang has to make something happen. Two outs, swing and miss, strike one. Jacob Swallow, the man on the mound here for the Red Raiders. 0-1 count now for Chang. Chang hits this one straight to second and it is caught. Ball game. Northwestern wins game two here in Yankton. Five to three is your final score. And for the Red, Red Raiders, first win here in Yankton since 2019. Lancers fall in 11 innings, five to three in game two. So we have a day split. Lancers win game one, eight to three. Red Raiders win game two, five to three. Red Raiders. Their next game, they're gonna be hosting Dakota Wesleyan who swept Morningside today. In Orange City on, well tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow, home games versus Dakota Wesleyan. A seven and nine played in Orange City. For the Lancers, they go to 15 and eight overall. They will be playing Doan University. Kind of TBD, we're scheduled right now for Sunday, but the weather Sunday does not look good. We'll, co we'll, ask, a, we'll ask Coach coach in the post-game interview, which will be coming up here in a couple of minutes. We will be speaking with the head coach of the Lancers, Josh Tykro, on our post-game show from Aztec. Final score, 5-3, five, or 5-4 five, uh, five, in Yankton. Five, three. Bottom of the 11th, they fall. Let's go ahead and send it to break. We'll come back with our Aztec post game show and the head coach of the Lancers in just a couple of minutes. My name's Tell Tanner, day split, back after this. Weather changes can cause a small chip in your windshield to become a crack or a small crack to become even larger. So if you've got a chipped or cracked windshield, trust Abra Auto Body and Glass of Yankton and the all-day, everyday $249 windshield replacement. That's right. Most windshields replace with the best replacement technology and top quality materials for only $249. Don't let a chipped or cracked windshield impair your driving. Call Abra Auto Body and Glass today. Locally owned and operated by Northtown Automotive, North Highway 81, Yankton. Traveling to Yankton for business or pleasure? Then book your stay at Yankton's two best hotels, the Fairfield Inn and Suites and Holiday Inn Express. Both are conveniently located to everything in Yankton. Both offer complimentary hot breakfasts and meeting rooms for business travelers. And if you want a great rate and still be able to change your reservation without a hassle, call either hotel direct. The Fairfield and Holiday Inn Express, two great hotel choices when visiting or arranging rooms for guests to Yankton. At Triple Time Rudy's, not only do you get top-notch fuel to keep you on the move, but it's a destination for delicious local treats. You'll find quality South Dakota products like Dimmick Cheese and premium meats from the Kaler and Renner Lockers. It's your community's pit stop for more than just fuel. 
Triple Time Rudy supports schools and events and provides fuel discounts to Yankton's largest employers. For all your daily fill-ups and convenience needs, stop by Triple Time Rudy's at 17th and Broadway. Are you ready for a hydration revolution? Introducing Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you feeling refreshed and revitalized. It's packed with a unique blend of electrolytes and vitamins, giving you the perfect balance to conquer your day. And its variety of mouth-watering flavors will make your taste buds dance with joy. Hitting the gym, going on an adventure, or just need a pick-me-up, Ghost Hydration has your back. Experience the hydration revolution for yourself. Stay refreshed. Stay revitalized. Stay ghostly hydrated with Ghost Hydration. Let's go ahead and begin this Aztec post-game show now. Go with our coach interview today, brought to you by Conklin Distributing and Ghost Hydration, the ultimate drink to keep you refreshed and revitalized. Coach Tycro now joining me. Coach, it was a day split with the Red Raiders. You win game one, 8-3. Game two, Bodie Waller did his best with a home run, trying to get you in it. Just fall 5-3. Can you give me your thoughts on today? Uh, G Pack baseball is always like this. Um, the games are funny. I thought that we competed well throughout the day, especially you know, the first game. Didn't get anything going offensively really on the scoreboard. Uh, Kirkaby was good. We battled well, and then we kind of broke through with the eighth spot in that inning there in game one, and then you know finished it well. Our guys pitched pretty well throughout the day in game two, but we had our chances. Um, we went a little disappointing there, just the way that it ended, but a lot to learn from, and it's early on. you got to roll with the punches. That's the first day of GPAC play. What can you tell me about this conference and some of the other opponents you're going to be facing here very soon? Oh, this conference is funny. I mean, everyone will compete against one another. Uh, it's as strong as it's ever been, up and down, you know, from really the top to the bottom. It, it's, all, it's all good baseball, so you got to be ready to go every day. Talk about some of the uh, performances today. Your first couple of runs all came from home runs, actually, I think all of them uh, in that ball game. Chang, Nunez, and then uh, obviously Bodie, Bodie puts one over the fence at the end. Uh, nothing else. Can you tell me about that offense today? Uh, not a big fan of that, to be honest. Um, I think a big strength of our offense is when we put pressure on the defense, and you know we're going to get the home run. I mean, it's going to come here and there. Uh, but just getting runs off of solo shots, you aren't going to win very many games doing that. Uh, we got to get more pressure on the defense, get base runners on, uh, get more gritty. Uh, I don't think we put a ton of pressure on them a lot throughout the day offensively, and you know it showed. So we got to get back to to being a little bit tougher in the box and just finding ways to get on base. And then we're still and we're going to hit the home run and we're going to hit them, but it can't be the only way that we score, right? And I think that's been a big thing for us early on in our season is we're at our best when we are versatile off offensively and when we can find a lot of ways to score but we'll get back to it one of the things that was certainly good to see at the beginning of this game especially coach was Jared Miller on the on the day he ended up only giving up one run and it was in the second battery face and he was just money from then on out ends up with nine strikeouts and 27 batters face tell me about him uh, Jared's good. He's really competitive. Uh, last year, he had a heck of a season. I mean, I think he beat Doan twice. He beat Concordia. He beats really good teams, um, and he's always going to give you a good chance. So but we've seen that a lot out of Jared. Um, we're going to need that out of him, too. He did throw very well, and you know, I think just with where he has been early on in the season, this was a big start for him. Coach, upcoming schedule now. You have it scheduled at the moment uh, for Sunday for Doan. Obviously, the weather's what it is. Can you give me an update on that game and what's kind of going on? Yeah, we're looking to go Monday now against Doan here, of course, at 3 o'clock, first pitch. Uh, that's that's where we're looking at now. Is that kind of confirmed here? Uh, yes. Okay. Monday, 3 o'clock, we'll be here for KYNT then as well. Coach, thank you for your time. We'll talk to you on Monday. Thank you. That brought to you by Ghost Hydration and uh, our Conkling Distributing Friends, Ghost Hydration, your ultimate drink. Thank you very much, Coach. We'll talk to you on Monday then. All right. Let's go ahead and finish things up here on our post-game show from Aztec. Day split between the Red Raiders and the Lancers. Lancers win game one, 8-3. Red Raiders win game two, 5-3. Let's go ahead and finish up with our 
final stats here real quick. We're going to have a quicker post game because we do have a decently quick turnaround. We're playing Monday again. And then, of course, obviously, this has been a long day. We started here at 1 o'clock. It's now 8. So we're going to get out of here, make sure we get our guys some rest as well. In terms of our final stats for Mount Marty, Aiden Chang had one run, one hit, one RBI, one walk. Will Gardner had a hit. Kiko Nunez had one run, one hit, one RBI. Uh, Bodie Waller had one, one, one run, one hit, one RBI. Those three players all got him on the solo home runs. Shugo Kondo had two hits. Ethan Wishon had two hits as well. Um, for Northwestern, two hits from Robloski. He had that solo home run. Dykstra had a hit and a run. Craig had a run. Porup had a run. Silliman had a run. Those were their runs scored. Hit from Dirks and Short as well. And Stanford. Those three also got hits. Those were your final stats today brought to you by the Meat Lodge. If you want top quality meat at great prices, head to the Meat Lodge in Yankton on the way to the lake on Highway 52. Finishing up our post-game show, we got two more things to talk about, including the Move of the game from Mason Schramm. Are you buying or selling? Move with Mason and the Move Group. Our move of the game today is going to be that bottom of the 11th home run from Bodie Waller. Lancers go into the bottom of the 11th. They gave up three runs to start the 11th. They knew they were in a hole. Bodie Waller steps up, knocks one over the center field fence, gave the Lancers some life to start off that 11th inning. That'll be our move of the game from Mason Schramm. Are you buying or selling? Move with Mason and the Move Group. And finally, our final Lancer player of the game from Avera, moving health forward. Jared Miller. Jared Miller is going to be our player of the game today for the Lancers. Pitched seven innings, had 90 total pitches, three hits and only one run allowed. That happened on the second batter he faced, the solo home run to start the game. After that, did not allow a run and only two hits in seven innings. Had nine strikeouts and 27 batters face. Jared Miller will be our Lancer player of the game. That's going to do it for this broadcast today. Once again, our upcoming schedule, Monday, 3 p.m., will be right here at Riverside Field for that ball game. 2.30 will be our pregame. I've got coverage of it right here on KYNT. That's going to do it for our coverage today. Big thank you to everybody involved. Obviously, Coach Tykro for helping us get involved. Coach Nelson for helping us get everything set up. Coach, I'm both Coach Nelsons. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody at Mount Marty. Along with Grady Harrington, who ran our camera today. And Dan Dykstra back in the booth. Final scores, 8-3. Lancers win game one. Red, Red Raiders take game two, 5-3. Day split for the final time from Bob Tarashinsky Stadium at Riverside Field. I'm Tell Tanner. Good night. Thank you for listening to Lancer Athletics on KYNT, a Riverfront Sports property, and Yankton's home team. Remember, KYNT is your home for Mount Marty University Athletics.